PKA 588 with Big Optic Hex. Taylor? This episode of PKA brought to you by ExpressVPN and Lock and Load. You can find both links to that below. You want to be secure online and you want to come like a man. So check that out. Like a horse, really. And Hex, thank you so much for coming. Your room looks awesome. Thank you. I was seeing on Twitter, because obviously I follow you, a couple weeks ago, Optic had, I don't follow esports as much, but they had an enormous win in COD. How's that been going for you? Like, I saw how stoked you were and excited and like, we're back on top and all that shit. I was excited for you. 1,143 days between championships just in in the Optic Gaming world or logo. Mm -hmm. We won championships in uh, in the Huntsman on season one, uh, which is three, three years ago. Yeah, three years ago. Um, but between, you know, wearing the optic logo and championships, like none for 1,143 days. Was that the longest period of no championships for optic? Yeah, we won a championship every, every COD, except for, no, we won one every single COD, I think. What does a championship mean? I know that sounds stupid, but is that like a a whole event or a whole year? No, it's an event, uh, per event. There's us. like in the past, there used to be several tournaments, several MLG tournaments leading up to the to the to the championship. Um, it's the same now. It's like four majors, a couple of little sprinkle tournaments here and there. But it's the same thing. Champs is its own and regarded as its own little thing, and the season's mm-hmm. regarded as uh, you know. There's there's money to be made for the boys, and that's that's good. But championships, as you know, uh, do matter in a in in a competitive world. So you had. Uh, you won a COD championship. Still four. T- I'm so out of it. Four, still sure. four players. Yeah, still four. Uh, we're Which playing four? a game called uh, Call of Duty Vanguard. I think it's a new one. Mm-hmm. And uh, our team now is Shotzi, Illy, which are the two newest ones. They're the youngest ones. And then there is uh, Scump and Dashy, who who have been the, on the team in the past. You mentioned Last, Scump joined Optic when I was young. What the mm-hmm. fuck? <laughs> yeah. he's, he's 26 now. Oh, that's actually younger than I thought he was going to be. It seemed like it's been that, so long. Like, you know how you get to that age where, like, <clears throat> I'm just, I'll be 31 soon. Mm-hmm. And the Blues the hockey team, I like, they traded for a 31 year old defenseman. And my visceral reaction was, get that old piece of shit <laughs> out of here. He is washed. And I'm like, oh, this guy's eight months younger than you and a thousand times your net worth. <laughs> <laughs> what happens next, Taylor? I'll, I'll, I'll spoil it for you. A guy your age plays, and they're like, "It's a medical miracle." <laughs> <laughs> That's already well, well, like you know, I, the only sport I really follow is <laughs> UFC, right? MMA. Man, at thirty-five, oh, it's just about over. You know, oh, yeah. we're all kind of pitying you at this point. At thirty-five, we're like, "Oh, this will probably be the last one, right?" At the mind of a sixty-eight-year-old. Yeah. How, how old are How old are you now, uh, Woody? Forty-nine. Ah, that's not bad, dude. Uh, well, Kyle, you're you're like <laughs> younger I mean, than me by what? Get old, four, it's pretty five years. Good. Yeah, thirty-five. <laughs> thirty-five. So five years. Well, seven years. I'm forty-two. Mm-hmm. Uh, Taylor, same age range, right? Like thirty something. Thirty. Yeah. Thirty. Oh man, you're the youngest. Yeah. Yeah. What, what Woody said is true. It's uh, <laughs> they will they will call you ancient oh, unless it, you have unless you have the skin and this hair. You know what I'm saying? Then you're just a vampire. <laughs> Oh, I mean, your, your hair is going to keep you young forever. You, <laughs> Both of you. <laughs> the, the reason I brought it up is because, like, I saw someone on Team Optic. I don't remember his name. And I was like, now, I don't know shit about esports, but I know this guy. This guy's an OG. And I checked him, and he's 25, <laughs> which means cool. he was kicking ass at, like, 13 yeah, or something. Probably. Who was like, it? I, I don't remember. He's got like a million followers or hundreds of thousands on Twitter. Uh, yeah. It like a 25, 26 year old. Could have been him. It was a very Wait, young guy. Red, redhead? Yeah. Redhead guy. Yeah. Scumpy. Okay. Scumpy. Well, that's awesome. That's that's so yeah, impressive. He's, he's, uh, he's, yeah, he's won 11 championships in 10 different games. Um, the 11th comes from a uh, uh, war zone. He won a hundred thousand dollar war zone tournament. <clears throat> he didn't think oh. he was going to, but I'm like, if you're you, if you're a professional, like if you're a professional Call of Duty player, that skill can, in theory, and it does translate to war zone. But there's like other elements, right? RNG and all that shit. So he was, he went in there saying, it's like, no, there's actual like you know war zone pros that are, you know, obviously more, mm-hmm. more used to competing in this in this manner. But he ended up winning. It's pretty cool. Pretty, so people pretty can cool. click on heads, man. 
Yeah. Something and, I've, and I've wondered for a long time about esports is, is there are there trades? Like if you were like, uh, I'm I'm talking to the Houston gamers or whatever, and we're gonna trade. Scumpy is on the block. We're looking for some draft picks. We're looking for some young up and come. Like, is that a thing? Yeah, that's yeah, really yeah. cool. It's been a thing since you since the time you were probably paying attention to it back in the in the early teens. Holy yeah, but, fuck! It wasn't but trades teens. really. Like a, a guy would get fired because you knew you could replace him with that guy so much, mm -hmm. right? You didn't actually coordinate with the other team. Yeah, did you? Or am no, I no, you're right. You're right. Uh, uh, back in the day, it was more. One player is like, I'm leaving. There was no contracts, right, for a very, very long time. I don't think that contracts became in the optic world. Contracts didn't become a thing until maybe 2000 and like 14, 15. Um, but be, before that, it was like, there was this, this, you want to leave? You got, I mean, what am I gonna? How can I hold you? Right? Even now with contracts, uh, some some esports org are su orgs are super like legitimate and i say that i say legitimately because they they will say you can't fucking go anywhere you can bitch and moan on twitter and you can have all your fans hate us for that but you're unless somebody pays uh four hundred and fifty thousand or five hundred thousand dollars you're not getting out of this con that's your buyout for you to get mm -hmm. out of this contract you're you know that's what it takes that was my With question optic though I'm, I'm sorry God, it, it didn't seem like people wanted to leave it seemed like people got fired Everybody mm. wants to be on Optic. You just don't always get to keep your seat. Mm. Is is kind of how I remember it. Yeah, I mean it's it's still that way to to some regard, but it's a little bit more organized now, right? Like you you can't just drop a player and cancel the contract, like uh, unless you have it specified. Like, hey, in case your teammates want to replace you with someone, and 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 that you either move to the bench or you get dropped your choice. Mm -hmm. uh, and and that's that's the way it breaks out. Uh, but there has been instances in which uh, a player has gotten benched, and you know, he collected a paycheck for the rest of the for the rest of the year. Socially, it was always fascinating to me, right? Like, yeah, tournament finishes, we get second. Optics not here for seconds, you know. And, and three guys are all buddy buddy, and one's not. He's starting to think like, oh shit, are they all talking about dropping me? Like, and then you were never, at least at the time that I talked to you, you did not get involved in that. Teammates could sort that out, that sort that out themselves, but yeah. you weren't really a guy who hired and fired players. Uh, uh no, no, no. I, I, I politically, I found it. I found that it was in my best interest to leave those decisions to the players. One, I'm not in the front lines, and two, I don't get any of the blame. Right? I, I like the, <laughs> they're, they're, anyone that's mad, they're mad at each other. Papa is, hey, you know, it's it's, it's how it went down. Mm a good way to handle it well i think I, I, the is other thing is that you're right huh is it still like that yeah it, yeah i mean look I, it, I i become everybody that that lives in the optic world is sort of in the same place already so hanging out with people on a daily basis you become friends with them and there's always going to be you know there's gonna, there's always going to be some utility to everyone right including me uh when when i'm no longer able to be in front of the camera or fucking do something. There's gonna be some form of you know back out back office opportunity for somebody else. For players, it's the same thing. Mm -hmm. If you're no longer a pro player, well, you you can still be a personality, right? And that's that's where it becomes harder to 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 draw people. So I I I, I truly don't, especially because we're putting a lot of the uh, we're bringing in somebody and we're putting all all the green wall fan eyeballs on this dude that may become a fan of this dude for this dude to take some of them with when they leave. Mm -hmm. I mean, luckily the green wall is super loyal, but that that's something that you have to think about as a, as an owner for sure. I, ha I have to ask, do you mm -hmm. know what pistol is doing now? I've always been fascinated by that dude. Yes. So, uh, great timing, Woody. Uh, oh. so, uh, Pistola was on the Optic Halo team up until like four months ago. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, he he he's still around. He's still good as hell. Uh, you know, obviously it, it comes How down to chemistry. Uh, I don't, man. I think he's like twenty seven, super old, twenty seven, twenty eight. <laughs> He'll be I'm dead kidding. soon. I'm yeah, kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, but but yeah, he's uh, he's still around. He's still godly at the game. Um, but we we just we we made a replacement. Uh, Early on, uh, the players, not me, the players uh, felt that they needed something more aggressive. So Formal, who won, I don't know, like 20 plus championships in Call of Duty for Optic, uh, retired from Call of Duty. 
in the off season or in that retirement, he got reengaged with Halo. Halo just came out. He put in the hours, and the the passion got reignited. So he worked his way up to the to the starter uh, role in know. optics. So he replaced Mustola. But he Mustola Halo. Is still good. So is is competitive Halo? I mean, it used to be kind of the pre- premier game, I mean, even when, like, when I was uh, heavy, heavy into Call mm-hmm. of Duty. You go to the MLG, mm-hmm. and it's really about Halo. Yep. Is that what is Halo like now? Whoa, dude, man. Uh, so, so Halo mm-hmm. was, ha- had its heyday, right? The what, what you and I remember. Mm-hmm. Um, but due to lack of support of sort on both uh on, on both the developer and you know i mean i i would say almost almost uh pro side community mm-hmm. um it had its it it had better days right for four years i think it was like it for actually for like 10 years but it was like dormant it nobody mm-hmm. was interested we tried to stay in it we try to try to work some stuff out we won a championship in it uh a couple actually um but at the end of the day, it, it it all comes down to developer support and and pro player support, right? Because if you're playing your game, as you know, as a as an as a personality or whatever, YouTuber, Twitch streamer, well, that helps your scene, right? If you, if you if you grow your audience, you're you know you're sort of making them a fan of you and the game. Mm-hmm. And for a while, it was just like dead, and then all of a sudden, it had this fucking crazy ass resurgence this past year, where the develop the development team had and hired this super cracked uh esports division and uh and it and, and it was it was hot man it, it i don't know about the ranking system right now i mean obviously something has happened oh, it's such a cool down period from launch till now uh but they they uh they launched and did everything right from the beginning team skins for for uh for pro teams that that committed to being in the league which is uh which is us right uh, mm-hmm. And then there's G2 and a bunch of others, but there's there's a bunch that that are in there because of that. Cool, yeah. Well, That's I hope the update on well. Halo, dude. Like, it's probably ten years ago. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you bumped into Pistola. We're at MLG Raleigh, and Hex. I've told this before. He and Pistola do a secret handshake, and I'm like, "Fuck, Hex is cool." <laughs> <laughs> if you didn't already know, weren't you like forty? <laughs> At, the time. Uh, at least uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm i'm 40 now so it's like it's not he weird me. it's not weird at all i'm woody right now i've never had oh, that's fun for hinge. me to watch too like when i started the cod the cod scene i was ancient right i was old i was everybody's like it wasn't just like dilf it was like gilf or something like like grandpa and <laughs> people were like they call me a pedo and everything how can i even exist in the gaming world I was 36. Mm. And, and now it's like uh, <laughs> he was Kyle's age almost. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I, I don't how old is Hutch? Hutch is probably older than 36 today, right? Yeah, no. yeah. I think he's older yeah, than yeah. Than no, he's years, here, right? he's uh Hutch he's like, like 40. Mm, he looks he looks like he's 40. <laughs> no. <laughs> he he's uh well his hair's making a comeback, which is a good thing. Zach says thirty eight. Yeah, thirty eight. Yeah, he's up there, man. Look, he's one of my oldest friends in in not just the industry, just just now in in general. Uh, still, still yeah. Hutch, you know. So, I, I it, it's fun for me, Hutch. I, I presume C. Anders. I think he's roughly Hutch's age, mm-hmm. and uh, and and the whole gang who was like the you know these kids who thought I was weird. You're weird too, bro. Welcome to my club. <laughs> like, now, like, right? No, yeah, no. Yeah. yeah, but you were weird when it wasn't even cool, man. Like, like <laughs> I still am. Like, you didn't have any excuse for being around back then. It was weird. We weren't even getting paid, bro. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's, it, he was there because he knew that this was going to happen, and there was going to be. A... I saw it all coming, Kyle. Yeah, hell yeah. I, I remember, <laughs> like, at the time, like when I met Woody, like I was eighteen. You were thirty-six, and like to an eighteen-year-old, thirty-six is like, oh, he's been an adult for generations. Yeah. And, <laughs> well, like, had, and I remember the, being the real like, thing was he had a family? It was like yeah. this is a man with like adult children not adult children but no, like but like like children who are like walking around talk. having yeah. ideas and yeah. shit you know what i mean like, yeah. they were i have a 12 year old a 12 year old i remember thinking like man how can woody upload like how does he know how to upload videos to youtube being that old and i was like oh I'm no literally he's wrapping a, up he's my a, master's he's a tech guy so yeah. that's how he knows to, how to hit upload i <laughs> yeah. don't know how private your private life is do, do people know is it a boy or girl is this a thing that you oh yeah yeah it's uh yeah it's uh, olivia 12 years old 
Oh, cool. Uh, yeah. It's like the, the same one I've had since uh, Optic was a thing. And, Any um, other kids? No, nah, just uh, her, eight dogs, a turtle. Wait, pa- hold eight dogs? Yes, eight dogs ranging. The back. I, I say, I, say the this, back. I think I say this every time. I, I check in with you guys like once, once, uh, <laughs> once a year. Right? You know, yeah, with me, Hex, you that. get to retell your stories. I've forgotten them all. <laughs> really? That's no. No, but I was, I, was, uh, money. I was vlogging as a 42-year-old still, right? And uh, and I'm like, yo, you know what's crazy? It's like, they don't keep up with anything that I do, and I don't keep up with, like, anything that they do. Like, I'll, I'll see a PKA clip here and there. But I'm like, aside from that, like, we don't. But once a year, like, old homies from fucking 2010 or 13, 14, like, get together, and they're just like, yo, what you been up to? So that's what... uh. I was just talking about you guys on uh, on my podcast with my brother, who had a who had a bone to pick with Kyle because Kyle. Like, <laughs> what did you do, Kyle? <laughs> what I do? Uh, tell you. What Kyle, I do? Kyle had this fucking uh, this clip where uh, you guys were watching. I don't fucking remember what it was, but you said one one uh, some some girl, some like American Indian uh, woman looked like my brother. I think that that's what it was. It was so long ago. And my brother's like. <laughs> My brother's like, motherfuck. Dude, dude, can, I say, can I just say that so long ago that not only do I have no memory of like what you're describing, you, I didn't remember how a brother. brother. <laughs> I didn't know you had a brother. Like gun to my head. Like, 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 and I know a little bit about you. I know about like like how rough things were before you came over to, to the US and everything. And like 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 um, but but I had no idea you had a brother and like like I don't even know when I would have seen a picture of him. Was this yeah. 12 years ago? Was that? <laughs> it had to have been. It had to have been. It had to have been episode five or something. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Well, well, Hex's brother, I apologize profusely for comparing you to a Native American woman. Uh, <laughs> if anything, you should take that as a compliment. They've got great skin tone. You great know? cheekbones. And, and, and yeah. Great. Purity. Yeah. They can right. I actually, I, I'm, I'm sticking to my guns. You're a pretty Yeah, he did. He did. He did. I don't remember, but he did. He did. He did. Uh, All right. You're grow- Kyle briefly mentioned rough growing up. I know I asked you about this before. Were you raised in a house with no plumbing, or has your modest yeah. beginnings become legend? No, no, no. I, I, I did. I, I did poo in a bucket for as a kid for some period of time. Um. Bam! I, we we gotta do this like twice a year then, so I don't have because I remember <laughs> fucking everything, and I'm like, man, we're I'm, I'm sure a lot of the fans that watch this I are are you. like, we know the fucking story, you old. <laughs> <the fuck." laughs> yeah, they're gonna roast me. <laughs> yeah, no, it's good. It's good. To, it's good to catch up. I was yeah. like, I was telling fucking um, uh, Chiz, I'm like, yo, I I've hit, I've texted both of these dudes to fucking hop on the podcast, and none of them have gotten back to me. And then COVID happened, so that super extended it for travel and all that shit. So. I, I kept on telling him, I'm like, yo, fuck, these guys haven't come on. And last just, time, <clears throat> last time you and I were texting, I, I, I was being elusive about it because I was like right in the middle of like doing my whole fitness thing. And I didn't want anybody to know what I was up to. Yeah. And I felt like if we talked, like you might notice or you might ask. And mm-hmm. I, I didn't want to have to lie straight to your face about what was up. Um, and that, that's what was going on then, honestly, because I remember like I was texting with you and I was at the gym. Yeah, like yeah. tanning or something like like, <laughs> like 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 i was like doing like my third hour uh like set of cardio for the day or something out wait well, what what uh, tell me about the fitness thing what what's oh, what's the deal? Um, oh wow you haven't kept up at all yeah so Dude, Zach, Zach, can up, you find uh, some pictures while Kyle yeah, tells please story? bring yeah, up so, pictures so, yeah, so Kyle's look, look, fucking I, diced so obviously no. like obviously like this audience has like heard this far too many times because i explained to a lot of guests but like mm-hmm. just in a sentence yeah um i got inspired to uh, do like a big body transformation thing. So I put myself in a hole and then I dug myself out of the Get hole over the, the course fuck. of, uh, over, that's uh, about Look at his biceps. That's 10 months. I'm looking at everything. <laughs> <laughs> his arm, look at what, like his armpits have like, ho- like they're holes and there's like yeah. a thing coming out of them under the bicep. Yeah. Find yeah. another one, Zach. There's more pictures. Um, Dude, so- you got fucking swole, swole. So that's yeah. uh that's a 10 month transformation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. His skin is as thick as my penis skin. It's like it's just fucking Is ripped. it as is it as ridgy as uh, <laughs> as, uh... <laughs> Yo, wait, well, so so how w- when is this? <laughs> Probably. Uh, wait, talking about vaccinated. Funny. Uh what is this? I'm uh... vaccinated. No, I believe, yeah, same. I'm vaccinated. Uh what's what's uh is this your Tinder profile? Yeah. Is it, yeah. it is? Yeah. Yeah, so, so what, my, what's up? Are we still looking like so my, that, or uh, I'm a little bigger than that now? But I've got I'm not as cut as that right now because I've been doing a little bulk thing here for the last several months. So 
Um, what I did to do that is I bulked for like seven months or so, and then I cut um, for three months or so. And uh, so I'm kind of doing the same thing again. Jesus. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to... Vascular. What, where do you post these pictures? Like, I, oh, I, I think so I, this I is where you this is, I follow you. No, this is where some jerk like tracked down my Tinder profile somehow, like, like, and uh, and like screenshot them and uploaded them to the internet. Oh, no you look like name call Kyle. I'm right here. <laughs> 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 it was Woody the whole time. <laughs> that's, that's, that's fucking hilarious. That's um, so good, Woody. It no, wasn't Kyle really did his me, very though. own. Oh, 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 you thought dude. it was me? No, yeah, was that's, show, that's so show. fucking good. Oh, yeah. Here's the artsy one. I couldn't help it. I had to do the artsy one. Yeah. It is really artsy. Yeah. You look like you read. I look like, yeah, like, I, like I'm. I'm I, you I look went like for you like read. A, I had to process. I, that was a sick line. I'm going for, like, like, <laughs> once you I look saw, literate, Kyle. <laughs> once, I, once I realized I could see my jugular, <laughs> I, just, I decided that I wanted to go for like a like sort of a Greek statue kind of thing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so I just played that up and went with the black and white. Oh my God, that is your jugular. So what? what is the- <laughs> so what does somebody have? Like, what? What? What was your like? Give me one day in the middle of it, like at your peak performance for this transformation. What was your one like your All right. um, one day look like from food and, and exercise? Obviously. So wake up. Um, first thing. Um, I'm I'm gonna make my decision right then whether I'm gonna do my fasted cardio now. Or after my first meal because I'm I'm hungry. I, I just woke up and I'm fucking starving. So I can fix that problem right now, or I can do my cardio. But at some point in the day, I'm doing fasted cardio, so I make that decision then. And one or the other happens, right? I either do 30 or 40 minutes of fasted cardio and then eat breakfast, or vice versa, something like that. But breakfast is like six eggs and like a cup of rice and a bunch of like spinach and vegetables. Um, and then I do something like that four times a day for about 3,000 3, calories a day. Uh, if I'm in the middle of this process, like you're saying, um, I'm ranking the calories up as I go. And I'm taking um, testosterone throughout the whole thing. I'm taking um, you know pre-workout and protein and um, working out uh, on a push-pull leg split, uh, push-pull legs rest split, you know, so I'm uh, just working out essentially five or six days a week, depending on how you look at the calendar and, uh, you know, doing, uh, about 30 minutes of cardio on average a day, but though, by the end I'm doing an hour at the end, it's an hour of cardio a day. It's, Jesus. it's, it's my calories have been slashed from 3,500 all the way or 30, wherever it was, 33, 3,400 all the way down to like 2,500 or something, which Dude, I felt think I like just carbonation. drank 2,500 in this fucking yeah. high sea. <laughs> no, I feel you. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, no, um, uh, it's it, it was just really fucking fun to do the whole thing. I worked with a, a couple of professionals to help me out with it, and uh, you know, uh, a TRT clinic and all that shit, and just really enjoyed it. And, I'm, and we've all gotten into fitness. Woody is like Woody's as diced as I am. <laughs> like that's the best part. Woody's like, 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 tremendous. Like you don't even know. No, Woody I can tell. Like, like, well, I mean, no, he's always had, no, he's always been, he's always been no. Text. Let me let me let me explain to you. Wait, are you about to show six Woody, six what, act yes. Woody shit? No, Woody is, show me. Woody is, I can see he's looking through. for it right now. I can just tell he's, he's looking for it right it now. Um, he's about to pull it up. I wasn't even gonna bring it up, but I'm gonna. Oh look. my god! No, it's just a good one. That's that's casual, Woody. That's well, like, I mean, yeah, I can tell by the khakis that this is casual, this, Woody. This picture inspired me to buy pants that fit. It, it looks like you beat up a fat man and stole his pants. <laughs> Woody, Everybody, congratulations! That picture? No, show show the big boy picture. Uh, Dude, look, Kyle and look, Kyle and, like he, he's got he pulls up his phone and he's like, here it is, is like <laughs> his background. Yeah, Kyle and Woody are shredded to the max, and I am built like a blacksmith in an HBO miniseries. Uh-huh. I need to hurry up and lose the weight. I think I'm getting blown out of the world. Wants to see. There's better ones I haven't posted. Somebody, uh, let me see. <clears throat> Bro, you look at this That's, beef see, that, What's what's Woody's wrestler name? Uh, I, 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 this is Wood Nasty. Father Time. <laughs> Father Time. <laughs> bro, that is so. Bro, what? How? I I need to check in twice a year. This is fucking madness to me. Look at his delt. Yeah. Look at that delt with the end. That was like three weeks ago. That's a man who programs in Python. Jeez, man. <laughs> Yeah. So what is what 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 don't you what what no no soda no sugar just not none of that right Woody? 
uh, hypothetically. So here, here yeah. <laughs> so no soda, no soda and sugar is actually true. I don't, I don't do those. I wake up in the morning. I have an omelet typically. Uh, I'll have salsa in it. No cheese. Usually not of eggs though. It's like either egg whites or egg beaters. Uh, for lunch, I have this chicken sandwich, and it's lavish, so it's not bread or anything. It's something lower calor less caloric than that. And then for dinner, uh, baked potato because it solves hunger. Um, chicken and mixed vegetables Make every day egg yolks what do you need some egg yolks that's like the only thing i i i have the same meals almost every meal like i've done yeah. very very much i'm weird i, I think i'm autistic i don't know like i'm, no, I'm perfectly no. fine having it's, the same meal no it's a discipline thing like like, like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i like i like doing that thing too like like if i'm being strict about this thing spartan is the word i use like <clears throat> Man, if I were to slip up and throw some Velveeta in today, then then tomorrow it's gonna be Velveeta and, and a little butter, and then the day after that we get, we get let, let's just get the real cheese. And it's yeah. like, there's a slippery slope when you're when you're on a diet. Mm -hmm. So like so like I what, like you're food. fucking forty nine. You have no business looking like that. <laughs> I'm zero business. Kyle. What, if I'm and, hungry, and, and, I eat, but I eat uh, either tropical fruit. Or just chicken breast with nothing on it. And let me jump in because Woody's too polite to say it. But like I, Woody did this all natural at forty nine. With mm. I wish he'd get his test levels determined now, yeah. but we know just how impressive this transformation is. Yeah, because if, 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 yeah. if his testosterone levels are nine hundred, and they very, they very <laughs> well <laughs> maybe they could be. I mean, you're a guy with a high sex drive. You've got body hair. You've got you. You were you're an athlete most of your life. Like. You could have an, you could easily have like some 900 level testosterone level, and now it's petered down to a measly 700. And the, <laughs> you know what I mean? Where yeah, like I, where like my shit was at like 320 or whatever when I started, and then we got the syringe out and fixed shit. So like I've got a real unfair advantage. But in, you were also like your your nat your natural T wasn't as low as like that 300. Like you were eating Me? bad and like putting on the oh, fat max stuff that's... prior to it. I've gotten it tested twice. It was low both times. No, so so oh, it, it was okay. just bad. Yeah, it was. It had just gotten low, and I think it it had happened. I think I didn't notice it because I was like depressed over like being under the trial and everything, and mm -hmm. and the legal shit and and moving and everything. So I didn't even maybe I so suppress it like sleep schedule and body fat, both of which you struggled with before the transformation. Yeah, and I think that that mainly though, like what I was gonna say is that maybe it just naturally went down during that time period. Cause that was when I was around 32 or so. And mm -hmm. like, I, I was like, yeah, I'm feeling bummed out. I have a probation officer. <laughs> of course I'm low energy. I yeah. don't go out at all. Cause I'm afraid I'm going to get a speeding ticket and, and it's, it's going to like, mm -hmm. I'm going to end up back in front of a judge. Cause that's all it would have taken. Right. Like yeah. a, a traffic infraction where like, the police engine, I, I was with a girl and she had pause? a minor. Are you not exaggerating? You're not exaggerating about a speeding ticket. I thought I assumed you were. All right, a speeding ticket's probably exact. What I'm talking about is like how that could easily escalate to like yeah. me back in jail. Like a speeding mm -hmm. ticket could end up in like a road rage thing, or yeah. like, or like maybe my documentation wasn't correct, or like, like who knows what. Like I'm, I'm just so paranoid because mm -hmm. yeah. I don't want to. What happens? What can happen is the judge can say, "Hey, you realize that you are you've been released on your own recognizance until your 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 trial and everything." I could hold you in. They can hold me in jail if they want. He could just say, you know, I get back in that jail. And I don't know mm. what jail they put me in. If they send me back to Franklin County and that place where they were starving us on boiled eggs, or if mm. they put me in one of these scary jails out here in Atlanta. But the point being, like, I was bummed out right then. And so maybe my testosterone levels were going down at the same time. And I was just like, yeah, I'm bummed yeah. out because of this trial thing. But really, it was just my testosterone. Was well, doesn't lower. stress it's a chicken and an egg thing. Chicken and egg, baby. Um, mm. Yeah. Yo. So, so, so sorry, uh, and I I know I asked you this last time. I think, um, how how long were you in for? Oh, I, sixty days. Sixty days. Okay. Is it is it like I I know a lot of I know too many people that are in incarcerated, but they 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 look like me. So is it for somebody like you? Do you have to sort of associate with like you know white dudes or like how how does that how does that go? Because over here like. Puerto Ricans in some cases won't even mesh with Mexicans that well. Yeah, I mm -hmm. think in the medium security, it's a lot more like that, um, mm -hmm. a lot more segregated. Um, and the max, I think it's extremely segregated. But where I was in this uh, like low, mm -hmm. it was, well, definitely races hung together and stuck together as mm -hmm. far as like jobs and shit. Like 
a black guy ran the laundry crew, you couldn't get on laundry if you're white, like or, mm. or Mexican, like mm. like white and brown people were not getting on laundry duty. But a white guy ran the automotive shit. Only white guys did automotive. You couldn't mm. get on there if you're brown. But then a brown guy did like a bunch of like other shit. And so like, yeah, that's where you could go. And, and like everybody. So I'd be talking to my Mexican friend. He'd be like, yeah, I really wanted to get in there and do laundry, but they ain't having it. Like, and, then, <laughs> and then he'd start, dro- he'd start dropping in bombs like way too loud. Basically what I did though is, <laughs> yes, I, I, uh, I tried to make friends that I thought could like watch my back and make sure because mm-hmm. Cause I didn't know the rules in there. Like, like there was a couple times where like I didn't wash my hands once after I took a piss and somebody mm. took notice and it was a big fucking deal. And, uh, and like somebody had to tell me, you know, and I was like, all right, all right, I won't do that again. And I turned, I changed the, uh, the TV station one day. Somebody had a fucking meltdown, even though it was the white people TV that I had changed. And it was a black man who had the issue. It's neither here nor there. I'm not getting into, I was, I was like, I was about to be like, this is the white people TV though. But then mm. I remembered don't think of yourself as one of the white people, Kyle. You're, mm. you're going to be here for, for 30 more days. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. like, it doesn't matter. For, fuck the TV. Well, that was pretty racist of him to not let you watch stuff on the white TV. I think mm-hmm. it was just a morning tradition to watch uh, all the local news channels, and he didn't care for Everybody Loves Raymond. I bet if Martin Yo. had been on, it would have been A-OK. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, there's, there's, a, there's a bunch of... There's a bunch of... Um, there's a bunch of TikToks where there's like people with phones in jail. Yeah, some people have fucking PlayStations, and if they have Wi-Fi, they I'd can play talking. online. Yeah, I'd hear them talking at um all the time at night, like right before lights out, or even after lights out. They go in the bathroom, like pretend they're taking a shit, and they just be like, "Yeah, baby, nah. What mm-hmm. you need, what you mm-hmm. need is a gangster in your life. Mm-hmm. What you need is a gangster in your life." I mean, and that's think, facts. And I'm like taking a piss, like, <laughs> like you know, I bet there's a lot of dudes out there that that use that line. This dude fucking means, means that it. Shit. <laughs> like, like, he is he has he has a contraband cell phone in a federal prison. Yeah, that's that, that right is now. gangster. That is gangster. After that lights gangster. out. Like, like there's levels to that shit. If he gets caught with that, like they uh they put him in the hole. Like, like that they, bitch they, ass wild. ain't got nothing. Minimum security. I steal his girl. <laughs> <laughs> you need a well, real I mean, gangster Kyle like Woody's gamer tag. <laughs> with the what? first rule of prison. I have he all the trophies in, there, in Grand Theft Auto. And he went up to the biggest guy Partial? and he fucked him. <laughs> and, <laughs> I said, give me that dick <laughs> give me that from dick. the bottom yes yeah. <laughs> you, you like go into prism uh, like aggressively when gay. i mounted like, him, like to try, no you're not raping me i want you to <laughs> <laughs> when i mounted him <laughs> you don't even get turned out you go eager <laughs> no get think... back here i want some more yeah. <laughs> is that all you got i'm gonna climb you like a tree otis wow <laughs> nazis are sure are pussies <laughs> Quick question: Is this still called cowgirl when it's you? That's yeah, cowboy. Cowboy. All right. Yeah, no. Um, no. Prison was silly. Um, I'm. I'm glad I'm not in prison anymore. I'm glad I'm back here. Uh, back. I'm back glad home. you're not either. I. It stressed Same. me out when you were in jail. Uh, yeah. I think it. Uh, I think it stressed uh, everybody out. But I was. I was always like, it'd be kind of scary in there some days. And uh, but and I'd be talking to like Kitty or I'd be talking to uh, Chiz. Oh my! How's, how, how's she doing? She's good. She's good. She's still out there where, where you're at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's not far from me. She, um, I'm out like uh, south of Atlanta. Mm. So, um, yeah, she's all good. We live pretty close to each other. Like, like the only reason that like we were roommates for years and years. The main reason I moved out is because the feds were trying to act like her Etsy business, where she sells like candles and essential oils, was some sort of trafficking hub <laughs> for my like marijuana concentrate business. Meanwhile, I've never seen more than like half an ounce in my life before mm. they locked me up. <laughs> do, do you have a concentrate business? Fuck no, I don't. Have uh, no, they were accusing him of that. <laughs> they were uh, accusing me of trap. It, it's it's it's. Look, I have I have a I have a cannabis uh, company in 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 California now. I know you do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Awesome. yeah. So that's why that's like, awesome. I'm like, oh. How long have you been doing that? I think last time you were on, you mentioned like maybe getting it up. Uh, no, nah, I don't think so. I, I don't I don't remember what month. Uh, when it was the la- that I was last on, but this started almost a year and three months ago. Yeah, so yeah, like a, like a year and a half ago uh, is when Pine Park um, Pine Park got started. Is that what Pine Park is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, Pine Park it, is uh, the name of my cannabis company. Is it tied into the optic branding at all? No, 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 totally no. Separate. Okay. Yeah, it's I, I didn't. It, it, 
so the the way that I thought about this thing is like I was either gonna do a a salsa company, right? Uh, something that I can I cook a lot. And I'm like, well, if I'm gonna cook and grill and do my thing, like might as well do it on camera and you know mm-hmm. sort of share my recipes with the uh, with with the world, my mom's recipes, uh, with with uh, with the people that watch me. So it was either gonna be that or a tequila company, uh, obvious reasons. And then I was just like, man, I, I started seeing all these headlines of the opportunity mm-hmm. this uh, of of this, and I thought about it. I'm like, man, it's not even you know, legal everywhere. And like, this, this is the sort of uh, money that's out there. So I was like, no brainer. I and I like smoking it. Right now, I think <laughs> um, like Delta 8 and uh, all the other like legal variants, mm-hmm. uh, being able to like jump into those markets that that have been nothing but the illegal market before is has got to be huge right now. I, I keep hearing like little issues with law enforcement. Right now, I think here in Atlanta, maybe in Gwinnett, for, for anybody who's local, uh, they've got some sort of issue where like the local law enforcement <clears throat> is is like gave them a letter that was like cease and desist, throw all this shit out. Like like you've got like no bullshit. It's not it's against the law. And they're like and so the the smoke shop got uh, a restraining order against all of the officers and everybody else at the department. And so like it's an enforceable restraining order. So like they're they're kind of a they don't know what to do now. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what to do either. Yeah, it's a it's it's a funny situation because they're not breaking the law at all. Like like without getting into all the nonsense, mm-hmm. you know, it's still right yeah. lamp, and yeah. uh, it has less than 003 percent, I mm-hmm. think THC with nine, which is the illegal shit, uh, for whatever reason. Mm-hmm. Um, so uh, well, I don't know. Psychoactives, man. Yeah, you wouldn't want any psychoactives. Why does it work if there's no THC in it? <clears throat> or maybe this you is don't THC. Understand. Oh, this is uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know the difference, right? Uh, yeah, I, I do. believe. I think it's t- it's delta eight acetate, right, or something like that. Like like, like uh, is is technically what it is. It's yeah, just, it, it, it's just so many variations of it. Yeah, yeah. Which is it, what's which is what's scary to big pharma, to big tobacco, to uh, the alcohol industry, cotton industry. Mm-hmm. I mean, you, this is what the threat is. Like this one plant gives you medicinal, you know, benefits. It gives you a really good time everything tastes better looks better sounds better feels better mm-hmm. um so yeah i mean this just is just uh too too natural and too un- uncontrolled right now by the government or by big companies that can pay the government so it's uh well because of the farm system. bill because yeah. of the farm bill that, that like, like this is an example of the federal law saying no 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 we agreed the hemp stuff's legal and that and and, and the stoners were like so we can have hemp yeah, you'd have to smoke a metric ton of it to get stoned. They're like, Mm-mm. well, what if we concentrate it and change it a little? Wait, 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 what? What do you mean change it? <laughs> well, you know, what if we, what do you think, we're farmers? Like, like, like we're, we're going back to our fucking laboratory with a we're metric chemists. ton of hemp, and we're not leaving until you get stoned with one of these. <laughs> <laughs> Senator. <laughs> like, and that's well, what they fucking did. Is very good. That was really good. <laughs> that's what they fucking did. And now, like, it's you can true. go in. And, and look, like, I, <laughs> someone should sponsor me. Three Cheese should get a hold of me because, like, I ordered. You can go on a Three Cheese website and you can order sixty fucking grams of THCO or HHC if if you prefer. HHC is too thick for vape pens, though. Use a dab rig. I don't that. even know what THC is. It, it hits this. I don't care what it is. I know what it makes me feel like. And oh. and both of them are about on the same level. And they are the strongest things that I have found by far. It's three fucking dollars a gram for one hundred eighty dollars. You get three like. Big ass jars of this stuff. I don't have one. Mm, hand, Kyle, like, I have some questions. That that price you mentioned is that a low or a high price? It's incredibly Ooh, low. Unbelievably it's low. Why? No, I, I don't. It's no, a low. Okay, low. Low. Well, let me, I asked let me, because I thought there might be listeners who didn't know either. I okay, guess. so yeah. like if we were buying like um like marijuana flower, you know, like 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 the the buds, um, you'd pay like twelve dollars a gram for for that, and and like that's just enough for a joint, right? This is, I'm talking about $3 a gram, and a gram is what it takes to fill up a cart. This cart lasts for days and days and days for, for $3. I have yeah. another question. So in in your prime, right, this is 30-year-old Kyle, an Olympic-level smoker. You had a tolerance that that most could not compete with. Mm-hmm. How do you compare to that version of Kyle? You, you, you working your way back into to smoking shape? You know, I don't know because I smoke this stuff and I use this vape pen so that it's uh-huh. difficult to quantify. Okay. I don't smoke. I haven't been smoking more and more per day. I kind of I smoke a good bit during the show because I like to be silly here. But like 
usually during the day i i smoke like if i'm right before i eat or like um i don't know maybe if i'm gonna watch a movie at night or something and definitely before bed every night before bed before bed is the be- if i get high during the day like i can go into it being like i'm gonna get high and i'll just have a great workout anyway but yeah. it's like it's never the same like where, holding where, it as a where little, are like, you taylor if you can say uh missouri <gasps> St. Okay. Louis. So, so like I use the legal stuff here, same that Kyle's talking about. Mm-hmm, like, mm-hmm. No reason not to. But like even that, like Delta Eight, if I hit it a couple times, I don't smoke as quite as much as Kyle. Like it, I'm getting nothing done. Like the rest of the day, most likely. Like I, it, and even if I do, it's going to be a level of efficiency that not high me would be frustrated at. And it's like, mm. what, what is the? I don't know. And I can't enjoy it. It'd be like getting drunk, like right before you had to do something really important. I need to. I need to t- talk to someone because I just feel like why don't I have a Delta Eight company right now that that we promote on the show? We should. Well, no more, no you, more promoting listen, these companies until they reach listen, out. Because like like for like these products. Tama, 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 you're talking yeah. to him right now. Like, 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 <laughs> like, you're talking like, to him right now. You want you want Del- I, I I got the I got you I got the plug. See, right. like, like, like the, the pricing is so outrageous, though. I might want my own company, Hex. I might have to. <laughs> I, I don't want any of your marijuana business. I want some of this, this Delta 8 stuff, all right? Yeah. I, I, I don't want to yeah. step on your toes. Um, but, mm. but because, like, this little pack of nonsense yeah. was, like, 20 fucking dollars. Like, 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 like it, and it's it's just rolled hemp. And how, then how, they, and then they how long spritz. does it last, do you? I don't, I don't use these anymore. This is the, the, the bullshit I started off with when I didn't know what to yeah. buy. I I, these, mm-hmm. I bought these pre rolls for like way crazy expensive, and it says that each one of them is um, 400 milligrams of delta eight and 700 milligrams of CBD per pack. Mm-hmm. So you divide that by ten uh, yeah. and pre rolls. That's 40 milligrams of delta eight. That's bullshit dosage. Like like I got these when I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. They were overpriced and everything. Again, this is three dollars a gram. Like like you could see how much they had put on here, and it was just a spritzing. And I doubt it was as potent as this stuff is. This was just. But the, the what I'm what I'm getting at is the profit yeah. must be a hundred percent. Like this didn't cost a dollar. Like this packaging is so shitty and cheap. Yeah. Like like it's not like a cigarette package. Like well, it's, it's, suppo- it's, it's supposed to be better than that. It's supposed to be fucking childproof. What, it, did didn't, it, come no, in a it didn't bar? come. No lamination. There was well, just a sticker. There's a sticker on the side that keeps it sealed. Oh, well, some no of those oil. are really strong. So I don't mean I don't want to step on anyone's business or talk shit about it. No, but, this was bullshit. You're like, oh, oh th- there is so much bullshit at those smoke stores. I swear to God, I went in to buy gummies a few weeks ago. One of their options just had the rabbit from Tricks on it. Yeah, no trademark. I guarantee respect. they didn't get permission no, from no, Tricks no, no, no. to use that rabbit. It was <laughs> just some guy they hired to do the graphics. Oh, but, it's called Bunny and, Mania. And Put I've, that <laughs> bunny online. <laughs> Take that. They were funny on Google image search. When yeah. I, was, I bounced around to like all the smoke shops and like little places that, that like sell this stuff or that you could get off of Google or anywhere on the internet. And most of them are places that used to be like nicotine, like, like nicotine vape places. And they've just expanded to this because this is like what's hot right now mm-hmm. at, you know, at next to their hookah section. Now they've got Delta eight and other derivatives. But like this, I, I'll never forget that one guy I told you guys about who like, Man, it was shady. I should have taken a picture of the outside of his business. It was so like, there was no storefront. There was just a door and a wall. And I went in there and it was just two dudes behind a counter and it smelled like real weed. And there was so much shit everywhere. And it was all that trademark infringement shit, yeah. like like the Cinnamon Toast Crunch edibles and like Lucky Charms shit everywhere. And when I asked him for like a, a, a five grams of concentrate, he just got a ball out and started carving off of it with like a like a like a tool. <laughs> Meanwhile, the body of the actual proprietor is lying rotting. <laughs> dude, dude, I told him uh, he, he he was like, "Do you like this shit better than regular weed?" And I was like, "I just got off probation." Uh, I said, "I just got off federal probation, so I'm looking for like something that's 100 percent legal. I don't want any more trouble." He's like, "I feel that. I got out in like 2000, like 18 or whatever." And I, mm. he, I I was like, "Out of what?" He's like. FPC or whatever, like federal prison system. <laughs> Damn, I've been uh, doing and, sorry, edibles it, more than I ever do. Like my dosage is so small. A gummy is thirty five, and I like a quarter of it. That like I've tried a half, and I took a half. I'm like, am I nauseous? I feel like I'm a like not that I want to throw up, but I like mm-hmm. I'm, if I'm asking that question, it's too much. Yeah, dude, you, and, you look, look at your body fucking <laughs> fat percentage. That's what. That's why you're lightweight, dude. Like you're lightweight. You're you're a thin dude. That's going to affect you differently. They, oh, I didn't know that. But uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, so if, you, if you take a shot, if you take three shots of tequila right now versus I don't know when you were like heavier, like it's going to affect you differently. 
Uh, so yeah, I, I take true. a quarter. It just uh, makes me tolerant of everybody. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> um, a little sleepy, too. It puts me to bed. So I had just definitely a nighttime thing for me. And um, whatever. It's chill. Have yeah. uh, have any of you been following the uh, Supreme Court justice proceedings, hearings? <clears throat> Not even um, a little. So I've tried to stay away from it because it's so contentious. And, uh, and you know, like either side, when they get their 30 minutes or so to question the nominee, they use it as this platform for whatever they're into. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I did catch the one segment where the 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 lady asked katanji is that is that this um brilliant person's name uh it, regardless um she asked her if she could define the word woman for her yeah, and it's a tricky one and that was a tough tough one to crack and because i had been like watching this on youtube this guy who i'm guessing is a very conservative right-wing youtuber type feller i don't know i did no research forgive me if i'm just so <laughs> but he's made like an hour-long video where he traveled the entire planet and he, con he 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 talked to african tribesmen with the bald heads he talked to like pe people in saint B petersburg square i think like he went <laughs> to find what is a woman <laughs> and he got you know like the africans are like oh this guy you know, they're laughing at him because he's so fucking stupid he doesn't, you know. <laughs> I, I didn't watch any of his he did video, this in I, the last I intend, week i just intend traveled? to go back to it and, i don't know uh, how he got it no done, it, it's, it's, a, funny. it's a thing he's been doing for oh, a while okay. because i believe the reason they asked this candidate um the question is because it's a quest it's a it's a it's something that the the that certain people have been using against certain people for a long time because it's very difficult question to ask to to answer um and not in america a lot of people yes in america specifically it is very hard to answer the question what is a woman i saw him put the mic in front of four women and ask them what a woman was and they were terrified <laughs> <laughs> wait where were they americans of course Okay. Well, you said he went around the world, so it wasn't obvious. Oh well, I, I actually I don't know if they're Americans. They just they, I mean, they were pretty blonde white women, so I just assumed. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what I'd say either. It, like I, I feel like I don't know how to answer that. It's tricky now. It wasn't previously. The the issue I can answer it, but it requires more than like a quick like uh, explanation by chromosomes or genitals. I have to say, I have to say that and then say. But also, there are some people who, unfortunately, the first two rules didn't apply to by some cruel mix-up at the beginning of their lives. And, a and, cruel mix-up? Yeah, they yeah. feel like they didn't get the parts they ordered. I'm, I'm and, answering uh, the... I, I, feel like, I, feel, I feel like that's how you got, what you got to say. But there was some cruel mix-up in, 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 in the womb, and this person should have uh, had, had something, then they didn't end up with it. And, uh, but they're still a woman, though, because uh, men can get periods, too. <laughs> that so so that was a big deal they question can. from the <clears throat> from the uh whatever it's called it, the, the so, congress people asking it as kyle mentioned <clears throat> anytime there's a supreme court justice it's not just now that there's a democrat one the same thing happened mm -hmm. uh when trump was president and the democrats mm -hmm. tried to attack his choices uh, that's what they do they go up there and they try to pin them down with the issues they think the other side is vulnerable <clears throat> to so there's a whole lot of like critical race theory questions, uh, biological questions like the one he mentioned, and I forget what else. But you know, uh, they're yeah, it's a lot of like flavor of the week, like uh, the Kavanaugh thing. It was like right in the middle of <clears throat> Me Too, so that yep, was like the yep. huge thing. Yeah, I actually look at it like it's like a uh, it's like the final exam on your PR test. Like they want to <laughs> see how good you are at deflecting, how good you are at not falling for a question. It's uh, it, let's just lead. Let's just lead with kindness and common sense. No, there was one, one where uh, I think Ted Cruz like had this. I don't know anything about critical race theory because I can tell it will it, it will enrage me if the more I learn about it. <laughs> it. It's one of those things where like when I watch a movie trailer and I see like some cool shit, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna watch this. Anything else will only be a spoiler going forward. It's I I, I want to mm -hmm. buy it. It's like mm -hmm. it, you mm -hmm. know, um, rewind me three three seconds. Rewind. You were talking about critical race theory and no one, not knowing that about he, it with Crit Ted Cruz. Ted Cruz pulls out this, like, I guess, book may, that's maybe at the center of some critical race theory mm -hmm, controversy. Mm -hmm, and there's mm -hmm. some, there's a bunch of babies in there. And the book puts forward that, oh, yeah. that the a white babies, baby. there's some racist babies in this book. 
You know, so, and, and I don't Wait, mean is like, this, is this a yes, joke? yes, there's no joking here, Taylor. This is the world we know. Taylor, in. these babies are racist, they're as fucking fuck. racist ass babies. It's, it's not taught. <laughs> and, 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 and he's he asked her, he's like, Do you think that there are racist babies or something like that? And and like this cunt like refuses to fucking do what we would love her to do and be like, I am not an expert in babies nor literature, and I've never seen that book before. But no, of course, I don't believe in racist babies. And that's all I care to t- say about it. And that book, Mr. Cruz. <laughs> like, 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 that's what I'd say. Like, like, I know you're trying to bait me into some sort of weird gotcha here. But no, I don't believe in racist babies. But, yeah. well, but who, who does that. believe in you know, racist babies? She does! Well, no, it wasn't. No, no, no. She, I like well, she did it because she, she, she never seen that book. I mean, I didn't even know that book was, was in existence. Is that like... Uh, I'm looking I just, for her exact quote, and I'm, I'm oh, I wish I could find it super fast, but I it wasn't too bad, according to me. Maybe I'm a a liberal cuck or something, but she was like, uh, "This isn't something that Supreme Court judges have to deal with." I've never wonder, seen that book. That book has never crossed yeah, my desk yeah, in the yeah. courtroom, and I don't have an opinion on that book without having seen it or read it. I wonder is, is if how I recall. Yeah, she's like, it's not my job to to do like you're asking me questions about. Why don't you, at the same time as you want me to answer this question, ask me about plumbing, something I also know nothing <laughs> about or have read a manual on, right? Uh, PVC, PVC. You get new stuff that that like just clicks in. <laughs> Wait, say, it, say it again. I think I talked. Kyle knows I, about plumbing. He's flexing. On uh, this. Yeah, I'm flexing my plumbing knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> no, I, I, I uh. As I was thinking about it while you guys were chatting, I was like, I bet babies are racist, though. Like, like if you've got like a white baby who's like brand new and and like continuously like imprinting everything like on this brand new fucking SSD drive that they got for a brain like and they have never seen a black guy and they're like eight months old and all of a sudden a black dude walks in. The brain is like danger, danger, danger. It has to on be a, right. Like, on a saw, similar note, I, saw, I wonder if you've never yeah. seen one. I saw, I saw, I, I saw TikTok this morning. Actually, funny that you mentioned that. Where, and I, I it may have been fake, but it, 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 it looked real enough for me to bring it up. Uh, there was this one white dude with a camera that met some tribe somewhere for the first time. That was the first white person that they had ever seen. Okay. Uh, and it, the, every single time the, the white dude went and. and you know the 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 do the the indigenous person touched him. He was oh every move that he made, he was like fucking apprehensive and, and that. Now it could have been the the color of his skin, but it could have also been the you know his his attire, right? Like yeah. they mm-hmm. they've never seen fucking. It's, it's like it's I've a novelty I've seen things. that too. It's One is the quote. There. I have it correct now. She yeah. said. Senator, I've not reviewed any of those books or any of those ideas. They don't come up in my work as a judge, which I'm respectfully here to address my work as a judge, which is mm-hmm. evidence from my decade on the bench. Yeah. So uh, great, great answer to a stupid question that shouldn't have been asked. Yep. Um, and the other thing, Kyle was like, I wonder if babies are racist. I took it on a similar level. I wonder if other animals are racist. If we had a bunch of yellow labs and a chocolate lab came in, would they greet that chocolate lab well, as a color member blind, of the pack? So no. <clears throat> oh well, then that's not a good example. <laughs> well, what no, we I, think, I think else? colorblind, like, they the can't see red and green. Animals in the world, they only <laughs> see black and white. <laughs> I, I think. I think it's uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, like. Yeah. Does it happen in the animal kingdom? Do they like? Obviously, if you bring you know, a bunch of labs and a wolf <laughs> I just comes how in, perfect that is. <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Anyway, I wonder if animals are racist based on fur color. I think they see more than black and white. I think they see like some like. They just can't see. It's a like regular colorblind, and I and I want to know this: Who fucks it? Said? Like, how how the fuck do they know? Like, is there is there something that they're looking at a at an iris that you can determine by the lack of fucking little lines? Or like, how do how do they, they how do they know? I would I'd be interested in the study. I'm gonna actually look yeah. into it more because I don't like being I, unless I the baby's first word is you know like, <laughs> no, <laughs> like I, I, I think well, honestly, I think that they're like, just that's, babies. That, like, that, <laughs> like racism would be... is always uh, also a a. A learned thing, right? What if, an, what if you had an instance where you had? I mean, you could easily do like some sort of like experiment, right? Where you just have a bunch of toddlers hang out in one of those little playpen like cage areas full of toys and shit, and you just, you know, you mix the races up a little bit, and you see how they pair off into groups, and like, holy mm. shit, all the white kids like went, all, went over here and like, excluded the the brown I would, kids. You know, I don't I, know. That's I, that's I more for imagine... me. That's more personality, right? Like me, I'm super fucking outgoing. I'll say hi. 
to fucking everybody, right? Like no matter where we go. The wife, however, is a little bit more reserved and she's not as outgoing. So I think babies that are outgoing are going to chill with people who aren't as outgoing or as outgoing. You know what I mean? So that, yeah, that, but we're being scientific about the sex. We're not just doing so, one study <laughs> group of 10 toddlers. No, we're I'm making up thousands of stuff. toddlers. And yeah. every time we injected a black toddler, they segregated off to the side. And is that what asked, happened? Wait, wait, what are you talking about? Are you talking about an actual oh, study? Oh, no, I'm that making happened? this up. As just I go. It. Oh, this is, no. This is a pure fabrication. Have you ever seen the show Dave Chappelle and uh, when they when they switched the the, <laughs> the, the house rules, right? Where oh, they had they had a uh, no, I wasn't talking about oh, what the fuck's up. Anyway, I wasn't talking about. I was talking about where uh, they do like like uh, road rules, right? Like they had the house, the real mm-hmm. world, right? But it was, yeah. all, it, it was it was all blacks and then one white dude. So like yeah. that, it's you know it, it depends obviously how you fucking grew up too, right? Like it's. But they don't grow up. That's the point. They haven't been imprinted on anything. They're infants. They shouldn't have like preconceived notions about. They wouldn't. Race they wouldn't. Color. They wouldn't act that way. But you they know, do like, act, act that way. That's the point of the critical do, race theory book that Ted Cruz is holding up. Anecdotally, they, I think they. I'm with Hex. I, I, yeah. I feel like babies and people don't start acting racist until they're fifth class. It's a learned behavior. Yeah. Yeah. It sounds like a more like distinct line i see with kids because a lot of my friends what, are what about young what, kids like is it a learned it's behavior a, to be it's afraid a, of snakes and spiders it's a boy girl divide when a yes. bunch of kids get together it seems like when there's a bunch of young kids hanging out because like they seem to like all the boys go do the boy thing all the girls do like that's the line that it seems to divide more than <laughs> than right. i have a thing about that i want it depends on the age like at very young ages it it's completely mixed i don't think it i don't mm-hmm, think there's mm-hmm. a shift there until like seven or eight like a even younger I, I remember it like two or three um yeah. hope had a bunch of guy friends right and then she's two or three don't get it twisted mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and uh those boys were like wild indians they were <laughs> screaming around the house the layout of our apex house was that there was like a stairwell and you could run in a circle around the steps that was yeah. like the, the floor plan so they're zipping around zipping around just yelling and screaming or whatever hope is on the steps putting a hat on them as they go by, taking the hat off, putting on the other one, <laughs> right? She, she was just way more chill as a girl than the boys were. And and anecdotally, that's my experience. The boys were just revved up. Oh, it's not even like, anecd- like, like I said, a lot of my friends are having kids and like all the, all the friends I have with daughters who are like three, four are like, like having conversations with the ones with the sons and being like, Oh, you guys have it so hard. That little boy's running around. Look at my little Susie. She's just playing on the iPad doing this. And, you know, the boy parents are like, well, yours are going to get harder in the future. We're getting our horrible years out of the way <laughs> early on. <laughs> so, like, and, and I should true. note, like, I didn't, and I'm saying it weird, but like, I, I didn't raise hope to be like girly. Like I didn't focus mm-hmm. on tea sets and dolls and shit like that. Like, you know, I, I, I didn't focus on just girl things and, and that's just, she just was a girl. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That it's it's weird how that happens. Still is actually. actually <laughs> the phrase is weird. It's weird. It it, it's like you've got a girl and she just likes to do like traditionally girly things. And I don't know who's been exposing her to this to this nonsense, this propaganda that she should like doll. She just does. I, I we think it's a mental <laughs> illness. We're working on it. <laughs> 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 like, yeah, it might be a psyop. To like Tonka <laughs> trucks. I just oh. liked Tonka trucks. Um, I, I love I wanna, Tonka let, trucks. They were my bomb. The ones I'm that sorry. were made up. I remember feeling like more grown up as a five year old when I used my metal Tonka truck in the yard. Like I'm, like, you know, you That's know, so cool. years of plastic. Place. I'm an adult. Oh. <laughs> I'm <was like>, <laughs> generation before you, but like. There were all kinds of toy trucks and stuff like that. Tonka trucks were built to last back in my day. They were amazing. You could get your body in the bed of a pick of a pickup truck, or it's a bigger thing, like a dump truck. A dump truck. You could Yellow. ride that shit down a hill. As Yellow a and black, right? Oh yeah, yeah. And, yep. and it would hold up. Any other truck, that thing's smashed. It won't do. You yeah, walk I, into the side of one of those metal Tonka trucks, your shin's gonna get cut. Which of the no um so 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 let's flex on uh Hex here because he didn't get toys growing up. So like no. every year there Aww. it he used to be <laughs> you zoomers don't know, know anything about this, maybe, but like I guess you do like it, but it's always a PlayStation, it's always a console now. But back in the day, like there was a hot item every Christmas year, and it wasn't another video game console. Mm. Like like now that seems like the thing it's gonna it was a PlayStation yeah. 8. Like, like, but back then it was like, oh no, it's a Tickle Me Elmo doll. Like mm-hmm. every planet, every parent is scrambling because they only ordered three million of them, and eight million parents want one this year. 
and uh like like what was the uh like like the quintessential like toy of the year that you got that was like the big deal like please please get me the he-man sword with with like audio action the fucking thundercats <clears throat> Uh, for me, I, 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 the one gift to this day that I remember is my bike. It was just like a BMX. Uh, and before that, it was just like a bunch of socks and fucking, I don't know, shit, uh, unmemorable shit. It wasn't toys, though. Some, some were, but it wasn't the ones that I wanted. It was actually, they would give me luchadors. Uh, you guys know the Mexican oh, yeah, luchadors, yeah. right? Those are cool. So they gave me those little wax, those little wax figures instead of fucking Liono or Chitara, or fucking He-Man, and like the shit that I was actually watching on TV. It was, but I'm, I'm still thankful for the shit that I got. Yeah, Dude. you probably needed the stuff you were getting. That was just the situation. <laughs> yeah. It was, it was like, as a kid, you don't, you don't see that shit. Yeah, I appreciate the socks, but I really wanted that He-Man cap. Do, do you know about the He-Man castle? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I never had yeah. the He-Man All right, castle. so like, look, I was... So sick. Dude, I was super into He Man. I like the movie. I, the movie got me into the cartoon at the age of like oh, four wait, or what? five. That's weird. Yeah, yeah. So because it came, the movie came out in like eighty six, and I was born in eighty six. So like, I'm it, the movie's four or five years old when I watch it. The cartoon's even older. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. so, uh, but I had all the shit. And the He Man castle was this big fucking thing. Oh, wonderful! You got yes. Oh, that's Castle Grayskull, baby. <laughs> oh. And no, uh, that's everything the that you falls, see right? there, everything you see there, I had. I had every. <laughs> Must be um, fucking nice. Um, <laughs> you, see that, you see that green fucking tiger with the helmet? I had yeah. that bitch. I, I did I, too. I think I had two of them, and the other one was a different color. Um, I had every ounce of that shit, and I had the fucking full size He Man sword. Um, and when you hit stuff, it made like. <laughs> Yeah. Like noises. It sounded like a lightsaber kind of, but like it was like an impact noise when you struck things with it. And it was like it looked like the He-Man sword, like how 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 the like pummel and everything is there. Um and and you know the the guard or whatever. I can still remember being on the kitchen table, the dining room table, smacking the chandelier, naked <laughs> as a jaybird, screaming, "I have the power." <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and I meant it, goddamn it. <laughs> I had the I had the uh, the He Man that the the green tiger and the red shit, but I had the He Man that had the 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 shield that was that uh that got destroyed. So there's three sightings. It was the full shield, the half shield, and the destroyed shield. And essentially, what you did is it was like a wind up thing where you would go all the way to the to the one, and then when when another enemy hit him, it would like trigger it to fall and flip. Can I just say, I think my castle was better than that one. The more I look at it, I think mine was a lot better because it had a slide on one side where, like, they slid down a ramp and came out a door. Mine was Wait, way are, better are, than are that. You, are you thinking of the knight castle where it was, like, those little plastic figurines of knights? There were the silver knights and the gold knights, and it was a foldable castle like this? No, was it, was, it, was, it was really big, though. It was twice as big. It had the castle gray skull, like, skull face on it. It had a drawbridge, and uh, on the right side, it had like a thing where they like slid down a ramp and like came out a door. Did and, like, uh, did you have consistency in your battles for stuff like that? Like when you were doing that, did no, you have, it was like, a it was no, a hodgepodge because no, no. everybody got in on the everybody got in. Um, I, I remember like like I had this weird memory of being like four and wanting my dad to like play like with my army men. I like like I had them set up right. I had like the green army men plus all the he-man shit like everything i had was like piled mm -hmm. together and him being like that's not really a game son <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like, i know he just had gotten off work and it's like he does not want to play army man he wants to like go out but he's like want to go i'm sure he wanted he was like want to go shoot a gun into the woods <laughs> and i was probably like Fuck it. Yeah. No, oh, I'm really? defending Grayskull. <laughs> I think you know, I have this plastic sword. Why would I bother with a shotgun? I gravitated toward, toward the gun. So he was handing them to me at a very young age. I, I, I older, loved the like key present was a wetsuit. Like I, I so I was a surfer. And surfing where I grew up, it's not just like an activity you do after school. It's an identity. It's a friend group. It's a sense of self-worth. It's everything. And you cannot surf a New Jersey winter without a proper wetsuit. Like you, I think you'd literally die. Like it's not a thing that you can do. And uh, surfing was taken away from me as the weather got cold. And mm. it was my Christmas present. And I just like I had wetsuits that weren't meant for really cold weather you know, like a spring suit or a fall suit. And uh, they just stopped doing the job where literally you couldn't survive. I couldn't do it. Wow. And uh, 
on Christmas Day, I got a fucking pimp ass winter wetsuit that allowed me to. It snowed, like, and not even like a good, beautiful snow. It was like a sleety, icy rain type snow. And I'm there in my bomb ass wetsuit, like not even cold, unzipping a little bit to let the snow in because I'm melting in there. <laughs> and I went surfing in the slush water, and it like it was like I'm back, baby. I'm Wait, so what, what about your feet though? I had booties for my feet. I had okay. a cap that gave me a rash under my neck. It looked like I had hickeys, but mm. trust me, no girls were touching me. <laughs> but, Not with that rash. <laughs> right? it, it was it was like little scabs or something that would serve. Maybe the Velcro rubbed it. I don't know, but you needed a hoodie or you get this awful ice cream headache every time you duck dived under a wave. And uh, But yeah, they hooked me up with gloves, hoodie, booty, and a wetsuit. And uh, my, surfing was back. Mine was the... Uh the ghostbusters proton pack mm. um i and, and i again i have a very vivid memory of being four or five years old and and being and explaining to my dad because i like i want a proton you know they ask you what do you want proton pack like from ghostbusters the pack mm-hmm. and my dad being like yeah yeah we'll get you one of those because they made them as a toy back mm-hmm. then like a legit one and uh and i i i i said now i don't want a toy <laughs> i i want you know a proton pack that shoots lasers so that you know i could i i can burn stuff and and like you know <laughs> how old are you this time did four, you also want to four or five. Four. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm four i'm either four or five and and i'm and i'm ma- i'm trying to make it so clear to him because i can because t- i remember him, him being like yeah yeah we're going to get you we already told you we're going to get it for you don't worry we're going to get it and what he meant was he has it i didn't of course i didn't understand that at four or five mm-hmm. But 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 I was I, I can still remember trying to clarify that like I don't want some bullshit piece of plastic mm-hmm. I want a fucking proton pack <laughs> but but like I got the proton pack and they and and they 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 still talk like, they're like he was so rude we, we gave mm-hmm. him his proton pack he the pouted the, he pouted the whole night and I was <laughs> like I was like no you pulled that shit that they pull now on kids where they put a rock in a box and give it to him for Christmas. Like, like, I didn't tell you I wanted a toy. I asked for a goddamn nuclear-powered proton pack <laughs> to go waste some ghouls and goblins. You Couldn't have been any clearer. All you had to say was, those don't exist, son. It's a science fiction movie. And I'd have been like, oh, cool. Uh. Can I have a shotgun? <laughs> They'll do the same thing. I just thought a proton pack was cooler. <laughs> I, I'm remembering a present. Like, I, I was looking through, like, the most popular gifts of the 90s, trying to jog my memory. And... I remember one of the most devastating gifts I ever received was one year. It was probably 96. So I'm like five years old and I can still in my, if I close my eyes, I can see vividly the commercial for moon shoes, moon boots. They were called, Mm. there were purple plastic moon (laughs) boots and they were like around where your shoes were. You would put your shoes on top of this little mini trampoline on each side. You would strap yourself in. And these kids on the commercial were soaring. They jumping were, over cars and they shit. were f- jumping over <laughs> cars. They were flying through the air. And I remember like my thought being like, as like, I requested those for Christmas. And I remember my thought being like, now these are no joke, Taylor. You got to be careful. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's exactly what Look they at the were. Kids. Look at the kids. They're Look at the space. kids. They're in space. Yeah, they're, <laughs> they're leaping, you know, they're leaping among the stars. And I got these and I was a, a big five-year-old, six-year-old. 40. So. 43 bucks that is ridiculous they should be seven you i strap both feet in and immediately sink to the ground (laughs) and you start to jump and what happens if you try and jump is because these have no balance whatsoever your foot clips the inside rim of it as it's coming up and you damn near kill yourself sometimes (laughs) trying to get a tiny amount of air and when you do get any air god forbid you come clacking down (laughs) on this hard (laughs) plastic with no traction and you're on concrete because you're in your basement or whatever the fuck flat footed it was it was the the most like high in the sky, so excited seeing that package to distraught, realizing I'd been had. I think that was the first time I was like, they can lie on TV. <laughs> like <laughs> I didn't know that. I thought there must be a judge or something, like measuring the height of these kids. Another one, uh, Bop It. Bop it, it came out when I was like five or six, and I remember thinking that was cool, but I didn't have the dexterity to bop it, twist it, and pull it fast enough to keep mm. up at like four or five you ever or whatever. play with a partner uh yeah we would cheat 
It would yeah, be like, all right, you, I, you, I, you, I'm I'm on the yeah. I'm on the bop. You hold the pull. You hold the twist, and then we would, we would do that. That's a that's a great tip if you're uh, uh, if you're a guy. Put one of those on your um, your coffee table, and if you want to like kind of break the ice with a girl, pretend like you're awful at that game and that you need her help. You mm -hmm. fail terribly in front of her. Um, she'll like that. Well, I was planning and, on coming home soon, Cindy, but I'm gonna fuck this retard out of pity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, let her beat you and bop it, and then get her to like come over, and then you can like engage her physically. Okay, that's a, that's <laughs> yes. part of the, that's part of the dentist. System. Make her depend on you to win it, bop. Well, she's gonna depend on you because you let the air out of her tires by jumping out <laughs> the bathroom window when you take a piss, and and uh, you always want to unscrew the valve stem. That way, they can't just pump that bitch back up. Now you have their valve stem. <laughs> <laughs> not, that, not that you've not that you've tried that or tool, thought about that it. That tool before. costs a dollar fifty. You unscrew the valve stem, and then like when when a mechanic tells her, <laughs> "Oh my God, you don't have a valve stem. You need a you need a whole new one," and you could be like, "Don't worry, baby, I'll fix it for you." He doesn't know what he's talking about. Now you alpha the mechanic in front of her okay <laughs> jesus you've never thought about this before no, yeah you gotta go for dumb hey i have a uh <laughs> if you want to get back co-workers here's the move okay unscrew the cap on their tire put a rock in the cap screw it back have it hold down the valve stem just a little bit they have a very slow leak that's not time to you at all oh that's awful and it's not destruction of property it's just putting them in a hazardous situation I guess so. Yeah, Hopefully, I, you're not on camera. Not that we've thought about this before. Trust yeah, be careful that. with those cameras. Yeah. <laughs> I or, you know, about... if you're worried about that, just put bird seed all over their car. Oh, that's the real play. Did, I love that <laughs> clip. Um, um, they made it sound like these kids were terrorists or something, but they, they mixed like laxatives in with bird seed <laughs> and, uh, and like put out and put huge amounts of it out at the beach. And then they they film it to like music. There's like a it's like a musical montage of birds shitting on people. And and like it, you're laughing at it like it's hysterical, right? And then I'd be there's curious. an infant who's like 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 little baby baby like and it shits right on the baby's head. <laughs> you feel a little bad, but you won't like, remember it. But everybody, you, like, like, don't imagine, like, occasionally somebody's like, oh, what was that? Like, everyone at the beach is staring at the sky in disgust and wiping themselves because it's raining shit. Oh, well, I wouldn't want my day at the beach ruined. I don't like it anymore. Oh, it, it ruined everyone's day. I mean, it's, Taylor, it makes them shit their guts out. It might kill them. I don't know. <laughs> like, were, like, it was so much bird shit. And they, they, they it, like, they could they couldn't stop. No, they, they had no choice but to keep shitting and then die of dehydration later. Because not only had they eaten the laxative, right? They had eaten like all of the bird seed that had been thrown out. So they're, you know, it was, it was, they overdosed on that shit, man. Maybe so. I, I want to talk about um, the fucking Halo TV show that came out today. Mm. Fucking today. I didn't know anything yeah. about it. What platform? Um, Paramount Plus. Um, you've Whoa. all got that, right? No. no. <laughs> Paramount Plus. Is, it, is oh. that one of the sponsors? No, no. no. I'm just no, saying it, it's, it, just it, like, it, it, it's a streaming Kyle service. It always has these. Like, like, I actually went oh, I'm recently. watching a new show. It's on AMC. It's on Plus. Voodoo. It's on, it's on <laughs> I have Voodoo. Got them all. <laughs> yeah, I've got a lot of them. Um, and uh, this is on Paramount Plus, which I have because Paramount Plus is where I get my Star Trek. And, uh. Uh, and uh, it is. I didn't know it existed, first of all. I, I, this is I, the Halo series. The Halo series. At one episode is out. It is one hour long. I'm not going to heavily spoil it, so don't run yeah. to the hills or anything. But yeah. I'm going to mention some like interesting points that are going to sell you on it. So this thing starts out, and uh, they, they are changing the story a little bit, but they're keeping some of the real important Question. notes. Is, is this the one that costs $10 million an episode to make? I think so, yeah. It okay, looks okay, like okay. It. Continue. I heard something like that. Okay, go, go. $10 million an episode! They could it, fix esports with that shit. It looks good. So um, they are focusing early on, clearly on. So the purpose of the Spartan program, the the, the program that you know created Master Chief, uh, was to quell the uprising of all of the colonies that the UNSC um, has. These guys weren't like alien killers. That's why they were there and ready to fucking fight the Covenant when the Covenant showed up. We already had super soldiers built to quell these rebellions and uprisings because the UNSC wants all the planets under their control. So they get if they need deuterium, then you we own this planet. That's not true deuter deuterium. That's ours. You know, they're, 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 it's 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 very much kind of a uh, you can't get behind it 100 percent. Like they're kind of the bad guys a little bit in this thing. And 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 that's always been part of the Halo lore. 
but that was in the past, right? Master Chief is sort of at, he's the last Spartan left when, when you pick up with a Master Chief story in, in, the, in the video games. Well, this picks up at a different point, and we get to see um, right off the bat, like when you start, what what I what will really throw me off is there a lot of if there's a lot of build up and like exposition, scrolling text, characters yeah. I don't give a fuck about, and right away there's a group of multi ethnic teen teenagers who are like the kids of the rebellion on a rebellion planet, and they're going off to the woods to do drugs, and I'm like my arms are crossed and I'm huffing and puffing already because I'm waiting on the big fat black one with the purple hair to tell me my business or something. And uh, and that's when the covenant shows up, and this show becomes so bloody and gory and child murdery that I'm clapping <laughs> I'm just, because like the, the covenant. That's all the it's the, the alien aliens. race. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's how do it's the one, aliens look? Do they look cool? They look excellent. I, I would I would mm -hmm. I would say like an eight out of ten on the like okay. CGI alien scale. So that, at this that point, you're rooting for the covenant. If they have well, the coolest I, aliens. I was rooting for those kids to die, and they did. And, and don't worry, that's not too bad of a spoiler. This is five minutes into the show. These were Jesus not important Christ. kids. Like, and I'm not talking about like you know how sometimes a kid gets shot and they're like the camera cuts away and there's like a bloodless body. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Children's legs fly off, bloods everywhere. They try to crawl Jesus. away, but here comes the double tap to make, just make them explode and leave a fucking bloody crater. Jesus and they're and, and they're on the way to the settlement where all the rebels are. Um, you get. Um, you get some real cool CGI. Uh, the, they stay true to the video game with all the sound effects. So when when like when body armor uh, when the shield drops and it goes dan 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 dan, you know, and then you hide and it goes mm -hmm. that whole like sound effect sequence. The way the vehicles all sound, um, the way the guns sound, uh, all that shit is like 100 percent not just true to the game, but they just pulled the sound files and used them. Uh, and, and so like fans of the the series are gonna love all that shit. I think that um, I can't remember if I think one of the Spartans is using the voice of uh, one of the characters from the video game. I'm sure there's a lot of like nitpicky stuff like that where they tried to weave some game stuff in that I didn't even pick up on because I'm not like a super Halo expert. But um, I thought it was excellent. I don't want to like spoil the story at all. But Master Chief is like right in the middle of the story. Um, so is the lady who ran the Spartan program. Um, and they're at a point in the war where <clears throat> they haven't. They've been like butting heads with the Covenant a little bit, but it's not even like common knowledge what the Covenant are yet. Like, like it's not the war hasn't really popped off yet. Reach hasn't fallen yet. The planet Reach. And um, that's where they may be like buggering a little bit with the timeline. I don't give a fuck about the timeline as long as you don't make Master Chief like a pussy or anything. As long as like a pink haired like Spartan lady doesn't show up and like she's better than Master Chief suddenly somehow. <laughs> like 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 like. Um, I will say this. This isn't. I, I mean, in the thumbnail or, or the cover art, Master Chief's helmet is off and by his side. So, like, he's gonna take that helmet off, just so you know. Um, Do you see the actor in yeah. the cover art? And I yeah. like it. You don't yeah. see the actor Wait, in the cover the, the art. Face? No, you see the face. I, I, I saw the, the the dude's face. Okay, yeah, you see it in the show. And, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And I, I was know, I, 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 I was sitting like there that. waiting when he took it out, and when I, and I was like, all right, that works. <clears throat> I mean, I, I just saw the guy's face on on Twitter, just looking it up. He he kind of looks like how I'd imagine Master Chief, very soldier looking guy. Yeah, he's um, been, I he's, really he's like been his another head, shit too. The heads up display is super cool. Um, uh, I, I did like this one part where he like he looks at this little girl and it, the head the head goes non combatant female, and I wanted to be like, did you did Master Chief just assume her gender? <laughs> did, did no, his computer did. I, I want, like, like, do we need to like have a whole movement that 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 his, that his like AI system is like assuming her gender there? Because I'm not. You sure. get that one started. I'll jump. I literally. Just, uh, <laughs> it's four ninety nine to get Paramount Plus right now. I just opened it up on my Apple TV, and it's like the first thing. Like they, they got to be paying some cash right now because I opened the app, the app, uh, uh, the app app, mm -hmm. and that's what came up. Yep. Like uh, Master Chief, four ninety nine a month, Pirate cancel anytime. Bay. Yeah, yeah, so um, <laughs> it's just one episode that, that Paramount does. Oh, Pirate Bay. Yeah. Uh, I think most of the stuff on Paramount does that stuff where you know get an episode a week. I watch. Um, I think that's. I don't know what else I watch there. Definitely Star Trek. Although I've quit Star Trek Picard. Uh, it's it's horse shit. I, I refuse to watch season two. So uh, I'm, I'm probably going to cancel Paramount after I finish this Halo thing. 
Uh, I do that with a lot of um, those, those like streaming services. Like I'll have them long enough to like watch my show and then get mm-hmm. get get out. I just canceled a bunch of shit. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, it's definitely worth the watch. Um, the special effects are excellent. The way the shield works, like like the gunfights and stuff. Um, Is like, the acting good? I mean, there hasn't, you know, the most of the conversations have been between like, oh, the acting like back at home base, like between like the military and the scientists who are like part of the Spartan mm-hmm. program and like running the military government stuff. Yeah, it's excellent. They're very good actors. Like the, you'll recognize some of them. They're they're like professional actors that you've seen in stuff before. Um, You're digging it. Yeah, um, the uh, it looks Master- pretty cool. I don't know anything about the Halo. I'm gonna World. check it out for sure. There's other Spartans, like like he, Master Chief is like part of like a four man team. So you've got like a female one, uh, like a sniper guy, and like a big guy um, who sounds black. It sounds like a, a, a voice actor that I just can't put my my finger on it. But um, those three characters are cool. There's some like cool um, like 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 lines. I wish I could remember one of them, but but there was just a part where she's. Um, the lady who runs the Spartan program. Oh, I don't want to spoil this. So yeah, check mm. it out. I promise you, you'll like it. Um, when those plasma rifles that the Covenant have, you know, like like the do, 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 like the one that shoot the blue mm. balls, they're so shitty when you're actually playing the game because it, you're always shooting armored targets and stuff. But when you see them used against just assholes with AK-47s, mm-hmm. it just like turns them into liquid. Like when they hit trees and like cover, it like melts it. It turns into goo. That mm-hmm. like it, so it's it's pretty nasty. The what's that one? Uh, the stinger, the pink one that like it's uh, all the. Oh, we have needler. 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 That's what it is. Needler, I can't. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like this shit is so bloody and gory and like R rated that the needler's got to be terrifying. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's like a clean solder wound. They like blood. Like 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 <laughs> like one of the characters. Um, there's a after about ten minutes in, there's a character who's completely drenched in blood. And she stays drenched in blood for the next fifty minutes. <laughs> like, 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 like it, this is a bloody, this is a bloody show, and I really appreciate that when you've got, you know, like super soldiers. And there's a good part in the beginning where there's characters talking about uh, one. There's, there's, they're, they're, they're rebels, right? And there's the old crusty rebel, and there's the young, brand new rebel guy, and they're all playing poke around the table, mm-hmm. and and someone, and and the the young guy's talking about Spartans or something, and, and the old guy's like, "You ever seen a Spartan boy?" I've seen Marines. Marines. <laughs> oh, I've seen Marines. Spartans worth a hundred Marines. <laughs> he's just like he's talking about how he, he, they can't die. They're invincible. They're not even human. They're faster, smarter than you. Better how many times you. did you watch the episode? Once. Yeah, I, just, I watched it like he's an good hour ago. It's, it's, it's I good. watched it an hour ago. <laughs> yeah. We're an hour and twenty two yeah. minutes into the show. He's watching that show like yeah. I am Master Chief. Well, what he was droning on about his wetsuit, I finished up Halo. Yeah. <laughs> what I'm seeing now is just <laughs> what I meant was an hour before we began here. Uh, however, however, I highly recommend it. Do whatever you gotta do to watch it. Steal it. Get on Paramount Plus. Whatever. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if whenever they do a big thing like this, often the first episode, they're like. Hey everybody, look episode. They'll throw up somewhere for free. I'm I'm surprised mm-hmm. that it's not. If it. it's not, um, it makes sense. But especially get on Plex, Kyle. I know he tried to reach out to you. There was a little effort there. I'll 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 try harder to like connect with him. Maybe there's a message I need to go back to or something like that that I missed. But but that'd be cool. Um, because I do pay a lot. Um, <laughs> but uh, but but no, I I, I I don't mind paying for this because so far so good. Like I know Cortana, they're not gonna make bodacious and like sexy as fuck anymore. Like for sure, there's no way because Cortana is like a sex doll, right? Like is she? I thought she was a computer. Yeah, but she's shaped like a fucking sex doll. She's shaped like you remember those early man carvings of like the female deity <laughs> that's oh, just like titties yeah. on a pair of hips, like just that's biggest Cortana. asses. Like like no yeah. way a fertility she's a, she's doll. A, like big yeah. ass, big t- she's an hourglass and she's beautiful. They won't do that, she's I guarantee you. Shapelier than any human woman could be. Yeah. Uh highly um, recommended two thumbs up. Hey, look. Okay. Oh, oh, Kyle. Jorge Masvidal has oh, been in a scuffle with Colby Covington. Thank you. Do you want to lay out this timeline or do you want me to take a shot? Have you watched? Or I can, have you seen I, the fight? i I can condense it real quick. Highlights. So <clears throat> Quick things to know, Jorge, Jorge Masvidal, uh, Cuban gangster from Florida, Colby Covington, uh, white guy who plays the race card to get uh, views. They fought recently, fought 25 minutes. Colby dominated the fight. Jorge, who's a striker, was 
not only outstruck, but completely out wrestled. It was said and done. Um, Corey Masvidal has said in the past that his best punch is his sucker punch and his second best move is his 50 yard dash because um, real gangsters don't square up with people and say, let's go outside and fight like men because that gets you shot. According to him, um, he says you sucker punch people and you, su- you blindside them. So sure enough, he tracked Colby Covington down uh, over the weekend um, or uh, this. Yeah. And uh, wearing a disguise, a mask and a hoodie, he ran up behind him, hit him twice in the face and then ran off into the night um, and then went on social media and admitted to it. So yeah, now he's under arrest it. and he's uh, he's probably out on, on bond by now. But like uh, I think it's aggravated assault and uh, something else. <sighs> Scumbag. Like Scumbag. Yeah. Um, like, like what I don't like about everybody's like, oh, that's what happens when you talk about somebody's family. Is it? You, you go assault them in the street? Well, all right. Mm-hmm. Well, maybe it is what happens. For but what it's what, worth. But you know what happens his next? Family, I, 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 the timeline's important. Yeah. Colby talked about Masvidal's family before the fight to pimp the fight, to bring, like to sell the fight. I think it was March 3rd was yeah. when he did it. And, um, and, and, you know, he, they say he talked about his kids. I'm a little confused. He didn't talk about his kids very much. He talked about, he said Colby, I'm sorry. He said that Jorge Masvidal pimped out his wife or something in a way I barely understood. I don't know. It was convoluted, but uh, he definitely talked about the guy's family, his wife and his kids a little bit. Yeah. And he was trying to make him mad and he was trying to get fans to want to watch the fight. Right. Isn't that that something that people agreed to like in the beginning? Like, say, yo, all right. Like, no, I have one hundred. So at a, at, at a base level, there's always going to be a little something. There's going to be like, he thinks he could take me. No way. I'm going in there. I'm going to dominate. I'm yeah. going to make him look like the bitch he is. That, that's like a, t- a level two like heater. Yeah. But but like that doesn't get anybody going anymore at, at yeah. all. Right. Like, like oh, he, I'm like, you always say you want to dominate people. Tell me. A, you, you, for, a spe- for me, I'll watch it for the mixed martial arts. I really will. Like, like I want to. I don't need to like the story at all. I usually fast I forward through that. Yeah, show yeah, yeah. If I can. But for a lot of people, I think they need that that wrestling crowd. They need to know why Some Colby Covington sense. doesn't like Jorge Masvidal. They need Colby to, Covington to throw out that racist dog whistle. They need to know that he's one of them, even though he's not. They need to see him wearing the MAGA hat and be like, all right, he's our team. And we got a brown guy that he's that he's making fun <laughs> of. This is perfect. We this is perfect. This is and this is exactly what WWF was with like. When we had the Iranian, um, like, like whole thing with you know, uh, uh-huh. guess Sheik. who like, bring out the, the fucking Sheik. Iron Sheik, and yeah. and guess who's gonna face off against him? Hulk fucking Hogan, living in America. He came out with an American flag. The Iron Sheik wore that headdress that, 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 and everything. <laughs> like, so so Don't yeah. insult his religion, kind but of. doing that, like, and 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 sometimes it's completely fabricated, and sometimes. It begins as fabrication, but one guy goes so hard that the other guy's real issue is the things that his opponent has said during the buildup. He's mm-hmm. like, I never had an issue with you before we started pimping this fight and you started going and saying these awful things. Now I do <laughs> hate you. Now I like, and, and sometimes it goes like that. But then there's instances like Conor McGregor where he just would say horrific things as soon as he decided he wanted to fight you. Or maybe if he knew someday he might want to fight you. <laughs> He yeah. would go ahead and plant the seed of not liking you. So uh, they fought. Colby Covington beat him in the octagon. If the fight was 25 minutes, I want to say Colby looked better for 23 of them. Something like that. And uh, I didn't watch it. He absolutely dominated the fight. No one had any question that he won all five rounds. There, like There was never... There's not a media person or fan. At, at the end, Colby was like teeing off from on top mm. and, and and like when he got up Kobe's gas tank is fucking huge incredible yeah Kobe could have kept going as if they done if they done round six seven eight nine ten it ends with Masvidal dead if they just keep rolling the rounds out until somebody's dead or somebody taps then then Masvidal either taps or dies like, like, like one of those things happens you know I mean? if we're going to the death then Masvidal's gonna die tonight like, like that, goes, that's how it, it gets worse for him yeah yeah yeah. Um. So, but yeah, he committed a crime, and like, like, uh, it wasn't right when Connor hit that old man. But like, I think that's funny for some reason because the old man, I don't give a shit about him. And he, and you know what? <laughs> you know what? Like, like, tell me I'm wrong. That old man said something smart to Connor. Hundred percent. He d- he um didn't want to drink. 
Connor was insisting that he drank his whiskey, and the old man was like, no. Weren't they in Ireland? Yeah, I think so. I'm not At a bar? Like I think so, yeah, yeah. That's literally an insult. That So, really, he's lucky he got out of there alive. I, I just, you know, I just put two and two together. That's literally an insult. Like, like celebrity just said, hey, everyone have a drink of liquor here in Ireland at, while we're at the bar. And the guy was like, I don't want your bloody liquor. And it was, <laughs> like something like that went down. And he's, like, and he's like, why not? And he's, he probably said, you know, because you're a cokehead piece of shit and you haven't won a fight in six years. And oh. Connor was like, and, and Connor was like, one right now. <laughs> and Connor was like, bow. Right, we turn <laughs> that around. Fucking one and one here. <laughs> he was he was he was uh he was my favorite fighter. I, like Honor. growing up, uh listen, Matt Hughes was fucking obviously Illinois dude, sure. so obviously he was like my favorite for a very long time. Very, very, very long time. Um but Connor like Con- Connor captured my my You wanna my... know your guy? You wanna know who your new guy is? Uh my new Patty guy now? Batty? If you want a like brand new guy, it's Patty the Batty. Oh uh, yeah, the the uh, yeah. He's like he's like who fucking wants? I don't want a six pack. I just want to be fucking eating and be happy. Yeah, he's like yeah yeah. I like that guy a lot. Yeah, I love that guy. Um, yeah, I I more than he's got a hype person, and I love that when somebody's got a hype person because like I think her name's Megan McMahon. She was the fight before him, and she's the one who put that spinning back elbow on that yeah, black yeah. chick and sent ah. her to another plane of fucking existence. Like yeah. eyes, was eyes. Fu- like, any if if you're a dude. You're fucking go. I mean, uh, how do you think she could do that? I mean, if she got that hit exactly the same speed, exactly Knock me the, the fuck out. Anybody, anyone, right? Fuck out. Anyone's it gone so hard. Yeah, so, so hard. bro. It, and, it and felt like, like you never see those. Like, like that's the kind of move that in my head, when you like yeah. imagine yourself as a ninja fighting five yes. people, you catch one of those, right? The guy right yeah. behind you that you hit with that Batman elbow. She yeah. nobody ever hits those though. People duck because it's, it, I don't know, I guess when you're close, like the, it's slow when you see it coming and you just yeah. go under it. Like, no. She caught her so well with it and sent her out. Well, like she's in her post fight, she's like hyping Patty the Batty. So yeah, like, I, yeah. she, they hype they hype the fight before they hype the fight, and and like yeah. because she was doing it, she was like, yeah, I just knocked that bitch the fuck out. But I'll tell you what I'm excited about: Patty the fucking body, Patty yeah. the fucking body's coming out here. Yeah, and with her disgusting fucking Liverpool accent, she's yeah. she's like, what I want to hear is. Oh, party the and the whole crowd like knows this yeah. chant and joins <laughs> Hell them. yeah! And then like, the whole Hell like yeah. thirty thousand people are like, "Oh, Patty the Batty!" And I love that the yeah. comes crowd out. knew the chant. Like, like yeah. I, I, I'm never here for these group lessons. Like, whenever they taught the Patty chant, the electric slide, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, how did everyone know this? Where was yeah. I? <laughs> yeah. and, and that is you- a panicking feeling, being at a wedding and realizing you don't fully know the electric slide. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're like, oh no, I'm in the middle of the sidestep. <laughs> I'm gonna be. Which one do we go next? <laughs> I don't, I don't know where I learned it, but that uh, the achy break heart shit oh yeah the, yeah yeah the, i know the, that one i mean i don't even know it anymore but dude, yeah, yeah. elementary school uh anyway the patty batty when he's coming out like the megan mcmahon girl or whatever her name is yeah, yeah, yeah. like she was she had asked dana white if she could come out and he was like yes yeah, she can come out she can sit in my and you know with me in my extra chair so she's next to dana drunk as fuck already after yeah she's her drinking fight. yeah fucking yeah. And, yeah yeah and she's like when he's coming out she's like yeah <laughs> like 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 legitimately losing her shit he comes out and like judo throws the guy like something out of a james bond movie and fucking chokes him the fuck out in the first round and then he does some sort of like silly little dance and and like had a great post fight himself and uh it was excellent i'm i'm sold i don't think he's a good he's a very do, good fighter do you guys think um, yeah i was gonna ask you kyle like because you guys are all much more familiar do you think he's a guy that's gonna get put up against a real hitter and just get fucked or he's no not- uh, so so from, they're gonna. What organization did he come from? Uh, it's it's um 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 the, the, it's one of it the wasn't silly strike ones. Strike force. Uh-uh. That's gone. It's like it's like the, the American World Fighting League. Fighting? World Series of Fighting sounds right. It's one of those that are like. Never even heard of that. One. One. I've heard of but, that. Um, that's the point. And they say he fought tougher people in the World Series of Fighting than he has in the UFC. They are giving this guy fights that he can win. They say. Um, I've never heard of character. any of his opponents, so I don't know how good. I've they watched are. four of his mm-hmm. fights. I don't know who his opponents are. What mm. I've seen from him in particular is he's had some really cool submissions, and uh, his striking is is uh, like really fun, uh, creative, and a, and a bit unorthodox. Um, he's throwing like lots of knees in the clinch. He's got like 
those knees that require that really crazy like hip dexterity or, I've or never whatever seen his haircut on someone over 18 months before not since and... the beatles <laughs> yeah no, i've, I've yeah. seen that a bunch yeah yeah, yeah. Dude, it's, can you... uh... it, it's uh he, he's a fun like character he's I, got I, a I sling blade haircut he, it's, can it's... you pull up patty the batty uh, zach um and he's a, he's a really genuine guy he's only he only made twenty five thousand dollars off that fight four think... actually I think... so i think he got a fight of the night bonus so he had 12 mm-hmm. to show 12 to win Oh, look, at look at that. He cuts his own hair. He, he looks like that guy <laughs> from uh, from the in-betweeners. And so 12 he to show, like... 12 to win, that's 24. <laughs> and I think he got a $50,000 bonus. Yo, he looks like that dude from Matt TV, right? That Stuart? Plays like the little... Stuart, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, yeah like yeah. what I can do. Yeah. He's so dumber to me. That dumb and dumber is going <laughs> on little, right there. He's got oh, a little yeah, hairy. Like Jeff, Jeff Daniels? Yeah, like hairy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a rough hairstyle, but I mean that's I, that's bro, part of the reason I guess people like him. Hundred percent, it already normal. is. They wear they wear wigs that look like that. <laughs> like, like the, see, so what? But but the reason I want to talk about him is isn't that like any of the things we've mentioned already? It's that he's the he's the draw. He's the fan mm-hmm. favorite. He's the yeah. reason that crowd was going crazy yeah. that night. Mm-hmm. Not he was the people's main yeah. event. Yeah, he's a yes, show. And I, yes. I've heard that said before, mm-hmm. but it's like. Yeah, kind of. Like there was right. the night. I think there was a night maybe where like, nah, I'm misremembering that. But but he was definitely the people's main event here, he and was. it, and to get paid so little, it's it's like afterwards they were like, do you think it's time to step up and fight some real competition? You know, someone in the top twelve, fifteen. He's like, it's like absolutely not for that little check, for that little check y'all gave me. No, I don't think so. Keep feeding them to me. <laughs> like like, like yeah, and, it's yeah, great, yeah. and and like that's what I want. Look, when did he yeah. say that? Because he that said guy, that long before the fight. Is, is that he his fighting at a fight also? That's his, yeah, that's when he's sitting at the, the desk and everything. He's at 145. I'm not 100% sure. I think he's at 145. And if that's the case, that is a murder. Look, there are no easy weight divisions in there. Now that I think about it, it's not like 155 would be easier. So it doesn't fucking matter. Everywhere is scary. Yeah. This guy, we don't want to see this guy try to be the champion this year, next year, or the year after that. Feed him eight more like middling guys the way they did Khabib for years, apparently. Mm-hmm. And and like let's have some fun watching how this kid does post yeah. fights yeah. and make people spin through there. He like jumps on people's heads midair and ch- and like puts them in triangle chokes. Love and, that. Like, does flying yeah. shit. Like give him some more crash test dummies and let's have some fucking fun and pay him a hundred K a fight. He'll be happy with that. He just got a seven deal, like seven uh digit uh sponsorship deal. So he's okay. Uh, yeah, Zach found it first. 155, which is often regarded Terrifying. as the toughest weight class. Terrifying. I think it's the toughest. Although yeah. heavyweight right now has had some sort of weird resurgence. There's a renaissance in the heavyweight division. Heavyweight has always sucked. Traditionally, there's like three people you care about. Now, eh, that number is like eight. And yeah. So we're kind speaking of, of, uh, yeah, speaking of the, are you going to talk about the Thor thing? No, but I was going to say, speaking of UFC, speaking yeah. of heavyweights, man, free Cain Velasquez, man. Mm, Did no, you guys talk about that? No, we can't free Cain Velasquez. Wait, for, uh, is he, he's in jail? Yes. Yeah, his okay. Cain Velasquez. Someone yeah, line tell, up. Tell it. So Cain Velasquez. I want to hear, yeah, and I, and I want to hear what, what Kyle has to say, too, of course. Beat someone up, right? Or did he shoot? All right, so here's what happened. I know the whole story. Uh, Cain Velasquez, <laughs> um, just uh, like, like four or five-year-old daughter or something, mm-hmm. was molested by this man over 100 times. And um, the Not man daughter, Dad, I'll look it up. You get it right. Yeah. And uh, the man was released on bond. The, the molester was um, for an un, for a different molestation, I believe. Um, but, but it could have been this one. He had, and uh, came Velasquez got into a car chase after this man. Um, one of the main and Clint Kane had a gun that he was firing at the man. I believe he fired three shots uh, and one of the shots struck the molester's brother or brother-in-law, I don't know that it matters, who was in the passenger side of the vehicle in the leg, some sort of mm. non-life-threatening uh. gunshot injury. Kane was taken into custody, denied bond, um, and uh, I believe the charges are pretty extensive because of the car chase. and Attempted you know, murder. Pretty... Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And you well, say that, no. It is what it is. So um, when he decided that he was going to grab his gun, and go chase after a child molester, he had pretty much decided that he was forfeiting the rest of his life then and there. He had made that decision. He could have, as a former heavyweight champion, right, gone to put his hands on this man, and that could have been understood. 
He could have waited to this. You think he had deadly I, weapon also though? That's bullshit. Everybody's a deadly weapon, right? Like, like, like it's not like if I knock a guy out of the bar and he dies, they're gonna be like, "Well, look at him. He's on. Uh, he's not. He's not. He's not even trained that well. What are you, white belt? Ah, get out of here, you! Like, yeah, yeah. you kill somebody with your hands, you're a deadly weapon. You just proved it. Yeah. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> so funny. I thought I had read that it was like his niece or something, but I'm seeing daughter, like Kyle said. So I might have been wrong. Yeah, I'm, I'm not I, sure. I, daughter's well, that's dead. a horrible situation. I, got, um, uh, I, I, I mean, the, the 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 crime I think here is that he didn't hit the fucking molester. Of course it is. Well, I'm all right. So that's not I, that would have been better saying. if he had. Look, there there is plenty of precedent for a father taking premeditated revenge on his child's molester, and the court understanding and assigning a sentence, and mm -hmm. then nullifying the sentence in one way or another legally giving yeah. them seven years and then suspending the sentence, giving them five years of probation. That guy in the that's, airport, that classic that, clip. I just, that, that was his sentence, by the way. It was seven years suspended sentence plus five years of probation, I believe. That's what they mm -hmm. gave, they gave him. And this is a man who sat in wait for his son's molester to walk past him at an airport in custody. And dude, have you ever, here's how he shot. Like, like he's holding a phone booth phone to this ear. He's doing mm -hmm. this. So his elbow is up here. He gun hand under the elbow, under the elbow, but from this position, bang, shoots the guy in the head like 12 feet away. It was some fucking trick Oh, this is a different shit. video. Than yeah, the this is a I different saw. video. I, I, do, I do remember the one where there's a guy on the phone, on, on the phone booth, just the way you described it. Yeah. He sees the guy coming. Once he passes, he extends his arm and fully discharges. I was, on, yeah. But, but and then there's like the guy who's yelling. Under his yeah. other arm, though. He's not like why, drawing John, the why? line of sight. Like, Dude, like this if that, is easy to shoot. I don't think I don't. That yeah, I promise you. Find the, really, like, I gotta find watch, that. We can. I want to see it. Like, you know, like I hope. I hope what you're saying is real because I want to see some badassery. Like he was that. a badass. Yeah. Like, anyway, what I'm saying is like there's a perfect example of the exact same shit happening, and the guy going. People, the the legal system will understand that you all. If you go to a trial, there's gonna be some parents on that on that jury, and they're gonna fucking understand beating your child molester to death or shooting your child molester to death. Mm -hmm. They're going to have a real tough time with this whole, I chased him and two innocent people down the highway and I recklessly fired my handgun at, at their vehicle, striking this, that, and the other. Mm -hmm. And uh, the only person I actually hit was the innocent individual, mm -hmm. blah, 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 blah. By the way, it's not as if I'm some like weakling who had to choose a gun for his method of, of like, uh, uh, revenge, because like if he's some like little guy or a, a woman, if a woman had done it, you'd be like, "Look, how else was she gonna get revenge?" And we all understand this revenge. You might put those pieces together, but when you look at Kane fucking Velasquez, he he's just a goddamn monster. And it's it's like, man, why didn't you just go put hands on this guy? Like, like you could have killed this guy, and you could have instantly been like, "I blacked out. I don't know what happened," and and they'd have been like, "Look." He only hit him three times. <laughs> like, you, you, like you'd have gotten like some manslaughter or something, or, and they just suspended the sentence. But instead, he went on a—he literally went on a shooting rampage, and you can't do that. So for that reason, I say that he's guilty, and I, I maybe not attempted murder, but he's got a—he's guilty. He, he he did some bad things, and he should be in jail. Mm -hmm. I wish he hadn't done the bad things. Is where I am. I wish he hadn't yeah. done those bad things. I mean, and, I feel like if if your daughter's been molested, it's okay to shoot the molester's friends. I'm no, not. Guilt. I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet. Like, <laughs> Is that yeah. what he did? Right. He basically... Well, this this, uh, this assumes a cabal of molestation. That's right, kids. It's, Keep it's an possible eye on the other guy is like, family. "What did you do to this guy?" <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were going to Sonic and to see the new Batman. <laughs> did you guys yeah. watch the new Batman? I haven't no, watched I wasn't it yet. That impressed. I haven't watched it. Yet. Please don't spoil anything. No, no, we're not. We're not. I, I haven't watched it either, so I couldn't even if I wanted to. Mm. I, I'm I'm going to watch it soon, or 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 like buy it or whatever I've got to do because I've been meaning to watch. Very that. overhyped, in my opinion. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you something. You, that's coming from someone who hates comic book fucking movies. That's you don't fair. know who that's Tony fair. Stark is. This, this okay. is a different world. Okay. I know no, who Batman no, no, is, no, and I know who Iron no, no. Man is. Dude, okay. I know you see what I'm dealing He's with? like, I know who yeah, Iron I Man do. is. I don't know this Tony Stark person that you speak of. Yeah. yeah. And then there's the guy from... Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I know the characters. The guy from Barks and Rack. He's part of it. 
<laughs> yeah. uh, he's got you there, yeah. Kyle. It, it wasn't. It wasn't a terrible movie by any means. It just underwhelming. Nothing. It it, it didn't feel Hodge, like anything was Hodge, at stake. Hodge, and you guys know him, obviously. Sure. He's dying on the cross that he predicted way before he even watched the movie that this was going to be the best. Batman movie that had not only the best Batman movie that has ever been, but the best superhero movie that has ever yeah. been created. And he won't back down no matter how many people watch the movie. That's and true. Say, if yeah. he'll if he'll apply some qualifying like factors, then I could get on board with the possibility that th- that's true. Like like I don't think if we're saying Can. like because this is like an origin story type thing. If you're saying like if you're saying that if we're comparing this to like the first Captain America, the first Iron Man, mm. um, and and all the other like first Batmans in the series, maybe or something like that. I could see that fourth time. It's not only the best Batman film of all time; it's the a top five comic book film of all time. It belongs up there with Logan, Dark yeah, yeah. Winter Soldier. So TDK, The Dark Knight, that's the one with Heath Ledger. Yeah, I watched that with my wife after I saw the new Batman to be like. Am I being recency bias here? Am I like giving this one like I'm putting it on a pedestal? No, the one with the Joker is markedly better. It's way better than the, than this one. It just is. Okay, I mean I haven't seen it. I have no fucking idea. But yeah. um, I, that's super high opinion. praise coming from from Hutch. Uh, I, I, you know, but he he likes superhero about. movies and stuff. I do not. So obviously we're gonna have. He likes I mean, artsy I, movies. I mean, maybe he likes this because Robert. He's built kind of like Robert Pattinson, and he's he's, he's Bro. thinking. That's what I said. I'm like, you as a skinny <laughs> dude, you want a, like a skinny Batman so you can be like, yeah, we're in style. You know, what I mean? <laughs> you know what? I think Screech was the coolest guy on Saved by the Bell. I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why he didn't get all the. Girls. I'll tell you what I like. <laughs> Rest in peace. I like the Batmobile. I saw like uh, like a little clip of the Batmobile, like a picture of it or whatever, and it just was like a fucking hot rod or something. Like they took a, like, yeah. a, tran- a Camaro and like threw some shit on it. Yeah. I like that. Uh, in this movie, like Batman wears boots that you'd get at Cabela's. Why wouldn't you though? Like, 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 what is the, is sense. Batman supposed to be like doing? Actually, in the, in the I don't movie, know. There's so much money applied to special to stuff. special stuff, in the and then to go Bale, with regular boots. No, no, you're right. You're right. Because I think this is like an early version of Batman. You watched the movie. I didn't. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't fucking matter. But the Christian Bale Batman, they did a really good job of explaining mm-hmm. the gadgets. I thought that. He is like a, a defense contractor, and these are all failed little projects that. that mm-hmm. um, That's what the car looks like. Yeah, mm-hmm. it looks like a toy car. Well, I mean, I think that is. that literally is a toy car. Ah, uh, but that's well, that but, explains everything. Unless um, it's a very plastic you can, faced you can, man. You can you can tell what a toy man inside. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking <laughs> of, and I don't know. If... <laughs> <laughs> so apparently, Batman wore Air Jordan, the Black Cats, which I'm trying to is who was Michael Keaton in 1992 wore Air Jordans as his uh, bat shoe. Obviously, okay. they didn't say that they were Jordans. They just those are the 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 shoes that they used for this thing. Anecdote. Hmm. I would I, I, um, I, I want to see it. I, I, I've been putting it off. I don't know why um, I've been busy. Uh, the other thing I need to see is that new Spider-Man movie because so good, bro. Yeah, just I just don't want to pay. Tw- I don't want to pay twenty dollars. I don't want to like buy a digital movie. I just want to rent that bitch. Like, Why I'm don't you go to the theater? That. You you love theaters and stuff. I haven't been to the theater in a long time, dude. Like, do like, you have I'm, your own theater in your house? No, no. I've got uh, a big ass TV and a blacked out room, but uh, I don't have a theater or anything. But but like, I haven't been to the theater much since. Like, I'm trying to remember the last movie. I definitely saw the the last Avengers movie because that was before mm-hmm. I went to prison. Same. I remember like walking into that hot ass theater, stressed about going to prison in like a couple in like two weeks or something <laughs> like that, being like, "This is the last fun thing I'll probably do before." No, prison. this is my end game. <laughs> Dude, that sucks, man. Yeah. Oh that man, that was the worst. That was so awful. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I have me. nightmares of that all the time. Not all the time, but like at least once a year, I'm like, I did something really bad and we're going to jail. And then I'm like, what? It, it, it's in there somewhere. What have I done? What have I done? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I just remember like like we stopped at a Zaxby's. Um, and What's that? Chi- it's a chicken restaurant, like chicken fingers huh? and fries. Um, like We were like three miles from the prison and we stopped there to like eat because we had like an hour to kill. And I, I was just the most miserable oh, meal. Killing time before prison. <laughs> oh, sucks. I had had no sleep the night before. And um, we had gotten um, uh, 
Kitty wanted to go with me. So Kitty and uh, a friend drove us. And I was just in the back of the car trying to get sleep, like laying down because I'd been up all night, like trying mm-hmm. to sleep, but I couldn't sleep. And uh, we stopped at that Zaxby's and that was just the most miserable, like chicken finger lunch. And uh, and I was just like, this is the last thing I'll have. Oh, for man. Time. It's dude, good. Uh... dude, it makes me it stresses me out to like empathize so and put myself in that situation. And then we. And then they, they drive me up to the fucking prison. Um, I'm like, I'm like, give me give me some of them cigarettes. Even I'm smoking her cigarettes out there. I'm like, <laughs> like burning them fucking down, like 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 trying to get some stress relief. And I'm like, yeah, I go in right there, and I go up right there, and the and, and the guy's like, yeah, you don't come in here. You go in over there. And I'm like, already we fucked up. We got to go somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's an extra month. <laughs> yeah, like, like, like and uh, you know, just just finally get again there and trying to like feel the guards out while they're waiting on the, the metal detector being being like what? being like being like what's it like here i can i want to i want to like really pitch in and do my part Shut the fuck up <laughs> <laughs> he just like punches me in the face immediately <laughs> did um, in like man. in your heart of hearts you were walking into prison had any part of you thought out cool lines to say to what you anticipated they the other prisoners would ask about like, like why i was there like what yeah, you in like, for like you yeah know? what are you in for like like a, a cool like i'm an i'm a cool guy i'm a chill guy i'm a nice guy like that kind of approach I, I i just think i'm better on off my on my feet with stuff like that so i, I didn't i i um you know i i knew that there were certain things that i didn't want to say it was the it was the other way around. I had thought of things uh, that I didn't that I wanted to make sure I didn't say or ask. So you, you know, I, I'm I, not I'm not a YouTuber. I'm not him. Yeah, I, I want to go in there like <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean they that the guards recognized me, so that was a thing right away. But but um but I, I it was more a list of things that I didn't want to say or ask. Like I didn't want to go in there ask anybody about what are you in for? Yeah, for all yeah, I know yeah. it's a, it might be a touchy fucking subject for raping someone who asked. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so like little things like that. But that but yeah, sense. that that night before was so goddamn stressful. Just so goddamn stressful. Oh my god, that whole week leading up to it. I I mean, I, for a long time leading up to it was just like, man, these days barely matter. <laughs> Would you ever wake up and it didn't feel real in prison? No, no, like pre-prison, like the 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 coming punishment. Oh, it felt real as shit. Like 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 I I guess maybe it's just the way that I like wrap my head around things like like mm-hmm. i always I've, I've told that story before about like getting home from jail that first night of jail and taking a piss in my own bathroom and uh like having the hot water running next to me and and being like today is the first day of me getting through the shit i did yesterday mm-hmm. and ah. there are, there are going to be a lot of days between now and the end but the end day involves me sitting on a couch and there's a bong on a coffee table at the end of this and and i don't know how long there is between me and that bong but we've just gotta we gotta eat we gotta grind that shit the fuck, fuck yeah. out and it ended up being like three and a half four years yeah <laughs> it was like a, a, a it felon's up, tale it ended up being like like about four fucking years um, uh, to get there. Ju- uh, like a like a hobbit's tale, tale but but a felon's yeah, tale it takes right, forever yeah. there and back again a felon's so, tale like so of. whenever i but so i was happy with the sentence like i was happy with the two months like it wasn't it could have been six months and it could have been five years of probation and it was two months and two years of probation which was all tolerable but but painful nonetheless i felt it was Look, I didn't think anything was just or fair about the whole thing. It wasn't. Um, you although got I, targeted I was because of your YouTube shit. Yeah, more, yeah. So, in the end, like, like though, like, like it was like I wasn't heavy-handed, and that that also wasn't nothing. It just like I wasn't crying. I, I I walked outside, and it was like a sunny day, and I was like shaking hands with my lawyer and smiling. And I got in my car, and I called my dad, and I was like, "Good news." He didn't know my sentencing was that day. I didn't tell anybody. Um, I, I, I like whenever something's like stressful or, or whatever, like I shield everybody else from that mm-hmm. stuff. And like mm-hmm. me talking about it ain't going to make me feel any better. Yeah. Anybody who thinks that is just like, mm-hmm. it's like, what, what do you Agreed. want me to cry? What do you want me to fucking cry Agreed. about it? Yeah. I don't why, watch why, why make everybody else fucking stressed around you? Like, yeah, it, I, it, that too. I had a conversation. I had, I had You're one not. conversation. You're with not. My, mm. I had one conversation with my parents um, around the holidays or no, it would have been maybe like 4th of July or something like that. 
Um, I hadn't been sentenced yet, but sentencing was coming up what, regardless of the time frame. And I, and I told him, you know, I was like, you know, there's things coming up. I might have to do some time. I might have to go for, away for like two or three or four years. And I was like, at the worst case, I don't think that's what's going to happen, but that's what I'm prepared for. And so I went in prepared for three or four years. And at the last minute, like things had shifted dramatically in my favor behind the scenes. And now the worst thing that could happen was six months. And that's the news I got on that day. Fuck. And, and, uh, and I just had watched the judge give a, a Mexican guy who had been driving a truck of liquid methamphetamine cross the border into Atlanta. He was part of like a ring of guys. And they had basically put him away for the rest of his life. Like it was like decades, <sighs> decades. Mm. And so like I'm and, and, and my and it was that did not feel good to see. That was scary shit. So yeah. anyway, um, I was not when I, I was like, dad, good news. I got two months and it's going to be two months in like not a scary place, like maybe even in a halfway house. Like, like, like I was I was pumped about the the verdict or the the Dude, you just, man, fuck, man. I just my chest got tight. Listen, <laughs> <laughs> oh, four years. Like oh, you want, oh, you want your chest to get tight? Listen to this one. There was a day. All right. <laughs> I'm in bed with my girlfriend it's like i i don't know what it doesn't matter what day of the week is it's like 9 a.m the sun's coming up for the windows we're kind of sitting up in bed talking about what kind of breakfast to order like talking about what we're going to do that day my phone rings my heart just started beating my (laughs) phone rings and it's um the athens county like federal court and they're like mr myers where are you you are supposed to be in courtroom number three we have called you four times and I'm like, what? 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 <laughs> like Just that qu- sinking feeling in your stomach today is like, I don't remember exactly what we're doing that day, but it's, there are no not important days in federal court. These are essential. Like, like this is one of, this is like step two of three or four. None of these are not important steps. And, uh, and so <sighs> I, I think I call I call my lawyer and he's like, yeah, they messed up. Don't worry. Um, get in here as fast as you can, though, because I don't No, He didn't know. He said somebody messed up. Um, get in here as fast as you can. That's all I got. So, like, I think I'm in a tremendous amount of trouble. So, like, no shower, fucking suits going on. Can't find my belt. Fucking n- can't find the right tie. I'm just <laughs> like, like, I'm in a suit and out the door in seven minutes. And uh, and we're driving and I can't speed right yeah. on the way to my fuck. So so I'm just like <laughs> I'm in the car and I'm just like, do I have my ID? Like, like, I don't like do I have my money? Do I like, like I, I'm seven minutes ago. I was fucking like groggy and thinking about what kind of coffee to have where I wanted Americano or whatever. the fuck. <laughs> and fuck. now it's, and now I'm like apparently heading to some sort of sentencing guideline nonsense or something. And uh, when I got there, thank God, the prosecutor, God rest her soul. <laughs> she said, I'm so sorry. My bad. Uh, my people should have done this. And I was so happy because you know how cops can be sometimes when they're mm-hmm. in the wrong, but ne- but you've got to take the brunt of it. Like I've literally yeah. seen cops rear end people and like mm-hmm. get out like, show me your hands. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, like, are you out of your mind? But she was, she was like, whatever the error was, it was on her end. She apologized. And I was like, don't apologize to me. Just let me know everything's okay. Like, I don't care. And just like, no, everything's fine. The judge knows. Everyone knows it's not your fault. And I was like, good, just good, good. Ugh. I was so fucking scared. I'm in that, I'm in this like ill fitting suit because I just like grabbed shit. Like, like, I'm t- like, like, <laughs> like, 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 it's like this jacket, that shirt, that tie, pants. Do I need the pants? Jeans, my, my, my jammies could work. No, not your jammies. All right, fine. <laughs> it, it was, it was, so, I was so fucking scared getting dressed. I was so fucking scared getting dressed because like I you're already late, man. You're already like you're already yeah. fucked up in your head. And you're like, I'm like, supposed to be there now and I still have to drive there. I'm and you're worried pu- it's going to be on some judge report where they're like, oh, this person clearly doesn't take their rehabilitation seriously whatsoever. That's the ca- exactly. And there are people in the system who do that. And those are the those are the te- those are the cases you hear about. They get maximum sentencing guidelines. Mm-hmm. Shit. It's like, yeah, he spit on the judge and told him to stick it up their ass. They gave him this, that, and the other. Well, on the other end, there's guys who just like don't show up, show up late and shit, and they don't show they're serious about this whole thing. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, I was so scared that I was. Gonna, I'm like, I'm going to prison now. We yeah. might. 
I was afraid they might be like, all right, well, he's in contempt of court. Um, uh, when, uh, let's let's put out a bench warrant on him. You know, he's he's he, like like oh he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a he's a fugitive now maybe even because <laughs> you know I'm I've been yeah. released by the federal marshals like before the federal like like I was t- I was there was a process one day where I sur- go into a federal building and surrender. And I did the thing where I put my hands up as a joke to try to start off on a good oh. foot, and nobody laughed. And then they, they just took my DNA, my my fingerprints, and like my passport, which I still haven't gotten back. Nobody, <laughs> nobody laughed. No, it was, it was, and it, and it wasn't a situation where it would have been awkward to laugh. There were like it was me and two guys like in a little room, and they're like taking my DNA swab. I was like, I surrender. They're like, do better you- check my ass, officer. Like, you know, the, that's the plan, sir. Bend yeah. over. <laughs> you know, you know how like 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 those Reddit con- things would be like, and then everyone cl- and, and everyone clapped. Yeah. It was like, and no one clapped. Like like mm. it did not go over well. Um, but but yeah, I've like surrendered myself yeah. to the U.S. Marshal thing, and like they'll come after me if I go running. Yeah, that was a stressful fucking day. That was nonsense. Yeah, <sighs> it is. Sure. Bro, that I. I I tell you, I have uh, just bad dreams. It's it's either that or I'm back at corporate work, and I'm just mm-hmm. like terrified. terrified. Prison was very similar to corporate work. Everybody had, we had cubicles, um, <laughs> very regimented. Yeah, so fluorescent sad. lighting. Yeah, I wonder if they still use. So I I, I, I know uh, I know Hex has to bounce, but I wanted to ask you something about your your weed company real quick. Yeah. So like the the strains like yeah. Obviously, the name is just, you know, whatever you think is the best marketing for it. Mm. For the actual strains themselves, like, were you sitting down and, like, a lab chemist or something was like, all right, we got 10 here, sample all 10, you get back to us with which one, what you like, what you don't like, and then, like, you kind of whittle it down until you have your, like, creme de la creme. Is that how Yeah. It so, season one, uh, we had uh, Blueberry Haze, Chem Driver, Grapes and Cream, Peanut Butter Breath, uh, Chem Reserve, and Modified Mints. That was season one. All right, and yes, that's exactly how I went. I was in the that's in the awesome. hills of Be- I was in the hills of Beverly, and we wanted to record the process, and I had to taste everything. Right, I had to to make sure that you know which which ones I liked the most. So we started with mm-hmm. one, um, I think it was modified mints, maybe no, mod- Kush mints was the. Let's just say this: I fucking smoked three bong ribs <laughs> after twenty years of ne- of having smoked out of a bong on camera. It was the highest I've ever been. I was so high I understood <laughs> infinity. Okay, I understood to the core of my the core of my of my being. I understood what it what infinity meant, and <laughs> it was it was it was a good experience. I haven't been that high the last the last time, <clears throat> and maybe it's the bong rips, right? But last time last time that I was that high was about a month ago when I was uh, smoking a new strain that we released called Chocolatina, uh, and it, it tastes great, looks great. Man, it. I took a hit. It was like a, I don't know, like a foot, a one, not even a one foot. It's like a six foot fucking little bubbler. Mm. And I and I smoked half of a bowl. I took two hits and I didn't clear the bowl. Let me put that. Let me put it like that. Okay. Yeah. I didn't clear the fucking bowl, and I was immediately everything just became three D on top <laughs> of three D, like paper, <laughs> like it was. And 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 it wasn't like in. I'm I'm describing what I saw. It wasn't like actual paper mache three D mm-hmm. fucking figures. It's just what. It, what I experienced, it was it was uh, it was a good time. It was a good time. You got a great gig. You got a couple awesome gigs. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, dude, right. That's awesome. Every every I business that a- in video games and pot. Yeah, keep, keep, <laughs> well, no, it's it, it's it's, uh, no it's, it's, deep, it's deeper than that, right? Because it's like uh, uh, the businesses that I'm involved in, gaming, obviously, you know that. That mm-hmm. one you guys know, Pine Park with cannabis, uh, you guys know. Uh, but I'll, I I also am part of a business called Guggen uh, Guggen Baits, right? Which is a fishing company um, started by. Uh, Rob Turkla, you you know him, uh, Woody from uh, UMG, uh, mm-hmm. veteran uh, sniper. Um, anyway, he's he's I I I advised him a little bit in the beginning about how I would do the the thing. Anyway, long story short, that's another one. Like I love fishing, I love bass fishing, and I'm involved in a in a bass fishing company. Um, so yeah, super psyched about it. Right now, I'm I'm, I'm also involved in this company called Good Good Golf. I'm not a golfer myself, but. I am a YouTuber and I understand what it takes to mm-hmm. be that sort of YouTuber or that sort of success in that field. Uh, so it's, yeah, it's, uh, if I'm going to be having fun, I better be making money while I'm having fun. Otherwise, right. what fun is? 
Yeah, good philosophy. Well, it's good catching up with you, man. It's been yeah. too long. Next Dude, time you're on, not... we'll be hearing about your salsa company. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. This is uh, Pine Park is the the last one, the last uh, company that I found uh, and I start. Uh, that's it. It's, it's optic from here on out, forever and ever and ever. Nice. That's my shit. <laughs> but I, I hope to come back sooner than than later, man. Like next For month, sure. you know, right. something so I can tell tell you awesome. guys all about all the good shit that's happening. I want to hear more from you guys. For sure, man. For sure, man. Yeah, thank you for so much for coming on. Always <sighs> great having you. Always a pleasure. We'll catch up soon. Thanks so much. Thanks. Sounds man. good. Later, Hex. Peace, peace. Do those ads for us, Taylor. Let's do the ads. ads. Where is there? It is. <laughs> Admit it. You think that cybercrime is something that happens to other people. You may think that no one wants your data or that hackers can't grab your passwords or credit card details, but you would be wrong. Sealing data from unsuspecting people on public Wi-Fi is one of the simplest and cheapest ways for hackers to make money. When you leave your internet connection unencrypted, you might as well be writing your passwords and credit card numbers on a huge billboard for the rest of the world to see. That's why we decided to take action, which is why we're recommending you get ExpressVPN to protect yourself from cyber criminals. ExpressVPN secures and anonymizes your internet browsing by encrypting your data and hiding your public IP address. ExpressVPN has easy-to-use apps that run seamlessly in the background of your computer, phone, and tablet. Turning on ExpressVPN takes only one click. Using ExpressVPN, I can safely surf on public Wi-Fi without being snooped on or having my data stolen. For less than 7 bucks a month, you can get the same ExpressVPN protection that I have. ExpressVPN is rated the number one, the number one VPN service by TechRadar and comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Protect your online activity today and find out how you can get three months free at expressvpn.com slash PKA. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N.com slash PKA for three months free with a one-year package. Visit expressvpn.com slash PKA to learn more. That is expressvpn.com slash PKA, three months free with a one-year package. So check that out. You want to be secure online, and they are the number one rated by Tech Radar. who that's a name that tells me they know a lot about tech. It's on their radar. <laughs> and so they're... <laughs> they have you read that three times? That's ExpressVPN, whatever. Yeah, it's that a lot of times. <laughs> <laughs> they're going hard with people who can't spell express. They're really drilling that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Lots of people. I imagine that was like a funny meeting where they're like... Most of our customer base none of us, spell VPN. None so. of us anticipated the lack of spelling on express. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I knew we should have gone with good VPN. <laughs> <laughs> the good VPN service. This episode also brought to you, of course... By Lock and Load, the finest mm. cum pills available to anyone on this planet. And we've said before, you can use our code PKA, 20% off this product. Also 20% off any other of Derek's products. And uh, I know Kyle's been getting shipped Derek's products for longer than, than Woody or I. But they've been sending us a lot of stuff and testing it, seeing what we want to recommend, seeing what we don't want to recommend if we don't like something or if we do. Uh, the Nitric pre-workout without the stem is tremendous. It With is the, stem. the best. Yeah, Agreed if you want to do the agree. stem, go Woody's way. If you want no stem and you want to do your own cup of coffee or whatever, go the no stem way. It's great. And that glycerol stuff that he sent me, noticeably bigger pump when I take that. I'm also pissing more, I will say. I, Does it, it? Yeah. A bigger pump. It, I'll just add. It, it seems like it would make your, your dick bigger, right? It, I mean, if you're going to have more blood flow... It might. I haven't done research on that, <laughs> like, <laughs> but I can tell. We need to explore. Like you know, you're in the middle of a big back day or something. And like you get that nice tight, like your back's working. Fe- like the back, I, I love that feeling. And with like the glycerol, like it just feels tighter. You know what I mean? Like I feel like the mind muscle connection is a little better. But you know, even Derek is like, this is totally extra. This is something that you can add on top of stuff. It's probably it's not a huge deal, but uh, I like it a lot. But mainly, if, you, if you're only getting one thing other than the lock and load, get the nitric uh, pre-workout or the one Woody recommends. Yeah, I like his sleep stuff. Um, look, mm. it, if you need one of these products, then buy them from Derek is all we're saying. Yep. Because um, they're, they're real. They have they're high quality they're like, shoes. Hey, they're all third party. I, I was about good. to start like, and then, but then this thing I used is real good. Like everything I use from is like, like, I fixed my cholesterol with one of his products. Like, I my my pre workout is one of his. My the stuff I take before bed is one of his things. Like, I take his shit um, for just about everything. I want to try his protein. 
You use his protein powder, right? I use a medley. Like, like I, I can't just use the same one over and over, but I have a thing of his chocolate peanut butter that I do like. It's good. Okay. Yeah, I'll have him send me some of that. I, I have so many fucking MetRx shakes I need to get through. Oh, yeah. Did, did you ever get through all that LaCroix that you had and like like piles and piles or what, whatever it was? You had like, oh, piles I've gone through piles since then, my friend. I <laughs> like th- these spin drifts, they're the best sparkling waters out there. If we get a sparkling water sponsorship, it has to be from Spindrift because it's not it's not that shit. I had a friend I was hanging out with the, just the other day. Thing? No, this is uh, this is raspberry lime. Sorry, it's got raspberry lime juice. I have a friend who came over and he was like, I was like, you want a water or something? He's like, I just want regular water. I don't want that fucking carbonated shit. It tastes awful. It it tastes like someone like suggesting a flavor near you as you're drinking it. Like someone's like, I heard, I saw a tweet from like years ago where someone's like, drinking LaCroix is like drinking sparkling water. And someone in the other room yells, lemon. <laughs> <laughs> but like, and that's how most of them are. These ones, because they have real fruit juice in it, it actually has more kick and it's really good. Like these ones aren't zero calories. This is five calories. So the lemon drink- ones are three how many canned beverages would you say you drink a day uh it it varies wildly but like there are times if i get like stoned as shit late at night i will go through eight zevias and yeah three or four uh cans of water and then other times i just fill up like this giant thing and just drink regular water but i I just love it It, it's a it's like a little creature comfort that i've come to enjoy so much like i'm sitting there like watching it's like oh am i gonna get a drink of water oh i'm gonna have a little flavored water that's i watched i watched this video the other day where these guys took a ton of aluminum cans and they forged them into this big puck of aluminum and uh i watched uh, that too (laughs) and it, it made me and i it reminded me I was like, first of all, I'm not going to keep big trash bags full of like cans. So that's out. But it reminded me, I, I, I saw this old man once who had one of those can crushers. You put an aluminum empty in there and it crushes it like tiny, tiny mm-hmm. flat. Maybe I, I kind of considered doing that. But then I realized that I'm, I'm literally agreeing to become a hoarder with the thought that someday I might melt some cans. <laughs> someday you might get into <laughs> smelting an aluminum brick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Someday I might smelt some aluminum up. So instead, I'm just going to continue to throw these uh, Coke Zero cherry vanillas out uh, and uh, figure they'll find I'm a like, landfill. I'm, I'm having to like limit myself on Zevias now because I went back and like on Amazon because like if you're going to buy Zevia, get it off Amazon. Don't buy those like $14 six packs at the grocery store. It's ridiculous. Yeah. But like now they just upped their price. I think I'm single handedly responsible for them upping their 24 pack price because it was 17 bucks and now it's 24. And so now it's like, well, I can't rationalize <laughs> drinking eight of these. You, you think know, you're like, your I, name on CNBC. <laughs> it, it, are, are you, One man in Missouri single handedly. <laughs> it, it might just be inflation. Um, we go out on a limb here. No, or, no, no. Or, it's Taylor. Supply and demand. But these ones, these ones are still cheaper. And so these these are like 16 bucks, uh, 24 pack. And so not quite as bad. But yeah, I, I've, it's funny you mentioned the the canned beverages because recently I've like, you know, you wake up the next morning and you come out there and it's like, there's Great no reason guy. to have had 10 lemon waters last night. There's a lot of them out there. <laughs> that's a, that's, a lot I, of that's lemon why I, I, I like these um, like, like little bottles because like if... Mm-hmm. If there's like this much left, I'll throw it back in the fridge and it doesn't feel nearly as wasteful because if one of these motherfuckers gets warm and there's this much left, I'm pouring that bitch out. I, yeah. I, there's, there's no way. I'm not drinking that warm diet, diet Coke. This is, no, no thanks. Maybe I'll go back to regular diet soda if Zevia's price keeps going up. But I, I, I I'm like, like I'm so accustomed to the Zevia taste now. Like I don't want to lose that because I've done that before where I drink a bunch of Zevia for months and then I go uh, A&W root beer or diet cream soda is tastes better and it's cheaper and then i do like a couple months of that and then you try and go back to zevia and you have to retrain yourself for the stevia sweetness because like stevia if we're being honest gets butt fucked by aspartame it's not close it's not a competition stevia has no you have, some, you have ability a real to fight you know don't, I don't listen to him taylor doesn't know anything about eating stevia is better <laughs> <laughs> taylor i don't think you put nearly enough thought into this uh soda situation I, i'm gonna need you to really Sit back and it's think consumed me entirely. <laughs> <laughs> my my sparkling beverage situation. Yeah. I'm loaded up now though. My wife went to Costco yesterday. She got all these like iced coffee cans for cheap as dirt, I guess. They're great. 
220 like- milligrams of caffeine, which is like a perfect dose for me. Like I was, I had the first one this morning. It's I was like sitting pill. there on my computer, like working and I, I finished it. And like half an hour later, I was like, I'm feeling, what is with you today, Taylor? You are feeling good. And it was like, it's, it's the caffeine. Cause I'm, I, I don't drink it as consistently as you guys. I'll go like weeks without drinking coffee or anything. And then when you jump back in, it's like a real drug. I have a related story. So I have been singing the praises of modifinol. Am I pronouncing that right? Does anyone know? I'm not a farm. I'm, I'm not sure what it is. Okay. Uh, you might call it a competitor to Adderall. Um, people say it's not as good. I think Adderall has a dopamine aspect to it that modifinol doesn't. But uh, it's the first one I've ever been prescribed in this like spectrum of drugs that gives you energy. And it's this cool kids biohack nootropics drug that people are taking. Like, oh, do you want to be smarter tomorrow? Just pop one of these. I don't take it very often. I probably take three modifinol. Maybe that's – is that not how I'm saying it? I'm not sure. Anyway, um, my wife was like, the day after you take it, it you're not cool. You're not nice. You're easily agitated. And huh. I'm like, I don't think so. So I, I I took it and then I'm like, we'll evaluate tomorrow. And now I don't want my modifinol taken from me. So I'm on my best behavior, which makes me at least a little bit of an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> You're just a little edgy. <laughs> yeah. And the every every time like I'm driving in traffic and some guys in my blind spot too long. I'm laying on the horn. <laughs> Because <laughs> the guy's in my blind spot. That's not normal woody behavior. Like, I don't care. Um, and and you just other things like, could you believe it? There's been someone in my way the whole time I'm driving. And and like it, it that's not how I normally react to, to traffic. Mm-hmm. And, and then there's another incident that night. I don't even recall the details, honestly. But basically, I at the end of the day, I had to admit that I was a little short fused the day after this. So I might be withdrawing my recommendation from a diphenol. Mm. Yeah, it wouldn't be nice if it made you cranky. Need some the next day. Yeah, yeah. So that if if I I might take it two days from now. So two days from I'm going uh, dirt biking with my friend, and uh, and then stimulus. I'll be grumpy. I'll be grumpy for the PKA hangout, which is always a show. <laughs> <laughs> take two, everyone. Take two. Best best behavior this Sunday. <laughs> oh. if, if Woody's edgy, we all gotta be careful. I like Mother imagine, truckers show up with bad audio on Sunday. I, I was imagine, <laughs> like, 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 like somehow Fuck the fuck around the, and find out. The, the, somehow that drug like saps away some brain chemical that that is that is like liquid like patients. Yes, and and, 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 so, like, and so like he's running on empty the next day, and he's just waiting on a motherfucker to have a scratchy <laughs> mic or or to, or to interrupt him a little bit. Like, a like, little bit jesus <laughs> um by the way if, if you guys want to sign up for the patron uh you always want to do that at the end of the month so you don't get uh you know like fucked over but because if you join up on the um yeah i did say it backwards at the beginning of the month the beginning of a new month you know if you join at the end of the month because because the way patron works is it's like you know it's a monthly cycle thing you know, yeah like, so like hypothetically if you want to sign up on the 31st you pay 50 bucks for a day and you don't mm-hmm. want that but what I'm getting at is it's uh it's about to be a good time to do that because we're at the end of the fucking month. And uh yeah, and you guys who are in the fifty uh dollar patron uh hangouts are coming. Uh you'll be it's getting an email. You, they have the email. A lot, a lot of people signed up. Yeah. Some some people use different emails, so check your email. I'm always ooh, eh, never mind. I'm always no, you're right. Yeah, yeah. People can miss it and stuff. So but anyway, yeah. check your emails. Uh, it should be there ready for you. And uh and yeah, I, I <laughs> I've told this story way too many times, but I remember Years ago, I had a broken leg. One of the people in the Patreon said like the meanest thing to me he could, which was like, Woody, you're old. That leg will never heal. You're ruined, (laughs) etc. And I'm like already depressed. My summer ends. I'm not a winter person. And and I just tore him apart. Like I I went blue shirt wings on this guy (laughs) where like I I went after his hair, his, his weight is like like everything about him. And uh, I remember told- that now, now that you mentioned the hair and the weight, I remember because <laughs> I couldn't believe I was like, damn, Woody's hitting him everywhere. He's lighting him. It was like in a fight when, when you're like lighting the guy up. And he's like left eye, right eye, like, like fucking hook. <laughs> body, body, body top. Like, I'm yeah. just pr- <laughs> you were just hitting him with that. He was just. No. <laughs> <laughs> right? Fuck and around it, and find out. And so and, uh, find and then we talked about it on the show. And uh, it created like a Patreon 
explosions a bit of an exaggeration but we had to start booking like second rooms we had to find technology that could host more people one guy said if i don't get personally berated by woody i will not have had my money's worth (laughs) oh and you can like i I know kyle and i because we're obviously in every hangout we will track the situation as it is unfurling and so like Sometimes, like, Joe, Joe Schmo. No, no, about? I mean, we're just oh. like, we watch it, and, like, I'll make eye contact with Kyle, and I'm like, do you see that? Because the same guy just interrupted Woody for the second time, and then five more minutes pass as you log that away. Yeah, yeah. Woody's trying to talk about his most recent motorcycle trip, and this guy's trying to talk about tanks or something, even when he's not the tank expert. Uh-huh. That's strike three. <laughs> and then and it's like, and then, and I love it when it comes out of left field. Woody will be like, I'm just looking forward to this trip. It's going to be a blast. Do you ever shut the fuck up? <laughs> do you ever shut the fuck up and realize people are trying to listen to this like, and, it's like, and then i'll sit there and be like i feel like i'm in trouble yeah. <laughs> like, this is not the time for me to interrupt woody I, I, and everybody in the room is, every, everybody everybody shuts the fuck up then and it's just because they know that they're gonna get a scold in too if like, they come in here, he, he's, he's he's fucking handing them out left and right they're well fucking... it's mostly everybody starts laughing at the person who got scolded yeah <laughs> and, and look, look it, it's 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 always like well deserved because it does build it is one of those things where it's like this guy is a serial interrupter or this guy like really enjoys the sound of his own voice he he wants to fill like any dead air at all with like He'll just start vomiting words. And it's yeah, just like, like there's 25 people on mm-hmm. the call and that guy will be half of the talking. And it's like, oh, your ratio is way off, bro. You know? Yeah. And it'll never it, it, maybe it's nothing we want to hear anyway. There's a couple guys that I like. They're just like terrible storytellers. You know who I'm talking about? There's I actually guy. know exactly who you're talking about. <laughs> you see? Like, 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 like I guarantee like, we're talking about the same guy. He, he's, he's a pleasant man. I mm-hmm. bet we, I bet I can hang out with that guy and like shoot the shit and like have a great mm-hmm. time. Uh, cool fella. God damn, he can't tell a fucking story. Like, like I, I'm, I, he'll go on and on and on, and 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 like nothing will happen. Like the end of the story will just be like, and then they went in the garage and closed the door. <laughs> yeah, just, and it's like you just told me a whole story about your driveway, the kind of door you have, and like, and, and it just ends. Like the story just ends. Needs a punchline. Like, 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 like there was no point to the story. He just wanted. He was just like, like everyone else would be like. Yeah, I woke up today, flat tire on my car, went to change it, tore my pants open. This is a story. They're telling you how shitty their day is. He'll be like, yep, I got in the truck this morning, went and got breakfast, and on to work I went. Had a nice (laughs) day, too. And it's just like, dude, are you just going to recount your fucking day to me right now? Because I'm sure somebody's got a better story than just your activities today. And and we talk about the – it's almost a meme where, like, we had a guy who's a tank commander – And Mm -hmm. we asked him a fucking tank question. Somebody wanted to interrupt this dude and answer the question for him. And we're like, shut the fuck up. We're asking the goddamn tank commander who has fought in combat as a fucking tank commander recently. Last, (laughs) keep keep in mind, that happened a year ago. Yeah. Last month, the tank commander's in there and he just wanted to correct everyone and let him know he is not a commander of a single tank, he is the commander of tanks. He has yeah, like I a think bata- he been promoted. A, like a tank like, battalion sure. or something is underneath uh-huh. him. He's the guy who tells all the tanks where to go like at once. Yeah. Um and and, and so like we're like, "Oh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> By the <laughs> way, I think Woody asked, "Hey, how about that reactive armor uh on on some of these Russian tanks, blah 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 in Ukraine, you know, relevant topical thing." Here's the fucking subject matter expert and some motherfucker interrupted him and started and I was like, "Hey, we're asking the tank commander. That one was Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> because it was like, I'm not gonna let you say another goddamn word before the fucking tank commander had like it's cl- we were again repeat the offender. Tank commander. Repeat yeah. offender, too. It wasn't like he did it once. <laughs> so, it was like, like like the tank commander can't get a word in about tank commanding. And yeah. The fu- the hangout is it might might be one of the best parts of of the whole uh of Patriot thing. It's, it's always like, so funny. You get to see, like, like, sometimes they'll just be, like, inexplicably, like, hot chicks hanging out there. And it's like, how did you get here? Like, like your boyfriend's <laughs> not there with you? And, like, like she'll be like, oh, I'm, and she'll have, like, some cool job and everything. And then we'll never see her again. <laughs> 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 but then there'll be, like, some fucking, like, drug addict who's barely conscious, like, sputtering and stuff. 
we'll have people vomiting on themselves and fucking each other and <laughs> And I'm not making any of this up. We'll have people like yeah. operating motor vehicles, shooting firearms, shooting animals, um, like 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 all any, anything you can imagine on camera, like like in countries around the world. So some people are like on the street in restaurants, and some people are driving their car down a road in America. And then one guy was in like the jungle somewhere one time. It's always something. One guy is consistently farming. Yeah, like in a yeah. truck. He's plowing tractor, fields, plowing and- fields. Gentlemen, yeah, if you're listening, cool. uh, mute yourself. <laughs> mute yourself when you're oh, operating he's... a tractor. Yeah. Um, we'll have he's people like, like half naked and being like weird and like getting undressed for weird reasons and like mm-hmm. um, all sorts of nonsense. We got some characters in there, man. Like, like, like it's it's always Stories weird. Stories we bizarre. can't tell in public. Yeah, Stories yeah a lot of can't... stuff you can't say. But uh, it's, it's a fun time. It's always a fun time. I look forward yeah, to it. Think about the month. things we have said, right? The naked people, the sex, the drugs, the this and and stories we won't tell. <laughs> <laughs> and stuff that's a little uncouth. We're still cutting <laughs> that kid's credit card. <laughs> <sighs> Did you guys I know you are like you guys talked about fighting earlier. Mm. Did you see like the highlights of Thor Bjornson and mm. Eddie Hall? I didn't boxing? know what happened. I saw a recap, but it only had still photos to like do highlights, so not very well. Yeah, it was like Eddie Hall so obviously can't use that arm that he had that bicep tear in. Oh, and so okay. like the entire time, one arm just sits here, and he is throwing the most powerful right hooks <laughs> I've ever seen from any like. Put like put a, a a meter of how powerful it is. I'd put him above anyone in the UFC just <laughs> by mass. He has a tattoo on his back of a Spartan, like arms outstretched and like a big, big kind of panoramic view. It's too small. It's not big <laughs> enough for the size of this man's back. But you see, like immediately, that Thor is going to win because Thor lost a hundred pounds mm-hmm. to get in boxing shape, and he's still shredded and enormous. And it was just Thor kind of bullying him, and every so often, like Eddie Hall throwing a the most telegraphed punch on earth. But like, if you get in the way, it's going to fuck you up. And like, it was, it was very clearly like, what were you thinking, Eddie? Like. You knew before you went in that you couldn't clearly throw a punch with your left hand. Do you think Thor didn't pick up on that after the first three seconds? <laughs> and he wouldn't put his hands up hardly. He was just kind of eating uh, punches like a strong man would. Eddie, Eddie Hall. Okay. Yeah. But Thor, Bjornsson, the mountain, he was he looked like a real boxer. He looked like he put in the time and he like learned correctly. But someone yeah. else who reviewed the fight said that Eddie Hall looked okay at the beginning, but gassed out very quickly. Do you agree? Uh, from, from the highlight I watched where it would say like the round. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It looked like he gassed out way, way before. Like if you would have taken a picture of Thor there, you're like, okay, that's not a a strong man. He's got visible abs and Eddie still had like that strong man body. Yeah. In a big way. I think it was Greg Doucette who called it, by the way, you saw it coming. He was like, Eddie Hall has a, I'm making the number up, but I'm about right. 30 pound weight advantage, or as I call it a weight disadvantage. He is going to get out cardioed. He is too big, you know, and, and this happens in the UFC sometimes too, when a guy's really muscled, uh, you know, he can be a V8 engine. He'll get beat by a Prius like Nate Diaz or something who, Mm -hmm. uh, who just has cardio all fight long. Yeah. I like those fights. I like to see the, see that, uh, there's also, there's all kinds of, uh, well, it's a stylistic type thing as well. Almost. It, It sort of mirrors the, you know, you've often got strikers and uh, and grapplers going against one another, and it, it's interesting when you've got different. You've got guys who are real long, you know, real tall guys against Max Holloway uh, against maybe a guy who's shorter but much more powerful. You know, they, they both weigh 155 pounds, but one's six four and the other's five nine. Like those are completely different builds, mm-hmm. uh, and different and different skill sets and power, uh, like like scales. It's really it's, neat. I, yeah. I, mm-hmm. The like if you even even though I've watched a lot of fighting and and. When I picture in my mind's eye what a scary dude looks like, you know, he's got tattoos and great big muscles. Mm -hmm. He doesn't look like Max Holloway. He doesn't look like, you know, even Joe Lozon. Like, like I picture a guy who looks more like a Tyrone Woodley or a Kamaru Mm -hmm. Usman. Um, But it turns out that the baddest guys on the planet have all sorts of different body types. Yeah. 
I oh. like I don't know much about boxing, but and by much I mean anything, but Joe or Logan Paul, hmm. I, I wouldn't take him over either of these guys. I don't know if Eddie Hall can be hit hard enough to be knocked out because he is taking some <laughs> hits from a seven foot two Norseman. <laughs> like and and Eddie's just like, oh, I got a little blood on my ear, and it's like <laughs> he's also um it's coming out of your ear, chin, right? Like, like if, if he had been taking those hits for the last twelve years, he might have less of a chin. Oh, That's like, that that makes sense. Have uh, have either of you seen the new Jackass movie? I haven't yet. D- yeah, disappointing. So oh, it was it's so awful. Oh, um, I won't even so, watch it then. So can, it's, it's, can I uh, guide your description? Would you say that the it's worse or it just failed to do the you know improvement that you expect out of every sequel? It's it's such a huge step backwards that okay. I'm just surprised that they released it at all. Um, mm-hmm. So <clears throat> I'm guessing a lot of it was filmed during the pandemic, I'm guessing, which I don't think is a very good excuse because when you're filming a thing like Jackass, it's like, let's just wait a year. Let's just wait this thing out. Like, it seems mm-hmm. like if that if it's holding you back from doing some uh, you know like the public stunts that fill out parts of your movie you know the stuff where johnny's dressed as an old man and stuff like that Mm -hmm. uh any sort of the public pranks the stuff that involve uh, Mm that you know other people but like i expected for in the movies i expect a mixture of things i expect funny stuff like that Mm -hmm. i expect the big set pieces where you've got um people in catapults and cannons and like porta potties getting rubber banded in the air um, the, and I expect like a few good celebrity cameos and, um, obviously they're going to do stuff with like bugs or snakes occasionally or in like tasers. Mm-hmm. But, um, I, I just, I want some funny stuff in there where they're going to jump motorcycles and just have really obscure, funny, cool things. And the intro yeah. of these movies has always traditionally been funny. You know, the, the, the running of the bulls in one of them or the yeah. big <laughs> shopping cart in the first one set mm-hmm. to the music, like, this one was disgusting. This one began with like this, like act like Godzilla type, like acted out thing where Godzilla was a, a, a an actual penis and balls that was green screened in, but it was, and they, but they showed like they broke the fourth wall to show that like, it's just one of the guys with his dick and balls like painted. And like, it's clear that it's a dick and balls, by the way, like shooting cum all over people. And I'm just like, I decided I would fast forward through the parts that I just didn't give a shit about. Mm-hmm. And I ended up fast th- forwarding through eighty percent of the movie. I watched. Oh. Uh, I watched all the stunts, and there were there weren't many. And Did the- they go? They so they went more Dude. gross than daring this time. Probably because they're like they're not too old to do gross shit, but they're far too old to like do like, a lot of the cannon what? and bike jumping. So they did some stunts, Johnny. Like bike or like bicycle Johnny, jumping? Yeah, they would do like bike jumps where it, the intent was, is to crash really hard. I. I, I, I <laughs> I firmly believe that like like I don't know what they spent to make this movie and I'm sure that like costs get ballooned because of union stuff and like the number of pe- extras people that have mm-hmm. to be there just in case in case in case we could you could build the sets that they used and the the things that they done like, like I wouldn't have put some of that stuff on YouTube like 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 it was this so disappointing it, it was backyard shenanigans like teenagers would do it was literally like one of them, they just took guys and like laid on top of each other and they put a ramp on top of that and jumped that with like a scooter onto grass in a backyard. Like that's in the jackass. That, that's movie. not even jackass one level shit. No, it's 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 super. It, it's super. It, it is. It's like the TV show. It felt like a TV show. And that's what it should have been. That, like, like any of those clips that I saw would have been fine on a TV show, except that there's so much dick and balls. And then they like try, they did this whole elaborate thing where they wanted to light a fart underwater, and then they cheated that and like pretended like they did it. But I saw what they did. They just shot um, acetylene gas under the water, and it went up into the thing, and that's what blew up, not the methane gas from the fart. There was a bunch of bullshit in there. I hated. it. Um, and then they had a bunch of like celebrities who showed up, and I didn't know who any of them the fuck were. Um, and were, they were had- all the same guys there? Like I know Bam isn't invited back. Which for Bam's legacy with Jackass, probably good that he's not in this one. It sounds, um, you know, um, Wee Man was there and Preston was there. Yeah, everybody else was was there. Um, there was one thing they did, and again, like like this is the level of like bullshit they were doing. They had a giant treadmill, like real mm-hmm. wide, and they turned it on high, and then they all dressed up as like band members and stood on one side of it, 
and they jumped onto it facing perpendicular to its travel. So like, so they the fall. Are, yeah, it grabs their legs and and like turns them like head over heels and sends them into a wall. And one after another, they jump on it. That. Johnny and um, Steve-O both hit their heads on the concrete immediately. And, are, <laughs> and Johnny's bleeding from the head, and Steve-O's just out. And so, so, <laughs> like, like, so, so it's right immediately to the hospital. And it's like, all they did was jump on a fucking treadmill. And they're both on the way to the hospital, and it's clearly like concussions. And then Johnny did the thing where he stands out there and lets a bull hit him. Again, breaks his wrist, breaks his ribs. And he does that in every single jackass, and he gets very badly hurt every he, time. He's he's laying there, and he, and he goes, do we get it? Do we get it? Do we get it? And we're like, yeah, it looked great, man. That might be the hardest hit you've ever taken. And sure <laughs> enough, he does a full rotation midair and slams head first into the ground, breaks he's his wrist. He's 51 years old. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but like, but, but like I, that's the only cool shit that was in the whole fucking movie. The rest of it was like was so either lame stuff or gross stuff. I saw way too much penis and way too much asshole. No there was a dude. There was a whole scene <laughs> where Preston, the fat guy, was dressed up in like some sort of silver bodysuit, and you know they're all gross. So like some some guy got close to him, so he tried to fart on the guy, and he shit his pants. And there's a five minute segment of the Jackass movie that's just that. He goes, "I just shit myself," and they go, "Really?" And everyone goes, yeah, it smells real bad. I've shit myself. And he takes his pants off and he shows you his shitty ass. And that's like five minutes in the movie. There's no stunt. <laughs> well, I don't it's, like it's that. a fat man who shat himself. Probably on purpose, frankly. I mean, <laughs> do you remember? I don't remember. It was a Jackass 2 that they painted Preston uh like um like king kong they like painted like the black fur and like the chest with the the fake six pack and everything yeah and they made him stand on top of a porta potty on top of a giant hill and then they flew drones at him while he protected wee man who was yeah. dressed up as a princess yeah that was that was very funny i liked that because you could tell when preston accidentally falls off the porta potty it hurts tremendously like they they and pushed he, the limit yeah. in, in in ways that like you didn't give a shit about like like mm -hmm. There was one part where like the game was to do the task without without screaming. And it's like they had the girl lick a taser, uh, like a stun gun. And she like sticks her tongue in the stun gun and doesn't say a word. And then like they put Steve-O in a, in a skateboard guillotine onto both of his shins. And it was just like y'all. And then the other guy just had to try to kiss a cobra. And the cobra bit him in the face twice. And, he had to go to <laughs> and his doctor. face is bleeding. Like, like, cause, cause it, after it bites him once and he's bleeding, they're like, do it again, do it again. <laughs> and he's just like, I don't, and, it, and like the bottom fangs hit his, hit his lip and the top fangs hit his tongue. That's how big the snake's mouth is. Jesus Christ. And, and, and they're cool. like, and they're like, again. And so he goes back. Are you again. sure this is bad that you wouldn't have thought this was good in like 1991? No, the stuff I hate. Well, it was like 2001, but okay. but like that's fair, I guess. But but um, this I never liked the gross stuff. I always like thought that was well, lame, and there wasn't a lot gross? of it. Well, that was just well, the dumb. poop was. Yeah, I, I didn't like when they would stick their dicks in with animals and stuff before the stuff I've oh, always so, liked. Some of that was kind of funny. I've always liked. If they're on a skate, a, a stunt, a physical stunt thing, like like I'm gonna like in a skateboard, on a skateboard, on a bike, motorcycle, car, getting launched from a thing. I like the the comical stuff when it when he when he took the car to the demolition derby. I died laughing. Little stuff like that. But I've never liked it when they get like giving themselves paper cuts or or yeah. something weird like that. It's it's like this isn't funny. I like I, the uh just like the the silly pranks the most. Like in the ones that don't seem like they. Like, like they were just thought up. Like, I don't remember which jackass, but it was like just filming guys coming into their like kind of HQ where they have their breakfast and everything before they start shooting. And they pull that giant hand the size mm. of someone's torso and they have it attached to like, you know, uh, the most powerful springs you could find at a gym. And like, then they just invite someone to come through the door and they just let go you know, of it and it smacks all the stuff out of their hand. It's fun. I want to get mine in. I really like the shopping cart related stuff. That that might be my favorite. It, it I, was I just, either. it resonated with how dangerous it was to me and how out of control they were about that. Like, there's, <laughs> there isn't really anyone who's good at being a passenger in a shopping cart. Mm -hmm. That's not a skill you can develop it's hard. and work on. <laughs> you're just fucked. And you're like, you see, your awful future unfolding in front and, of you. And it itself is an awkward like obstacle that's going to be part of your crash. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's going to cut you. 
it's I know. gonna hurt you. It, it, it's it's a little. It's you funny. pushed me into a median in a in a in a shopping cart <laughs> <laughs> way back in the day. Oh, that was going funny. pretty good too. You, mm-hmm. I was panicking. <laughs> I was like, "How well do you really know this guy?" <laughs> at that time, early 2011, not well. Not well at all. Not yeah. well enough to get in that shopping cart. I, was like, I can't believe this dummy got in. Here. <laughs> He's about to go for a ride. Let's go get kicked out of Walmart. <laughs> no, I, I, yeah, I, that, I, that sucks. That Jackass isn't good. I had it's, high hopes. It's, but, it's embarrassingly yeah. bad, and the uh, the new edition of like these other people is is off. It's it's not good, and their pranks all look so terribly, terribly cheap. Like 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 there's a lot of them that look so cheap. Like like they're often in these like set houses that look that they have like particle board walls with like really cheap like setups. I I, 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 I like you know arms that slap you in the balls if you push a button and like. There, there was one where they just put them in a room in, in the darkness and they supposedly thought a snake was loose. And, and like it, man, I fast forward through so much of it because so much of it like involved actual shit or like butthole or balls or just like, I've never doing liked the weird, poop stuff. Just the doing human, weird shit. The human poop stuff is really disgusting. And I don't like it. Maybe I did. I did laugh. Porta potty. Yeah. When, when they put Steve-O in the porta potty with all the dog shit, I did laugh a lot at that. That, And then they released him with a bunch of cords. <laughs> and, 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 and some, and some of it looked fake. Um, like, like, like when they, when they, there was a part where Steve-O went and got in a porta potty and they just blew the porta potty up and there was a little flash of fire. And it was like, nah, y'all set that up. He knew what was happening. There's no way that that's real. There's no way that you can safely blow one of those up. There's no way you put charges in a porta potty and they've just been in there all day. And who set the charges? Johnny? Johnny's yeah. setting explosive charges. You're telling me this isn't a union job with three professionals on the on the thing. And he didn't mm. just go, fire in the hole, fire in the hole, fire in the hole. Bullshit. Like that's, like to jump in. That's a thing that having either either been on a shoot or two or even just made YouTube videos, you become more aware of. Um, you're like <sighs> Who set these charges? Johnny didn't do it. This is a union task. Professionals did this. I'm sure they put diesel in there. This is this explosion means this to me. I saw the mm. way the fire went. Like Kyle sees that and knows how fake it is because Kyle's been on a shoot or two like this. I, I was watching this motorcycle thing and you're watching dialogue between two people. But I am picturing a 28 pound camera on some guy's shoulder with a shotgun mic or two guys wearing lav mics, wireless things, all that. Mm. That impacts the conversation, you know, like it, there was a part where Ewan McGregor's wife dropped her motorcycle and he picked it up and said, I'm so sorry that happened to you, baby. That's not fair that your motorcycle fell over. And she's like, look at him. And I'm like, he's mic'd up. Here's a camera. (laughs) There's probably two cameras on him. He knows what's happening here. You stupid cow. (laughs) You stupid cow. (laughs) Are you uh, crying? (laughs) <laughs> there's no crying in motorcycles that was so um, that, was, that was my favorite part from your uh you, you working with your wife on the bike was what you asked <laughs> you're, she starts crying and you're like would you cry if i were anyone else trying to teach you to ride a motorcycle and she, no like, why are you doing it to me <laughs> That is very alpha. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Would you cry at Fridays? Then don't do it here. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, so, yeah, I was, I was so disappointed. They had one, like, like the, the stuff that was in the commercials um, was like the whole show. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, I heard yeah, that I, Bam, I the like, body blow up. Bam sued or something and had, had the movie pulled from theaters. Because oh. like he was because of some contractual s- stuff or whatever, right? Like he fucked them all over. Um, I watched. May, may, I don't know if that has anything to do with like what I saw. I heard finished he wanted product. to. I didn't know he was successful. Yeah, I, I mean, I read that. Um, okay. And, and uh, anyway, I, I watched it on Paramount Plus again uh, today. <laughs> uh, I was Dude, on there for four dollars worth. All right, Kyle. Yeah, man, getting after it. Uh, real dreadful movie though. Uh, I if you fast forward and only watch the stunts, then you know. It's only like 25 minutes long, so you can knock it out real quick. Topic change? Yeah, yeah. Ukraine. Did you see the boat go down? Slava Ukraine. Apparently, they've only got like one more of those operational in the world. That's so. One of the issues that Russia's been having in this Ukraine war is me talking to the audience. I know Kyle knows this. Um, 
is the supply lines. They're having a hard time getting their own soldiers food, gasoline, diesel, whatever. Um, so they took over a port and then they did. I saw the news reports on it. The Russians are so happy and proud. Like now that we own this port, the supply line, we're about to start pouring in fresh soldiers, fresh food, fresh ammunition. I made that part up. Um, you know, we have this supply line and everything is going to be better now. Well, the Ukrainians disagreed and they sank a Russian ship. And the nature of the ship is it delivered like food and uh, um, supplies. That was that was part. And then they damaged two other ships that had to leave the port and hightail it out to safer water. Scroll down just a little bit, Zach, and there's a video of it. Thank yeah. you. Seeing that, maybe don't, 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 don't do that, though. <laughs> make it little. Make it little. So, yeah, yeah, a little bit. Uh, they'll say. Короче, Can you mute it too, Zach? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> In any case, that, that I swear I've seen a different video. Maybe this is the part I saw. I'm not sure. I, I remember it being a different angle. But in any case, yeah. yeah. One boat apparently is sunk. I'm calling it a boat. I think I should be calling it a ship. And uh, two more were damaged, and they had to hightail it out to safer waters. Yeah. And it looked like a big Ukrainian victory. Yeah, I, I don't I don't know about the strategic value of these, but the guy I was listening to said that there's they've got like four of these total, and uh, like one of them is on the other side of the world, and the other is like being repaired, and this one just went down, so now they've got one of them essentially for the task of landing supplies or something. I don't know what's special about this, but uh, maybe it's maybe that's a crane right there in the in the front of the ship. Like a is that a big crane that like meant to like I can't even tell if that's on the ship or on the land behind it. I'm get like, like I'm just gonna imagine that the that's a crane that reaches down into the belly of the ship and there's tons of stuff like inside right. it in the cargo hold. But if I told you that wasn't on the ship, it was the port, would you be like, Oh, I see how that's true? I would absolutely be willing to 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 believe that because it could yeah. be some force perspective thing i don't know i can't tell too much in any case uh yeah another victory for the ukrainians i i, I keep hearing about them making like counter movements and encircling russian positions they took um, a city back I th- no a suburb of a city back or something sure like that. they made it seem important it seems like they're pushing russians out of places at times and like i've just seen so many of those drone strikes I, the coolest thing i've seen the most effective maybe they get those drones up with the uh, thermal and okay. uh, they're at altitude, and now they can see all of the Russian stuff. So they're able to, like, with some sort of advanced, probably simpler than you would think, system, radio back to maybe to artillery positions. You know, the big artillery positions that have like twenty mile ranges, forty mile ranges. I don't fucking know. And uh, just dial those positions in. So from thermal, you just see like a bunch of Russians hiding in the woods, like individuals, and they're just like boom. Boom, boom, and it's like six artillery pieces, like so oh. miles and miles away. So the drone just gets it. intelligence, and the Ukraine army it's, has. Yeah, it's it's the eye in the sky being like little to the left, little to the right, you know? mm. and I. But but I think what it really is, it's probably like lazing the position and getting the exact coordinates, and then sending those coordinates back to the what, uh, the artillery what's position. The term and, for that, Kyle, you always know. It. Is it combined forces or something? Combined that, arms is kind of the idea of like of like all your pieces of uh, working together in that way, so that you know your guys on the ground are lazing targets for the the planes in the air, and the choppers are killing tanks, so that your tanks don't have to, and your tanks are, you know, machine gunning away the light resistance and not even having to deal with. You know everything working together. It's really about the communication between one or the other. It's it's because those it's like chess, right? Like if you could have your rook anywhere you wanted, you would always win. And it seems like mm-hmm. the Russians aren't good at calling in their pieces um, for any time they need them at all. Their communication seems awful. And I would guess Russia would be a whole lot better if they were attacked than if they were doing the attacking. You know, if it was in Moscow and they knew the streets and they are had... we going to find out? What I here's what I'm curious so. about I'm listening. Why haven't the Ukrainians struck into Russian territory? They're on the defensive. That yeah, but they could easily do something. Like like it's it, this isn't medieval times or something. Like if but they want to get I, into Russia, they can get into Russia. So my knee jerk reaction is bad move. You've got a lot of Russians who are not really on board, who wish there was no war. You go to Moscow and just damage a famous building, then you know they might gonna, react. Like, I was going to blow up a refinery. <laughs> I actually try. I picked something that was intentionally not a big deal, you know. Like all oh, you've done, 
is you've taken one of those onion buildings and knocked the top off, right? Oh, that's the biggest of deals. They would hate that. Oh, okay. That, uh, oh, you not... go, no, we just shove a dick at the Statue of Liberty's ass. <laughs> <laughs> no, be chill about it. <laughs> You're right. I don't care for it. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm kind of into it. <laughs> you do. You're going to have you fucking <laughs> proud to be a Russian motherfucker. So do they pull the this skirt knock up? The, <laughs> knock one of the... One of those. Oh, ice cream okay. Then, down. um, I can't think of a thing where you like don't kill a lot of civilians or something. I would hit what, a strategic target. I, I what I would I would want to hit like fuel depots or, uh, or or railroads or or something like that. Like like I would want guys like behind enemy lines, like putting thermite charges on railroads every fucking. That's minutes. a perfect one, right? It's a strategic thing, but it's mostly property damage. The Russians don't have to get wildly upset about it, right? Like. It, if I learned that someone damaged America's railroads and there were zero deaths and tens of thousands of dollars repairs, I'd be like, okay, you know, I don't know if we want to go bonkers over. Someone should be doing that right now. I, I can't imagine. Sure. Like, 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 you can easily find the recipe for thermite online. Um, you know, you can, you but can. If your goal is to get the Russians to stop attacking you, mm -hmm. is the move to attack Russia? No. <laughs> yeah, I I don't think that that that's like telling a a rape victim that she needs to like stop resisting so much. I feel like 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 I don't like, think like so at all. Like, I think no. it was a good question because no. you both had different answers. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think uh I think what you don't want to do is like provide some evidence that you're some sort of terror force that's looking for civilian targets. But mm -hmm. uh I I think specifically taking out something like a fuel depot or or supply or like railroads. Um, that the railroads that like tanks are coming in on, but it doesn't even seem like it matters that much because the Ukrainians seem to be like, it seems like they're winning. They're killing so much Russian shit. Like I've seen so much video of the Russian shit. The way I figure in my head is like the amount of video that gets to Reddit is like maybe 10% of the amount of that's happening. But like the last week, it's been this massive influx of videos because, because all the arms are getting there, all the, the various missile systems and uh, and drone systems, and it seems like they're just fucking shit up. I don't know. Do what you to think believe. that? Oh, I'm with Taylor. That's where I was headed. Do you they, think that you can get a pretty accurate view of how it's going? Yeah, I don't like like, I don't like even anyone, the Ru man. the Russians version of it is pretty rough at this point. Like like it's thousands dead. Like like like, like there's there there's no like like even the most like. So you rattled off numbers at PKN. Sorry to interrupt, but it's uh, it's relevant. It, yeah, I think you said the Ukrainians are saying seventeen thousand dead Russians. The mm -hmm. Russians are saying like five thousand dead Russians, and the CIA or whatever Americans who estimate it put it somewhere in the middle ish at like ten thousand dead Russians. Yeah, all those numbers suck. And let's assume mm -hmm. that ours is the it's three right times one. the wounded most likely. That's use the that's the cat that's like the ratio, I believe. Oh, interesting. I didn't know that. So. Uh, that, that's a lot of dead Russians. A lot of that's wounded. A too. lot like, of like, unhappy moms. And th there's ahead. probably twenty five thousand of them that have something from ranging from a boo boo to catastrophic catastrophic head injuries. Get your you know, foot like, shot like, off or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like 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 m warfare is scary as fuck. I man, when you see those bodies and you see what like modern weapons do to human bodies, it's like it it, it, it is brutal like like they, these are not those little i i've always known what gunshots do to like deer and stuff mm -hmm. but they're, when they hit these people with some of these explosive things they're just exploding and and they're burnt to a crisp a lot of the times it's wild so a russian tabloid newspaper i don't know how much emphasis to put on that zach is telling us claimed about ten thousand russian servicemen died yeah that's a big number that's a huge number for yeah. like a month into the war. And it seems like it is, it doesn't, it seems like things are only like getting better for the Ukrainians strategically. Although there are those people in Mariupol who like, so there's supposedly 300,000 people in that city and its surrounding suburbs. And they've been rocket attacking that thing for weeks and weeks. I, at some point I'm wondering, do they ever run out of like, like where's the big pile of bullets that they've been shooting? <laughs> like, like, like it just seems like I go the other way. Do they run out of targets? Right, like, like that building is leveled. Now you've blown up the rubble. What are you just trying to make it dusty? <laughs> like, what's your goal here? Yeah, it's uh, uh I, I don't know. It, it's oh. and then I go not... the other way. I'm sorry to cut you off, but like we've all seen hurricane footage where 
the the news reporter stands in the deepest puddle he can find <laughs> and then the other one leans into the wind to make it seem as strong as possible when they show us the damage to ukraine my mind infers that that's what the rest of the town looks like too but it's probably more likely that they found the worst damage possible mm. this building is fucked it's a little bit of everything. I, I think we'll know when we see the death tolls, um, like, like, like when civilian death tolls start getting like, 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 like more accurately counted. Because I, I know it's like 140 children dead, like, 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 like so far in Ukraine. <laughs> like, 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 just it's it's just numbers like that that are just going to get. Do the children have guns? <laughs> Wait, 100, <laughs> 1, 140? Yeah, yeah like 100, not a big number, but not a good number. Well, yeah, any number of dead children. Well, well, well keeping number. in mind that like. Almost all the children were evacuated, and they still got and 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 the and the number of dead children they've counted is 140. Right. So it's like, how many dead children are there really? It seems like they're killing an enormous percentage of the children remaining. <laughs> and we, it, it's what it seems like to me. They, they hit that uh, hospital, the maternity hospital, or something. What's I, two sides to every story, Russia? What's your story for taking out the maternity ward or whatever it is that what's your story? Like, what's your side of the school? Did you have intelligence that said they were like, are we just taking out civilian stuff? Are you trying to, uh, they, they wouldn't like, answer it. Like they would yeah. do the same thing that they, they would point to the times the U S has bombed hospitals and go, see, it's no, okay. I've, I, I've like, seen, no, it's not. I've, I've seen their double talk and propaganda. It's like impossible to have a conversation with them. It's yeah. it's it, you know it, it's not a it's not a conversation that's being had in good faith. It, this it, is like me saying I want to hear whatever Lincoln's story. Like I know I can't have it. No, it, it, mm. it it's absurd. Um, it, it's it's cool to see so many uh, Russians dying, I guess, and I like to see um like like those old women fighting for sugar in Russia. That was cool. Um, I didn't I, see that. Yeah, I, the, there's not a lot of sugar. I guess big run on sugar. It would seem. The lady's like, I want it too. And it's so funny to hear like this dirty fucking poor ass Russian people <laughs> like and like, like like the problems of their day to day life. This lady's like last month. Sorry, only cost 120 ruble. This week, sorry, cost 400 ruble. And I'm like, wait, isn't that like no tips? money? Yeah. And wait, isn't sorry some sort of like low grade salted Baltic fish product or some shit? It's probably something gross. Yeah, and, and then like like and, and she's like, not only this, the price of buckwheat. And I was like, buckwheat. buckwheat? I don't even know what that is exactly. It's a That's the character from Little Rascals. Yeah, <laughs> well, I know like, I know what wheat is and inferred that it was related to it, but yeah, it's some kind of grain or or like like oh oat ish thing. It's we oh, don't eat it anymore. We, we we switch to better grains at some uh -huh. point in the Western world. We switch I, to oats. Yeah, but, but she's just like quoting these like prices and rubles of sorry and 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 buckwheat or whatever the fuck. And so, <sighs> good, good. I'm glad your buckwheat's more expensive. <sighs> oh, I don't. I don't want like grandmas to have trouble buying supplies are I you do. sure because i feel like that's how the war ends i want the grandmas to die oh, that's i want the russian too. people yeah. to not like i heard that anymore. the russian soldiers that half of them have frostbite in their feet and that made me smile all day today like, like, like i had my coffee yeah, that, that's a that quantifiable article. real number half of russian soldiers <laughs> have frostbite in their feet Hey, what? are you a science denier, Taylor? These are statistics. Trust the I'm, science. Look, if, I need, if I need to cite my work, then I'm going to start asking the same from each of you. That's if, fair. If, yeah, if, yeah, I, oh, I, I'm going to have to cite low. hockey stats and magic decks. On if you think I can't find the Reddit comment, I found that in. <laughs> you have another thing coming. I'm, uh, I'm no, sorry. This thing's Maybe been, this thing's been brilliant. Now. This thing's been brilliant. Um, <laughs> I, I can't wait to see what happens. Like, like there's a chance that uh, that like uh, maybe a tactical nuke gets used. I could easily see that happening. Like, yeah, like that's like, horrible. What is a tactical nuke? A smaller is, one. A little. That could nuke. be. That, yeah, that could be delivered by any number of means, from any, anywhere from like a backpack to a uh, an artillery shell to like some sort of like. I don't know what the what, what kind of things the Russians have, but like the U.S. had like every delivery system imaginable for various sized uh, uh, nuclear weapons. Jesus how, Christ! Well, hopefully it doesn't happen. How much damage is a tactical nuke? Well, like, it would depend on the size, right? So it could run the gamut from like a Hiroshima-sized blast down to something that would just blow up a city block, right? 
So tactical doesn't tell you how big it. Tactical tells me nothing. It means that it's like black and then you know it's cool. No, and I don't. Yeah. I don't know. I don't, it's got I, sunglasses on. I'm sure there's information. <laughs> <out>. <laughs> exactly. I, it, 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 it's got, it's got like four sights and three lasers. It plays on. airsoft. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. I'm sure there's some sort of like information on Wikipedia, probably about like the various like special order like nuclear weapons the Soviets or the KGB or the SFB or whatever it is now like like had or came up with. Because there's the information like that about you know CIA projects and U.S. government projects and the various like nukes. I've seen that nuke uh, video where they have like an artillery piece or a cannon and it goes boom. And then you see a fucking mushroom cloud hit like five seconds later because it just shot a nuclear shell like into the distance. Uh, so there's any number of them, but I could see them doing that. Like, like I don't think I don't know what that would I don't I don't know what would happen what after happens. that. Yeah, exactly. If they, I don't think we do nuke, shit. I don't know. Wait, why would I, they nuke Ukraine? Does, wouldn't it like blow back on them? That oh, that's a good. It doesn't point. make any sense. Yeah. They well, want you. They want Ukraine. They don't want to be ruling over a desolate nuclear barren wasteland. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, That's like it, part of the Russian doctrine, though. Like, like it might be bullshit, but they're like, if we, it looks like we're losing a war, and there's not going to be any more Russia, then there's not going to be any more Earth. That's just you guys need to know that if it looks like we're losing, we destroy the planet. That's where I on the side. Like, I hope that that's pro more propaganda than anything, but um. I, I'm not saying it's tactically sound to use a, a tactical nuke. I'm just saying it'd be cool on our TVs, right? Like, like no, no, <laughs> no, no. He's right. It would be cool on our TVs. I said it, <laughs> I didn't say it'd be a chill thing to happen. Yeah. All right. No, no. Kyle's right on this one. It would be neat. <laughs> I, I'm just saying. Level. I'm just saying it'd be pretty impressive to see on television, right in 4K. It would be like yeah, a little preview of how the world's ending. No, you know, I think during. I, I'm wondering. I, I don't think we would do anything. Uh, I think we might uh, impose a no-fly zone at that point and and be like, are you ready for the nuclear war, the full-scale one? Because now we are as well. We're it, like, like I think that's where things. They're would not going to nuke Ukraine. That doesn't make any sense. I didn't say it did, but a lot of people are talking about it. They're, they're saying that that Putin um, could do any number of things. Uh, it's a thing that's being discussed. Heavily. Trump they said it was genius and savvy. Uh, but but um. To that nuke was, Ukraine? I just made that up. Oh. That. But he <laughs> and, said and, Putin was genius and savvy. I, there was a time where nuclear weapons were thought of as um, things to be used industrially and, and on small-scale conflicts and, and to be used very tactically. It's not like it's going like... Industrially? Like, like to make to open tunnels for transit? Yeah. yeah well, so uh, like mover, Russia... Earth-moving projects. I think it was the Soviet Union. They had like a huge natural gas leak that was burning for years because they like couldn't shut it down, like the pipe going so deep into the earth. And so they used like a giant nuclear warhead and they deployed it way underground to like close off and destroy the pipe. And so I, huh. I didn't know about that. I would have guessed it was set the neat. gas on fire, but I don't know anything. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I, I mean, I, they're I, still I mean, I around. Get <laughs> yeah. I get how yeah. it works. Yeah. Um, but but yeah, it's it's been wild. I hope I hope they don't nuke anything. I'm just kidding around. But uh, it, it's uh, it's been like crazy to see. Oh, I saw this today. Like like, like apparently, um, the United States is sending like a ton of these S three hundred missiles. Um, these these are okay. anti aircraft missile systems that are like shot off of a truck, like big missiles. Instead of this isn't a shoulder rocket thing. This is a launched thing. This is like a big fucking uh, missile, and uh, they're Soviet made S three hundreds. And people were like, wait, what? Where'd you get all them? And they're like, oh, the CIA had this project in the 80s where, you know, we just got like hundreds and hundreds of, of Soviet weapons of every kind so that we could, you know, take them apart, figure out what made them tick and stuff. So we just got tons of them laying around still. You want them? So like they're just shipping these over there. We had these somewhere. Like we had <laughs> these somewhere, like, like in a great quantity. Wow. It's not urban camo. Uh, well, well, what would a good urban camo be? I don't know. Just in Call of Duty, it. it's digital ish. Put, make it look like a Chevrolet. Yeah. <laughs> make it look like, make it like a civilian vehicle. Put some. Yeah. There's that no, there's no cool. camouflage in that. It's a fucking missile launcher. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, uh, it's a with, tank. It has four <laughs> ballistic missiles on the back. It kind of sticks out. It does. But, uh, but yeah, I guess we had a bunch of those and then we're sending those as well. It's fun to see everybody like go into their attic and behind their couch and find all their old shit and be like send it to ukraine they can shoot some russians with it and like everybody's just cool about that and and russia's like 
are you guys all seriously cool with the fact that <laughs> you're like on TV being like, yeah, I sent I sent the Ukrainians exploding bullets. And you're like, oh, really? I sent them flaming bullets. They burn the Russians' eyes out first. And, and like all the people are watching this like, good, burn their eyes out, then blow them up. Like, like, like as a Russian, you got to be like, wait, what the fuck? Really? Y'all I- all are against us? I saw that. Well, it's, it's like, did you see the green text where the guy's like finally had like found a girlfriend and everything? Like, like he's like, she finds out I'm, but I she knew I was Russian, immediately breaks up with me. What the <laughs> fuck, bros? <laughs> like, 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 yeah, I did see that. He's like, I didn't do it. He's like, I killed 4,000 Ukraines. Ukrainian. <laughs> Dude, I go so hard not calling it the Ukraine, mm-hmm. right? Because I would never say, like, we're going to war with the Mexico, right? Yeah. Like, it's Mexico. Yeah. That I fuck it up sometimes, and now I'm like, yeah, they're Ukrainians. No, they're Ukrainian. It is okay, or, or it's maybe the Ukrainian war. Yeah, yeah. Why was it you called know? the Ukraine? It it's just a grammatical uh, mistake my, my, that everybody my, makes. My guess earlier was that it was once um, the the Ukraine region, and before it was a country. Oh, like so that the was Russian Empire. But that was or just whatever. my that was just my guess because. For some reason, I had that thing uh, of calling it the Ukraine. Like I've heard that said, mm-hmm. like in, in media, and, uh, and and so like I, I guess I, I really don't care though. It doesn't I don't matter know how it, it got that way. I never say the Delaware like by no. accident, but, mm-hmm. but it's because we've heard people say the Ukraine. It's yeah. Yeah. Ukraine yeah. government. Oh, he, do you want to read that? I the use of the Ukraine, Ukraine is officially deprecated by Ukrainian government and many English language media publications. Ukraine is the official full name of the country as stated in its declaration of independence and constitution. There's no official alternative long name. All right. Don't be all sassy about it. The Ukrainians. (laughs) All right. Like like we're all wearing, we got our blue and yellow on. Be who we want you to be. Yeah. Why hasn't Facebook added a filter that I can just do that to my profile picture or something? Do you guys donate? Just go ahead and make that switch. (laughs) <laughs> and then, Dust those hands and I've done sure, my part. Make sure all of your friends see it. <laughs> that way I'm trying to virtue person. signal here. Would you give me a filter? <laughs> Did you guys donate to the Ukrainians at all? Uh, no. You know, who I donate to is none of anyone's business. That's fair to I say. Donate to the fair Taylor to Spindrift Fund. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair to say. I saw there were some fucking dogs or something that. We're fucking hungry over there and like a bomb that bomb shelter vet center and they needed some money. It, so. it blows me away. You pick to donate to a dog charity in Ukraine right now. <laughs> Dude. That's Truly, it is, brand, it is it is for Kyle. It is, exactly it right. is genuinely befuddling. Who do you like, think? <laughs> all right, all right. Here because the story I saw was this pretty girl who went back into the war zone to like save the dogs and she got killed, and they were like we're going to save these dogs that she died for. That was the story that I saw. This is and, exactly and it was like, how here's you how you donate. Out. Taylor, let me list a couple of groups. And you tell me which ones Kyle might donate to. Okay. Men. Ugh. Moms. No. Children. Despicable. Pretty girls and dogs. Yeah. Yeah. Right? yeah. <laughs> that's, that's exactly right. <laughs> of course. They had donated. a pretty girl with a bunch of dogs over there. <laughs> <laughs> the girl was dead. And the dogs needed some cash to These get out are of his the soft spots. Ukraine. Women A women's can't charity and children. The very idea. <laughs> <laughs> what is a woman? <laughs> knows. Well, you knows. know what a dog is. So you just... <laughs> yeah. I, 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 no, I, I, I had to. I felt bad for those fucking dogs. And you, the, the fucking Ukrainian dogs. And the Russians are bombing them. And then like this other thing I saw, and it was like, these are the dogs that were here. The Russians already killed them. And it's like the Russians are killing the dogs. But then, like in every video I see, where like someone was trying to escape and gets like gunned down in the streets, they've got their dog with them, and the Russians have killed the fucking dog. Like I've seen, I've seen way too like whole family dead in the street. Papa bear, mama bear, baby bear, and then their dog, and oh. uh, like 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 whole family is dead there in the fucking street, and it's just like why God, kill the dog? Going after dogs, they because, must be watching a lot of American. Cops. It's because. <laughs> they're shell. I think they shelled them. Uh, I think they hit them with some sort of indiscriminate, like artillery fire or shelling or something like that, and just killed them all on the street. Well, definitely indiscriminate with dogs. Like I can't uh, imagine they were like, you know, get they those might be targeting dogs. 
they might be targeting dogs. Dogs. I, I can't say for sure that they're not. <laughs> That's fair. It's equal 50-50. Right? That's where I stand on it. <laughs> they either are or they're not. 50-50 chance. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's been wild, though. I I, I, I don't know what's going to happen if uh, Volodymyr Zelensky gets killed, though. I'm wondering what happens if that happens. Who's the um, next what, guy? Or I guess we don't really know who the next guy up is. The next guy would be the former PM uh, or former president, that older gentleman who gets his own share of airtime. And um, uh, he's often in the streets wearing his like vest with his boys. Oh, I don't even know that guy. Yeah, I, I, he, he, he gets like 30% of the airtime Zelensky gets. Zelensky, like every day has like a zoom call with the like Congress of a different country. Like, like he's, he's getting some FaceTime these days. Well, what I like about him is he buys clothes the way I do like 15 of the same shirt. Dude. You know, uh, so five eleven uh, tactical clearly sent him a care package. Um, Cause he's like, it, you know, it's like tactical gear, clothing and holsters and everything really. Um, it's clear. They sent him some sort of care package early on. That's smart. That's smart. I wonder what yeah. guy in their marketing or whatever the fuck was like, get Volodymyr Zelensky a fucking crate of shirts and whatever the fuck else you can th- send him mm-hmm. everything that we have. I don't care how you get it there. Take it yourself. You pick it up and you get it there. Like go <laughs> run <Start> swimming, Dick. <laughs> he had five eleven gear on like day one. So, this like, address to Congress is brought to you by Postmates. Like <laughs> <laughs> more eyes saw him that day than than, than like anything else. He 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 he's been speaking to. Billions of people must have seen it. Billions must have. The entire free world. The entire free world and most of China. You think? Yeah. Most of China? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I think I, this is a significant China seems there. to be more on uh, Russia's side with all this. China, I saw that the uh, I saw that the like the BRICS nations had a meeting and the BRICS like all, nations? Yeah, it's like emerging economies. It's like Brazil, Russia, China, India, uh no. Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa. Okay. And they were, I saw something, I don't remember which news channel it was, being like, oh, these these leaders are all having a meeting. They're not too pleased with the U.S. doing X, Y, Z or something. I didn't look They weren't pleased with the it. U.S. So. Yeah, and that, that was surprising to me when I saw it because it was like, oh, that's not like what you would expect based on what we were hearing and everything. But who knows what they actually talked about. Hmm. I saw Biden went to the uh, to Europe today or recently. He's there now. Um, I guess I'm, I'm curious uh, if it's literally because Kamala didn't do a good job because that's what it seems like. Because they sent her little time pass and they immediately sent Biden. And uh, man, I watched Biden walk out to uh, I believe his helicopter is called Marine One. Mm-hmm. He was uh, you know walking out to that and he walked like Mr. Burns with his hands out like this. <laughs> Smithers. He took very me- he took measured steps, like he had his uh, ankles tied together with string, like a boxer, uh, and he had his hands up like this. He's and, so fucking old and decrepit. I need and, to see it. He looks good on a bicycle. I don't know why I'm defending him. I mean, when not, when did he look good on a bicycle? 1972. In, in the um, before he was elected. 2015. No, no, no. Oh, like, 2000. Right before 19. he was elected. That sounds right. He lost it. I lost. believe you. I didn't, you saw the video I didn't. I'm not telling you you're wrong. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's, it's just his his words. I saw him speak today. I watch okay. him speak almost every day. Uh-huh. He was better today. But he, <laughs> he was better today, but he still... It's like he, we had him speak before sundown. He, he was a little more competent. You know, at 3 p.m. is kind of his sweet spot. Yeah. And then, Wait, did you feed Biden after midnight? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, don't give him a mic. This motherfucker can't speak. And uh, like, like I, I, I've seen so many news reports, not just on Fox News, but because uh, I try not to watch that because it's wild over there. I, I do not like that. I try to stay away from their coverage of this shit. It's been crazy over there. Do, who, Who's Candace Jones? That 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 cute little black chick that the that the Republicans like so much. Is she a, is the is the liberal stance that she's a, a traitor to our country or something like that? Because she's hot. I have no idea. I just see her. So my criticism of her is that she's a little bit skin deep on her things. You know, like like she'll take these strong positions like global warming is fake, and then if you ask her like, well, can you explain why the temperatures are going up? She has no answer. Um, but she's a pretty good speaker. She's a half decent debater if no one's arguing back. 
and uh, <laughs> she's pretty reliably Republican. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I've seen like saw, Tommy Lauren. Maybe. She was on there when I when I like clicked on to Fox News, but for she's the most pretty. part, I've been watching mostly like European news. I think there's a like German, French, and British. Um, I don't know. Um, I've got access to all those. You watching news with subtitles? No, they have English um, oh. versions of those. It's 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 their channels, but it's the it's it's there's it's English speaking news. My sources are probably bad, but I watch a lot of like the Reddit sort of um, underground stuff, mm-hmm. Fox and CNN. Like those are where I get my stuff, and I I try to like get all sides. That's my objective. Yeah. Although when you say yours, I'm like I think he might be doing better than me. Al Jazeera yeah. and uh, uh, it. I, I watched some of that, and I watched some of um, Indian news. I don't even know what it is. They, they've got this weird fucking symbol. There's not even a number for like their channel or whatever. Okay. So like, but but it's also English, and and like, they're the mo- the Indians are the most um, close to being like pro Russian, but it's not anywhere near pro Russian. It's still like the Russians continue to murder children today, but were the Ukrainians asking for it tonight at five? <laughs> YouTube has figured out that if they give me Tucker Carlson's latest monologue, I can't resist clicking it. Oh no! And, and sometimes I do, and they're like, "Well, here he is again." I'm like, ah, I'm not gonna resist twice, <laughs> Jesus! You <laughs> so must I would, love Tucker Carlson. I watch him every day, and and I'm like, I'm totally onto his formula. It's not that hard to figure out. Like, the absolutely shaky, untrue premise build on top of that shaky untrue premise as if it were rock solid this uh the hunter biden stuff is um coming back and it seems like um mm-hmm. what what has what is definitely true is that hunter biden left his laptop at a laptop repair store and it and, has been recovered by someone. and there are incriminating emails on it ah. the biggest one in my mind is that in this deal i think with china they were saving 10 percent for the big guy And most people infer that to be Joe Biden himself Mm -hmm. in on this backroom deal. And uh, it's not good. It's backroom deals with China, Ukraine, and Russia. Yeah, I didn't know about the Russia one, although I'm not saying you're wrong. It's $30 million from Russia. Um, Wait, they called this whole thing a conspiracy a while ago. Not, 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 is, hang on, hang on. not only did they call it a conspiracy, Facebook labeled it as a conspiracy and like deleted posts and removed accounts who tried to mention it. Yeah, I know people got banned for bringing it up. They went Orwellian on something that has turned out to be factual. That is a problem with fact checking in general. Like uh, Joe Rogan brought, brought this one to my attention, you know, because we talk. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> he was like, there was a period where if you said cloth masks are bullshit and don't work, then you were labeled as some sort of traitor, you know, anti-American, anti-science, etc. And then a little time passes and they're like, right, cloth masks are pretty ineffective. Maybe your breath doesn't go quite as far, but for the most part, they're bullshit. You want a more effective mask. Mm-hmm. And uh, but there was a time when if you were like cloth masks were just a theater then you would get like fact checked on facebook and banned on twitter and such you have to join the mob or be ridiculed by it or be exterminated by it uh in every turn and sometimes it's like yeah join us dummy we're in the mob that drinks clean water you've been drinking river water all week that's why you're (laughs) vomiting and your wife died of cholera yesterday we're in the clean water mob so get on board or die like your wife but then there's like the look fucking vote or die motherfucker vote or die and then it's just like <laughs> first of all you already told me i can't anymore and second of all <laughs> i don't think it matters yeah the um uh so with the cloth mask thing uh, maybe i'm foolish i believe they made an honest mistake with the hunter biden thing it doesn't feel like an honest mistake it feels like a little bit of protectionism for someone who was a powerful man and i don't know like that this could be wrong week, that, that, that is wild. Be, here's like, what happened this week: that Trump has been at least twice exonerated and and, and like shown to be correct about something. Stormy Daniels ha- is going to have to pay him three hundred thousand dollars for the defamation. I know the details on that. Do you want them? No, I I, I, I like the broad stroke better. That that makes that means Trump her attorney has been in jail for a while. Oh, I'm here and it's Trump won again. <laughs> um, so uh, let me let me lay it out because it is worth knowing. Um, sure. 
She filed a defamation of character suit against him. It is very hard to win a defamation of character suit. You have to basically prove that someone said something, knowing it was untrue, with the intent of causing damage to you. She wasn't able to prove all those things. So now she owes Trump his attorney's fees, which is $300,000. So I guess if you file a suit and lose, sometimes you have to pay the other dude's legal costs, and Mm -hmm. that's the case. So... Eh, that's what he won. Can you imagine Trump like calling his lawyer and telling him to run the bill up at some point? Be, be, yes, like, I can imagine that. I, do I, do I, you want to go golfing? I, I can imagine. <laughs> some, I can imagine some sort of rich people legalese fuckery in which there's a point where the lawyers know that they're going to win, and someone's like, "Hey, you're you're going to win. It, you'll know Thursday," and they're like, "Let's make some phone calls to Mr. Yeah. Trump." Mr. <laughs> Trump. Would you do us a favor and sit the phone on your desk and walk away? Yes, okay. there's 24 of us here who need to speak to your empty phone. We're gonna need to me. Get, no, I'm just let's gonna have catch a long up, conversation <laughs> about nothing at all, Mr. Trump. Just le- <laughs> like, like like just running the bill up on him, right? Like like I hope that that happened for whatever reason. And then obviously like like Trump was pushing this Hunter Biden thing, and like you, I'm sh- Trump spoke so much. Here's the here's the advantage of speaking so much. The disadvantage is you're gonna find so many clips of him saying something wild. But it's okay because there are so many clips of him saying something wild that each wild thing seems less wild. The the the, the average it, it becomes such that it's like he says wild things all the time. Look, oh, there's another one. See, or are you gonna go you gonna chase that one down too? Wolf, 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 chase it down the street, mm-hmm. dummy. Like like he say, <laughs> but but when he says enough things, then like I'm sure he was like, I guarantee he's like there's a conspiracy happening right now. Facebook has called truth lies. This. This thing happened like this, that, and the other. He probably laid it out exactly the way it has gone down and the way it was at some point in one of his fucking crazy rallies he did. And they're going to drag that shit back up. And they're going to be like, here's what Trump said. Here's what Biden said. Here's clip after clip of, of you know how dismissive Joe Biden is when it's mm-hmm. anything that he he wants to like belittle and like tamp down. He acts like you are insulting him and you're a moron and he will call you names and curse at you to your face. He's done it time and time again in front of crowds of people. So just imagine how he treats people when nobody's looking. Kyle, like, I think Trump is not going to do much politically next election. I don't either. The midterms will be a barometer. He's out right now campaigning. Um, mm-hmm. He's working hard at it, which is not something you do for... Remember when the Russians started getting blood to the border and it was yes. like why are they bringing extra blood <laughs> if yeah like, yeah right right that's not part of a propaganda campaign you don't bring fresh blood to mash hospitals trump's out campaigning uh for for the midterms um like he thinks it matters um and uh i, I think that trump is going to make another run at it and he'll, he'll certainly be on that course where he can pull up at any time and it'll just be a good publicity thing and money money made uh but but I think he's trying to go again. Yeah, that's I my think guess he wants to be, be the president again, and I think he's going to do everything he can to make that happen. I think that becoming the president might be his best shot of galvanizing himself against any legal problems from his previous presidency, because those things are, and that's why I made that hundred dollar bet with uh, Mitty that like put any time frame you want on it. Trump ain't going to jail for anything he did. He's not being found guilty for anything in any sort of meaningful way because the legal system moves so slow. I saw in my bullshit case and you're mm-hmm. talking about something with the president of the United States and like far reaching, like, like political stuff. Unlimited this is, budget. this time it takes years. So if he can get another presidential candidacy rolling, like it'll become suddenly like inappropriate conduct for the FBI to even investigate a candidate all of a sudden. So the invest investigations stop investigators phase out now they're on to new projects and moving around it does things get stalled for years and years now he's the president now he's a good president like like, like it will never happen he's not getting any trouble that means Biden's more, that all Biden, at happen. this point if there's a betting line right now i it's much more likely that biden is in legal issues than trump is in legal issues the no, person who is people the that person, high up don't the deal person with legal at, issues the person at most at most p- professional and political uh risk right now from legal issues is joe biden not donald trump like more more like on the laptop thing okay. way more troubling than like whatever's on the laptop i haven't looked into it is like knowing fully that big tech companies censor shit unilaterally 
for political motivations. Like that's scary. Twitter did the same thing Facebook did where they would shut you down if you said about it. I didn't follow it at the time, but I know that like they were censoring it and whatnot. Like, and think about it. That's the way, especially at the time that everyone was communicating with one another. That was the main kind of ability to communicate. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitter YouTube, the election. and it's like, and for those companies to be able to, for any reason, just shut down discussion of a topic is really fucking scary. Um, uh, it's the same way in some ways with, with, with COVID. And, and look, again, like going back to what I said about the drink and clean water mob, like sometimes it's a good thing that you can just shut people up about their disinformation that involves drinking bleach, for example. Like, like, like and that's not like a made up, like, Okay, ivermectin silly example like i no no don't don't you don't have to stretch it to ivermectin i remember when they were drinking bleach i i do not <laughs> want twitter like, and facebook deciding what is public discourse in the country that's that's not good i, sh I i'm with it, kyle it is bleach though? hard to get it right um ivermectin is a good one i think because the right absolutely believed that this was a thing that cured covid um hmm. It isn't. I so I follow the news on this a lot. Mm -hmm. It seems like report after report after report comes out and says ivermectin doesn't fix it. And th like there was one poor study that said it was good in an effort to make COVID seem like a smaller deal than it was. The right latched on to this conspiracy that there is a cheap, readily available, widely known drug that cures it. And they're just trying to hide it from you so that you don't get a cure to COVID because reasons. And it was bullshit. And it's been proven bullshit time and time and time again. And I so what? do think that having, well, because say, a fact were, check on misinformation could well, be good. Were, well, so what is that? Because of this information, people were thinking there was a viable option aside from vaccination. And there were people who were dying and or seriously injuring themselves. Like, like, like apparently an overdose of horse ivermectin ca can ca causes things like sterility shockingly like it literally makes men sterile when they take too much of it well, that's I'm just sure. darwinism which, at that point which, which <laughs> to me was like slow down with the warnings boys like, like, like <laughs> right right is that the and where can i get some ivermectin like, 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 <laughs> all right right yeah like, see like, like uh, that it, you're, you're giving too much power to these tech companies that what, they can unilaterally decide what is and isn't discourse and it and it's not going to end where you like it it's not going to end where we like it, no. um, but, but it's and, also, like, but, it's but, not but again, good. a related I, thing to what Taylor's saying. I'm sorry, did I cut you off, Kyle? A little. Do you want to go? Um, I just look, it's a private thing. Twitter, Twitter's not fucking mm. uh, a public organization. Um, if you know, like, like, like I this feel is like the way we communicate, to... like in the modern world, they should be. That's our face where people can say stuff uh, that, and you can talk are, about anything. It's I'm how sure, discourse is done. I'm, I'm sure there are, and they're just not very popular. And, and and I don't think that, um, I mean, I mean, are you suggesting that there should be some government overreach? Do you want some politicians to go yeah, in? And, yeah, absolutely. And tell, they, they, and, it, it, and these these people, companies should be like a public utility. They control our ability to communicate with one another. They should, they should be forced. Line? Where do we draw so, the line? Where I'm, I'm a free speech absolutist. To do, I, I think that people should be able to say what they want on these platforms, whether or not I agree with it, because the well, only wait, other alternative. If you're telling a company what it can do and can't do, then that in itself isn't. Is not we told those speech. bakeries they had to make gay cakes. Like, what? Why can't no. we do? We this? actually did the exact opposite. We told the bakeries that they could serve who they wanted to. I they want they the other way. The well, cake, regardless, cake. the bakers I would want. be. The bakers I, won, and then that lost. has been <laughs> society then, lost. On and that, that has one. actually been like a, a counter argument to this sort of thing. Then, all over then the I place. apologize for being wrong on that. Well, it's, re re I do it every day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, like it, not it, it is my, my whole my whole thing is it is really fucking scary to allow these multi billion dollar companies who control our ability to speak to one another to other citizens of our country letting them decide what is and isn't discourse Taylor. is not a good long term plan a Here's litmus test i, I want to jump in this is what i was going to say that i apply to myself a lot is like i don't care who your favorite president is right let's say biden is your guy mm -hmm. and they're like okay they've just given the president the ability to declare martial law and now no one's allowed to quit their job and no one's out allowed at night and you say well all right but with Biden, I trust that he will use that responsibly. I think it's cool. No, no, no. You need to pretend your least favorite president is president, whoever that is. Maybe it's DeSantis. Maybe it's Matt Gates or Madison mm -hmm. Cawthorn, the wheelchair dude. Right? Pretend he's president. 
see if you still like that law and you know, apply that test to it before you know you do your thing. Line item veto is a better real life example, right? You know, problem is the Senate, the House, they put all these stupid little riders in the law and they say, all right, we're going to like lower taxes for disabled moms. And we're also going to put in this big fat bridge. And the president can be like, all right, we're passing it, but not the bridge part. That's just pork. Mm-hmm. Okay. You might like that idea when your favorite president is power, but you're going to hate it when the next guy is maybe, maybe the president can't pick and choose how these laws go through. Precisely. Okay. Now with tech, I'm like, absolutely. We should censor ivermectin talk. You know, people are dying because of it. It's a public hazard. Oh yeah. Woody. Well, do you like it when they censor something you do believe in? No, not anymore. So I, it's a tough mm-hmm. thing for me. It, it's not a road. I mean, they kind of already do. They yeah, already... they already decide what you can and can't talk about. It's just I, I don't think that's a good Woody, thing. Woody, what's a woman? There's no telling. <laughs> I, I, I've met them, but I can't define them. Oh, man. <laughs> a woman is me winning college championships and swimming. <laughs> See, <laughs> See, you've met them. You've met them and you can't define them. I, I, I've met them and I won't define them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who's to say? <laughs> Not who's someone who wants a Twitch account. <laughs> yeah. yeah when Dude, you talk the about best is when the women were boggled. I love seeing the women go like, uh. <laughs> yeah. what, we talk about like it, it closer to this show has been demonetized the last six shows in a row. That's a lot. That is. Huh. Like we and and if you it's like a, a UFC fighters record. Well, what if you go back before that? Well, it's like nine out of the last eleven. Like it, it's not like it just started. Like it, like we get demonetized all the time. That's ridiculous. Yeah, that is silly. We don't That's say ridiculous. anything edgy or. I wonder if it's the just lock and load ad that we because it's usually language. Oh, really? Yeah, we don't I don't say anything that bad. I wish we knew which words, like, 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 if, if like, there's like one word that's like doing it, like cunt, like, like, yeah. like one cunt, like, like, bro, like, like, <laughs> <laughs> like, like, I saw. Are I, you sure I, it's I, not cock sucking? But <laughs> I, watching, I don't know how the algorithm works, but I think maybe it has like voice recognition and it like, like, assign, I, like, it like, does saw, close caption. So I in saw my a head. police video today, and he was like. I hear those finance guys like get crazy CPM. So it's just like ATM, fucking Wall Street, Wall Street, Wall Street, Wall Street, Wall Street, <laughs> NFT, NFT, crypto, cryptocurrency, crypto, crypto, Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ethereum. I don't know. ATM, ATM. Let it rain, boys. Let's go. Also, my Patreon <laughs> down below. And I, I, was like, I was like, hell, I'm going to sit through all this. Let's keep going. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, to me, it's the makeup girls, mascara, blush, or something else. <laughs> yeah. Re- Revlon, Revlon, mm-hmm. eyeshadow, smoky eye. <laughs> spring, uh, spring fashion. <laughs> How do we, if we can, if we, let's, if we just, well, there's probably a whole list of words we could do. We could do like 30 minute segments where we just say like keyword. Yeah. Hey, everyone, for, skip ahead to uh, 345. We'll stop saying Revlon. Uh, <laughs> McGregor? McGregor, McGregor. <laughs> oh, we got that covered. We got that covered. Uh, yeah. He's saying he wants yeah. to fight fucking Kamara Usman, who's a 170 pound champion of the world, and he seems fucking serious about it. I saw an interview where he's like saying it, and he looked like he fucking meant it, dude. He looked like he really meant it. He was like, "If I knock out Kamara, you know, you know what? When I knock out Kamara Usman," <laughs> and it was like it really seemed like he meant it. He is demented. If he, he seemed he can... to mean it. I'm sorry, it, it is more. But it, uh, Tyrone Woodley was the champ before Kamara Usman, mm. and at that time, Connor seemed to be wanting smoke with Tyrone Woodley. Yeah, and in hindsight, maybe he was right. Fuck, uh, he seemed to catch him at the end of his reign. You know, he might have beat him. Man, that's when he should have struck. Like, dude, mm-hmm. now looking back, I remember when that happened. This that was like seven years ago. It, it like like. Wow. like 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 Connor was so hot then. It, 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 I think he was he was champ champ. I think, and and it, I think he could have taken Tyrant. Like 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 maybe like a year. I or didn't two think after. at the time, but could. now I think he definitely could take him. Like like now, I think you take him now. Dude, fucking hundred percent. Jake Paul could beat him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm clearly stoned. I'm. <laughs> <laughs> Jake Paul beat him twice. <laughs> Jake Paul beat him twice. Tyron Woodley's a bum. <laughs> Tyron was a bum. Tyron like, Woodley would kick my ass just like Jay Paul would. But he's yeah, just... I, yeah, I, I don't have to be a professional athlete to recognize a bum. Somebody, <laughs> yeah. He's a fucking bum. Like, 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 
and, and and there's plenty of fucking professional athletes who say the same fucking thing. What a loser. What an absolute <laughs> loser. Like like <laughs> untalented, clearly. Like 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 journeyman with a good body, apparently. I don't know what the fuck you got to a championship with. It it seems like some I I, I feel like it's a glitch in the matrix that that he was so good and, and seemingly for all those years. It doesn't make sense to me now. <sighs> Like seeing Jake Paul beat him twice, and seeing and seeing like knocked him out the second I, time. And I, I think I've mentioned it before, but I watched him on like that Japanese game show thing where he competed against yes. an average Joe in this like rally competition where like you he know, looked a little bit better than that dad. The dad beat recall. him. He lost. Oh, wait, did he? Oh, he fucking I... lost to a white dude who's like a fireman or something. How embarrassing! Losing to a white person. And it was like in a, an athletic endeavor. It was an athletic endeavor. It was like you know, sprinting and jumping, climbing, he might have carrying, been carrying heavy chains around his neck. Sure, or like lots of like. And this is a guy who's like looks like he should be able to handle that. And they're, they're like, <sighs> "All right, Mark, your competition is Tyron Woodley, four-time world champion of the welterweight division of the mm. UFC." And like Mark is like, no sweat, bro. I got this. <laughs> like, yeah. like, and they're like, and here's Mark. He can program in Java, JavaScript, and HTML. Let's Pi- go. I thought too. Don't forget. <laughs> <laughs> and he just like knocked it out and beat Tyron by like 15 seconds or something silly like that. It wasn't even close. That's crazy. Now fuck that loser. I, I can't. I can't believe he. he <laughs> just. Just. He fell off. Now, the one thing about Tyrone, though, is he's <sighs> older than you'd guess if you were to just go by his physique. Mm. Um, let me, I'm going to look him up. Is he 40? Can't be 40. Uh, he is 39. Okay. He is, so, but, but, but like he sucked four years ago. Like, like, did he? When did he lose his belt to Usman? He hasn't won a fight. Here's a funny little way to like always remember when he won his last fight. The last fight he won was before he wrote that song called I'm Gonna Whoop Yo Ass. He oh, wrote, really? He came up with a rap song called I'm Gonna Whoop Yo Ass, and he never won a fight again. <laughs> 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 like, And when he wrote it, it was like, dude, if anybody's going to be rapping about whipping ass, Tyron Woodley's the guy. You were like, all right, first of all, champ, maybe you should be focused on the fighting, not the rap, not the rapping. Although mm. I'm gonna whoop your ass seems like a, a a good title for for a song from you, and then he never won a fight again. Yeah, yeah. he's on a nice little loss streak. Oh, when and I was his last this, win, because I, I'm always the John Jones defender. I finally saw the body cam footage of John Jones being taken into custody, and uh. he cried like a little bitch man, and and, and I lost uh. so much respect for him as someone who's been handcuffed a couple times and thrown in the back of a squad car. For various reasons. You were a man um, about it. <laughs> I was absolutely a man about it. Uh, I didn't cry. I didn't cry in front of those people, those police officers. I would never get, I, I didn't act like I was upset. I stayed, you know, I was, I asked a few you simple were stoic. Questions. I was stoic yeah. throughout the whole thing. And give anybody any uh any, Taylor, any, any, anything. Not you! John. John Jones is like little was like super bitch made and he's like whining and crying and, and like being all emotional and shit and begging and and then he gets all violent and then he cries. He cries. He like weeps like a like a woman. Since and, you uh, saw the tape, he got that, a lot of that trouble. What he said, Godfather, he, he, he's weeping like a woman. Yeah. <laughs> he took a lot of heat for headbutting a police car. Yeah. Now I can't imagine that the car cared very much. Didn't what is your take having seen the video? He dented the fucking car with his head. He's he's six four, right? He came from all the way up to all the way down to <laughs> something down here. Like like he slammed the fuck out of that car. Now that being said, like who fucking cares? He he can he'll give him a new car. But but like it right. was just a childish outburst that that preceded his emotional breakdown. Like where he was crying like a bitch. Like I said, like like all you gotta do is say, yes, officer. Yes, officer. I don't think I want to answer any more questions um, that don't pertain to like your personal safety in, in this arrest. I don't have anything on me. Uh, I'd like to be quiet now. That's all he's got to say. Like, like you're not going to talk away at handcuffs. Nobody's ever fucking talked away at handcuffs. Like, like, you know why you're there. Stop being a bitch. He cried. It's super embarrassing. Yeah. He, well, he, no, he was just, um, he's an impressionist and he likes Daniel Cormier. <laughs> so I, he was. He was channeling him. I, I thought it was inexcusable when Daniel Cormier cried on the mic too. It's, it's yeah, like it's get away from the mic. Like, like you can cry, but get away from the mic. 
In Daniel's defense, I think he had just been knocked out. Yeah, so I I think people can come sometimes be emotional after that. Yeah, um, I've I've cried like during a knockout before, and it was like completely on. Like when I was having that seizure on the ground, I was sobbing was uncontrollably. Ooh, it wasn't a, it wasn't like a character thing. It was like I was just sobbing uncontrollably, like, out of character. Conscious. Like it's not something you would normally do. Oh, I don't cry unless unless right. like, I'm, like I, it's time to cry. I unless cry you movies. see a sad movie. Yeah. Oh, I you cry, cry all victory the time in movies. movies. Oh, all I'm the time, like, like 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 anything emotional in the movie, I'll I'll, I'll fucking tear up and cry. The Anything. other Spider-Man show up when he's weeping. Oh, <laughs> oh I know I'm gonna cry in the new Spider-Man because I know that like multiple Spider-Man. They're gonna so be... funny. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. <gasps> they're all here, <laughs> dude. That's gonna be big. I, that's gonna be big for me. I know I'm gonna cry when I see it. When like, there's gonna be a moment when like when it's like when one Spider-Man can't do it. Two Spider-Man can't do it, what? and then the can't third Spider-Man comes, and it's just like done. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, like the the bad guys like trying to like 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 put like the key into the scepter that opens the MacGuffin <laughs> box, and, and like they're all working together to stop him. Like that moment's gonna come. And I'm just gonna fucking like jizz and start crying at the same time. It's gonna yeah, be great. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna actually say another word. But it, uh, there's an. As you might guess, there's a, an action scene towards the end, and it was really well done. I'll stop Fuck yeah. there. Yeah, I, yeah, I need to get on it. Um, you guys need to watch the new Batman. My, I'm guessing, I'm guessing, Woody finds it five out of ten. Kyle, I bet you find it six out of ten. I don't yeah, think either of you will be very impressed. That's I think I'm Woody doing. will hate the amount the of pacing. drag in it. Yep. I knew you'd say that uh, as to why I liked it less than Kyle, because yeah. sometimes. I'm a softer critic than you guys. You know, I like a mm -hmm. thing you guys didn't, but uh, okay. Oh, if you want a oh, cowboy oh. show, I, I got one more show recommendation, and I'll sh I'll shut up. Uh, it's the prequel to Yellowstone. It's called 1883, and it's uh, in that's year... really prequel. Yeah, <laughs> it's like a it, hundred years ahead. <laughs> because like the, 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 the whole premise of Yellowstone is that that Kevin Costner is that it's the Dutton Ranch, and so you mm -hmm. find the first Dutton who went out west and did his thing, and Tim McGraw, Tim McGraw, Faith Hill, who are husband and wife country music stars. Um, they are uh, two of the main characters. Their daughter ends up being like the real star of the show. And Sam Elliott, who's the big, the mustachioed cowboy from Tombstone, the older one. Um, yeah. He's he's sort of the guy who's leading the cattle drive. Um, and he's got like a, a whole bunch of German immigrants uh, and gypsies who like don't know shit. And, and mm -hmm. like, you can't teach him shit. They literally have, like, a crash course in, like, Wild West survival where he's like, this is a rattlesnake. It will bite you and you will die. This is water. If you drink it, you will die. If you boil it, you will not. And, like, he just goes through it that fast, like, like through some shit like that. The next thing you know, they're all drinking the river water. Like they're, they're like <laughs> right away bitten the ass by a rattlesnake. Like 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 they're it's like dropping, the Oregon like, Trail. <laughs> it's the Oregon Trail. They're constantly dying. And but the little girl who's like sixteen or something is like the star of the show. She, first of all, she looks. Who's the girl from Hunger Games? What's her name? Jennifer or something? Lawrence. Jennifer Lawrence. Mm -hmm. This girl okay. it looks just like Jennifer Lawrence, mm. except like. 16 or 17 is what she plays in the show like much hotter jennifer lawrence somehow and right because she hasn't hit 18 yet and she's like your face does look a lot like jennifer Lawrence, just that's... like her she becomes like you're the main star of the show and she's like cowgirl can do anything girl um like like she can ride and shoot and rope and she's right away she's like goes to the gypsies and she's like i want some in pants i want pants and she's like trades with the gypsy woman to make some fucking pants for her and uh so now she's got like cowboy pants on that some gypsies made her and she's got her gun and she's like doing her thing how and much she's this have this been seen kyle i've seen the whole fucking thing oh because i googled it and i thought i saw a big spoiler do i have to watch yellowstone before this well it begins with a real it, it's one of those things that begins at the end and then uh. goes back um you do not need to see yellowstone at all this is all wild west shit and it's good yeah. So here's my only complaint about it. 
And this actually might be its saving grace for some people. This is another one of those things that I think would be a real good date movie or like husband and wife thing or not movie. It's a, it's a, it's a series. Uh, it's a, it, uh, it's, it'd be really good to watch with your wife or significant other because the girl is such a strong character and she's like, do it. She's like my pussy, my decision. Like she's right away, like finds herself a cowboy to fuck and like losing her virginity. And then like doing like big girl stuff. Right. Mm-hmm. And like paying the consequences along the way. And like, like owning it and being being really really cool character um it this show made me I, i'm not gonna spoil anything but i cried quite a bit at the end when i realized um where the where the uh journey was headed sam neil's uh you know now that i started thinking about it, this this is a sad story <laughs> so, <laughs> sam neil oh not sam neil it's it's sam, sam elliott, elliott? Okay. sam elliott um, i like sam neil too yeah i like sam neil too but uh, but yeah, it's it's cowboy TV show. Lots of people getting killed. Uh, not nearly rapey enough. Because here's the mm, thing: this it's not girl, realistic. It'd be very rapey back then. This girl like makes herself like a cowgirl outfit right away because she she's she starts out in a dress and it's like we need people who can ride and none of these fucking Germans know how to ride a horse and it's illegal in Germany to know how to swim. So what? yeah, at this it's- point at 1800s i guess so like none of these fuckers know how to swim so they have to cross rivers with with a bunch of people who don't have to swim so they're drowning left and right too how would the cops get you if you started swimming in germany they can't <laughs> swim it was like it was, it was like I, the guy explained we're it we're going to wait for you to come out because we can swim that's what he, they did to catch surfers he explained it at one point i guess it was like death penalty to learn to fucking swim but but like <laughs> because because all the german fuckers are so like useless and that that like this girl is like we need you you know how to ride a horse you know how to shoot a gun you know how to like you know you're you're competent so she's right away like one of the gang um and uh that's it i want to see it what platform is it on i don't know i'll have to look it up i have a topic i'm curious about your take on it uh dana white does not like it when his fighters get in fights outside of their fights that was phrased mm-hmm. weirdly but mm-hmm. yeah he doesn't like it when people get in street fights. he's held it against him i can name fighters well i can think of fighters that he's ditched for it before on the other hand when it's a guy like connor you know business matters and, and he kind of looks the other way john jones in in dc when he went at each other very heavily um you know yeah, all he had were some harsh words, and uh, he used he, in that particular one. He used it in the fight promotion. He's like, "You guys never do that again." And then they're like, "Come see John and Daniel fight." The guy throws a shoe at him. Yeah. Um, do you think Jorge Masvidal will get in any kind of trouble for sucker punching Colby Covington? Um, with Dana, will will it affect? Yeah, his... with Dana. I'm sorry, that's the the key. No, no, I don't. Um, I don't think he will. I think that Dana will call him an asshole, an idiot, and everything in between. Right. Um, but inevitably, uh, Dana White's a businessman, um, and, and it's not going to matter. It doesn't matter what these guys do. As long as they don't do anything that's unforgivable by by the fan base, that that, that something repugnant. Like, you can't uh, – sexual crime would, would, would do it. Um, mm-hmm. If you beat a woman severely enough and she complained about it, that would do it. But you can't just be this nonsense where, like – John Jones slapped his wife and they saw the bloody lip. And then she was like, fuck you. I didn't say nothing like, like that doesn't do it. I'm still, I'll still watch John, John Jones fight. He's there a was a lesser known fighter. Can't help. I, I can't remember his name, but he had just been, um, he sort of got a push on the ultimate fighter. Right. So you can imagine how new his career is. He's had yeah, one brand new. Fight. Yeah. Um, and he didn't get into a fight fight, but he kind of bullied and manhandled a valet. And it was captured on a casino security cam. Yeah. And Dana's like, the fuck? You're not even famous yet. And you're already an asshole. You're cut. You're cut before mm-hmm. after your first fight or before your first Makes fight. Makes sense. Like, like, and uh, so it's like, all right, you do that. And then you picture Connor, who's undefeated in the bar scene. And it's a very a bar and hotel lobbies. He's getting win after win. And you know, matter. like yeah i don't think anything he's done is really like a turn off to anybody like like nobody sees that and thinks oh i'll never watch him again i think less of the ufc because they employ a man who punched an older gentleman in a bar one night i think less of i think less of them because they employ a man who enjoys a bit of cocaine and and fucks (laughs) whores and it's like god damn he sounds cool 
Like it's all I hear. It's like wait, <laughs> he you telling me that like because because what what you'd expect, right? Everybody's like, oh, I want a darker hero. I want an anti-hero. I want a Batman that kills people. All of a sudden, your professional athlete is slapping old men around when they get mouthy. And oh, that's too rough to rough for me. I want be nice, Connor. Get a charity. Fuck that. Connor got a drunk, not drunk driving, a reckless driving charge in a hundred eighty thousand dollar Bentley last night. They, <laughs> he don't, he's got another one. Like, 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 like he's barely yeah. in his fucking car. He's got three or four. Um, that's Counterpoint. Another, and they blood tested him clean. No alcohol or drugs. Okay, I didn't know that. Um, Counterpoint. I've heard Dana say, "Man, we work so hard." To make the world think you guys aren't just a bunch of thugs and savages. They call it human cockfighting, and we do everything we can to make this a sport filled with professional athletes. And you assholes go and get in bar fights. You people are beating up valets. Do you know how hard I how many times I've been on ESPN saying these guys are cultured civilians? And then you do this, and then you prove them all right. He hates it. I think they've rounded the corner on that a little bit, though, because okay. you know they're on ESPN now. They're not calling it human cockfighting. It's in New York. They're expanding all over the world. The fan base has a lot of ladies in it now, a lot of young people in it now. Um, you know, there's celebrities every night at the events. Uh, uh, he can he can print money at the at the UFC facility now because he can he he sees the numbers that he can he can get by by just doing it right there. He can just print money no matter what the world does or or. or, or it doesn't matter. You're he saying can... he holds the event in a UFC building and makes a ton of money. Yeah, yeah, because the expenses are already covered. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I own the fucking building. Um, it, it, I, I think the UFC is in a different place from then. I think he's fine with it because he sees the 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 pop that it gets. The whole the 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 reason I know who Jorge Masvidal is is because of three piece and a soda because he attacked oh. another guy named Leon Edwards, um, who 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 wasn't in a fight with. But I was okay with that. And I'll, I'll tell you why, because Jorge stood there and like put his hands behind his back. It was like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. And the guy approached him and they're jawing at each other. They're squared up and the man's hands are behind his back. The fact that he leads with a punch and doesn't say, defend yourself. It's I hilarious. I don't require he had that. his hands behind his back. Like, so he's talking to Leon. He has his hands behind his back. And then he's, he like sucker punches him and he hits him. Bop, bop, bop. He, but to hear him tell the story, it was like he was handcuffed. Like my hands were down. There was like you know he was coming at me. I had to defend myself, so I hit him with the three piece in the center. To and me, then, Jorge Masvidal is the dude who beat up Ray Ray back in the Kimbo Slice days. Like oh. he's. Have you seen that fight? I've probably seen it, but I don't know by like I don't know the guy's name. You might enjoy it. Uh, Ray Ray is a guy. If you were to look at him next to each other, Ray Ray has clearly the better physique. Jorge Masvidal is a little bit uh, skinny, skinny back then, young Jorge. And uh, but then you watch him throw, and you're just like, "Fuck, this guy! He's accurate. He's got cardio, and he's getting hit too." Ray Ray's no joke. Ray Ray's a good fighter. Ray Ray beats up either, any two of us at once. But uh, Jorge Masvidal. It's a professional fighter, and uh, slowly but surely, he starts turning the tide, and the, the, the you know he's just getting more hits in. And Ray Ray, you can tell, wants to quit. Like he gets knocked down or something, and everyone is like, "Get back up, back up! You can do it!" And he's like, "Okay, <laughs> you know, I'll face another ass whooping," which he does, and he loses uh, until it's like everyone is like, "Yeah, you can stop now." It's a good it fight. Yeah, I don't it. know what's going to happen here. I think that uh, what will be interesting is I really hope that Colby presses charges, civil suit, anything he can, like like go for blood, like like go, go for the throat. Um, I hope he drags this out. And <clears throat> the only problem is that with legal stuff, if you're smart, you don't you speak about it in public. But mm -hmm. I think that if like Colby he like, hasn't. If, well, I, he's getting his tooth fixed, dude. Like, like his tooth is out. Is what is what everybody's saying. Like, like it knocked. I his heard tooth broken. Out. I don't know what to say. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I, I imagine they're the same, but you know, broken in half, and now some of it's gone. Um, I don't think he wants to be on camera uh, until his tooth is fixed. It kind of sucks. Last time he lost a fight, his jaw was broken, so he couldn't even talk shit afterwards. And like immediately after this, he's like missing a tooth, so he can't really go on camera. Uh, I think that's what's happening. That he's like getting that fixed. And that, and I bet legal counsel is saying, say nothing. That's my say thought. nothing. Like, like, like right now, he's over there admitting to the crime on TikTok. You have said nothing. Your your story 
can can of can be whatever it wants to be whenever we want to tell it based on however much stupid shit he's going to say on TikTok. Mm-hmm. Like like you know let 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 him let let him uh run the line out. So I hope that that's the case. I really hope that's the case. Um cuz I'm liking Jorge less and less. Like also like, that's 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 so shitty. So in the world of fighting, it can be a bit of a bitch move to like sue over getting into a fight. The man move would be to be like, you know what? Let's you and I go into the octagon again. I don't care if I get paid or not. We'll go into freaking Joe Lozon's octagon. He'll host the fight. We'll do whatever. That's the manly move. But Colby Covington is a heel. It is, you know, him be like, I hired a Donald Trump attorney. <laughs> you know, this is the same guy who served the president <laughs> of the United States, <laughs> you know, the greatest president we've ever seen. And Masvidal like, would be so fucked. If he got a billionaire team of attorneys, <laughs> does Trump even get the best of these? What he's gonna hire Michael know. Cohen? So, uh, but but it would be funny. That would be more in character for him to be like, yeah, that's, my attorneys yeah. are going after. He'll be petty. Him. He'll be petty and be he'll petty. Be dirty. Be. Look, like, don't forget the whole reason that this happened is because the man is is because Colby went after the man's wife and children. And we couldn't remember exactly what he said about the child, mm-hmm. but it's not as if he hasn't gone after other people's children directly. I mean, I remember what he said <laughs> yeah, about, like, about like, I don't like that. kid. Like, 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 like I, he's, he doesn't give a fuck. I don't remember what he said. I watched he said it. That and that I'm was like, Connor's kid. He, he was like, he about used Dustin his, Poirier. He was like your son, whatever his name is, Christopher, like, like whatever the fuck like, that ain't your kid that's connor's kid and that jezebel wife of yours and this is like <laughs> connor mcgregor <laughs> told dustin poirier that he had slid into his wife's dms he did so now and then Colby, he showed the screenshots proving it i need to see them I didn't yeah but see there's the nothing shots. like there's nothing like inappropriate going on they're just like talking but but it's still like God damn it. Why are you talking to Connor? <laughs> yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah, honey. Don't please. talk to Connor McGregor. How hard is that? <laughs> How hard is that, you <laughs> bitch? <laughs> uh, yeah, Can you imagine gosh. having to tell either of your wives, like, 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 I have one fucking rule. You don't, you don't slide into Connor McGregor's DMs. That's it. That's my <laughs> only rule. <laughs> and you have broken it. <laughs> so uh, when Colby talked shit, to, trying to get a fight with Dustin Poirier, he was he kept referring to Dustin's kid as Connor's kid. Yeah. That, yeah, that his wife had actually fucked Connor McGregor, yeah. and that's whose kid it really yeah. is, which is rough. That is child. That kid has to go to school. People might say that to that kid. They get blows. Yeah. Um, I, when he talked about Jorge's family, I, he definitely... He said this is his real wife and that he somehow whores his wife out to get in with a manager. I couldn't follow the story. He's like, everyone says this is Jorge's wife. It's not. This person over here is Jorge's wife. That person is someone else. Jorge's wife is now being whored out for this solution or whatever. And you're her pimp. And I didn't follow the logic. I couldn't even tell who his real wife was. No. I just know he's talking shit. I think I think that's his goal is for you not to be able to tell who his real <laughs> wife is anymore. You're like, so, so that maybe somebody's like, is this your real wife then? Yes, it's my real wife. Who said it wasn't? <laughs> well, Colby actually said that she was, uh, oh, I'm not sure what word I want to use. Like, it's, it's to put him <laughs> into that situation, I'm sure. Um, it's just mean shit that he makes up. He's the, he's yes. a, he's a mean bully who, who I can't tell how quick he is on his feet because he's one of those guys who memorizes and, mm-hmm. and writes. Like, like, mm-hmm. like he's, uh, but, but that doesn't take anything away from him. Um, his performance can be shaky. Um, he's it's not okay to show up prepared. Yeah. He shows up v- overly prepared though. He has a, he has like a line prepared and he'll, he'll stutter over it sometimes. And it's like, God damn it. You've got to hit that. Like, <laughs> like that's your line. That's, you know, it's the one that you scream into the mic at the end. Like, like he'll fucking slip up on a word or something. It's like, come on, dude, you should have been in the mirror all week saying that shit. Like, like remember that scene in, um, Reservoir Dogs, where uh, like like he's he's in there talking to the mirror about like gangster shit. Mm-hmm. It's like you need to be doing that. You need to be doing that. You got to be practicing this shit. He didn't look uh, good, but, uh, but it's I, a fucking crime what Jorge did, and I, I hope he pays some like criminal um, penalties for it because that's that seems wrong um, to me to unprovoke <laughs> like 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 like. And don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to be hypocritical. When Connor mm-hmm. hit that old man, I'm not saying that that's the right thing to do. It's just something that I think is okay. Because I because of what I'm hearing is that old man re- refused a free drink in Ireland in a bar from a fellow Irishman. That's that what I me, would do. It, 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 if it, Connor offered me, I'd probably just 
try to be polite. We'd all yeah. take it, right? We'd all take yeah. it, right? Can you imagine if he was like, hey, hey, I bought a round of drinks. I know she didn't you didn't take one. They're free. They're free, friend. I'm Connor McGregor. Ha ha. See my I'm on it's my bottle. I own this whiskey. And, and, and if you were like, no, thank you. I don't want one. I don't drink. It's like you have a drink in front of you though. Yeah, I like I like this drink. I don't want your drink. Are you it's an insult. It's an absolute intentional insult. It's what it feels like. I, I bet he's the only one in the bar who didn't want a free drink from Conor McGregor. He's a fucking national hero over there. They only have so many. It's Ireland. It's it, one probably. That, yeah. Like one. It, it like if, it, I think they're like the side, Atlanta has like five million people in like Metro Atlanta, like, like out in the suburbs mm-hmm. or something. Like I think that's how big Ireland is. Probably. I it's, yeah. Doubt it. I'm gonna look it up. Like, that seems I bet, like I bet a valid guess. I bet it's like seven million people over there or something like that. Mm-hmm. Conor McGregor offered any of my alcoholic friends in Ireland. Five. Five. <laughs> yeah. Five million people. It's about the same as like Atlanta and some of most of the suburbs. It's, it's come on. If he was from here and we were. He'd be a god. Like, like you couldn't turn down like. What would he offer you? You wouldn't take a peach a Coca Cola. From... A Coca Cola. That's a Atlanta yeah. population six million. Conor McGregor offered you a Coca Cola. You, you'd have to take that bitch. Like, you'd be like, no, I don't want. I it. would take the Coke. I mean, I would take sugar the free. Coke. If Conor McGregor was like watching you take a shot of his whiskey, would you like? Because I, I guarantee I would be trying <laughs> to be like. What I, I would have. I'm gonna have the coolest, most like, just shot. Like, mm, I can taste the notes of. <laughs> Oak, I would maybe? absolutely Pete? be like is it I'm getting Pete? a lot of uh, <laughs> getting a lot of pine barrel and rust Ooh, that is a lot of ethanol like, <laughs> that's alcohol i haven't uh, i haven't had his whiskey i i hear it's like you know mid-tier whiskey i, I bought it like a year ago or so and it is yeah, I don't know whiskeys or That's like that like, shit like, at all. But it was like the most forgettable, middling, like whatever. This is fun. I, I don't. I think I only had like one drink of it with like ice in it, and then I was like, he, uh, I'm just gonna put soda with it. I don't know the details of the deal he made, but he sold the company or at least a substantial piece of it. He's still featured, however, in all the advertising, and it still has the same like deals with the UFC and ESPN. Mm-hmm. So it seems like. I would imagine he's still reaping benefits somewhere or another. Like, like I doubt I'm he's sure. just a paid spokesman. Mm-hmm. He's pimping it for some reason. Mm-hmm. He must be motivated to do so. Can we do my topic? Zach, do you have it queued up, that Instagram link I gave you? Sure. This is a modern-day Paul Revere, a hero. It happened during COVID times, and I thought it was funny. It needs audio. Can you zoom in? It's short. I've seen this one. This is good. I oh, have you? Not, but I'm not watching it yet. I watch a lot of the internet. Uh, hit play. It's awesome. Folks are coming. Folks are coming. <laughs> the police are coming. Why? The police are coming up the hill. <laughs> <laughs> the police are coming. <laughs> I guess there was a COVID thing, public gatherings, and the, oh. the pilot just came by and warned everybody. I, I liked it. He can't be flying around up in the sky alone. That's dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> Come and get me. Yeah, Come he's the only guy. Uh, uh, social isolating? Is that the term we used? God damn it. I forgot about that. Yeah, like socially, yeah. socially isolating. God so. damn it. I'm so glad that's over. I yeah. For good, I guess? I don't know. Well, it's we, like, no, we've decided. So. It's over. <laughs> yeah, I don't argue with it. I, I, I hope so. Yeah. Heard, um, I guess it was China where COVID was making a big comeback a few weeks ago. They just locked down a city like twice the size of New York. It was like 18 million people or something in the city. They locked the fuck down. They have so many huge cities. It's wild. I know. Yeah, it's you'll be like, you'll like find a city with a population of like seventeen million, and it's like this is the fourth eleventh largest, largest city in the region. It's like how how, <laughs> how is it possible? Oh well, America's <laughs> still doing yeah. great. I'm looking at the cases. It hasn't been this low since last summer. So nice. I guess good. That's good. I wonder yeah. how. Uh, Here we go. I, I I'm I'm done with it. I'm so done with it. Although mm-hmm. now there's the threat of nuclear war. <laughs> Maybe that'll kill the virus. You know, a little, a little radiation. It, it can't. It. 
I, we'll it, bomb it, coronavirus. Yes. We'll get all of we'll How, trick it into one what, place. That's what Vladimir <laughs> Vladimir Putin should say that. He, he, he should say that this is a this is a special military operation to eliminate COVID pockets in Ukraine. And uh oh, that would be I, great. Taylor's idea is ridiculous. You can't get coronavirus in one place. You have to spread the radiation far and wide. It would have to be a a wide brush we paint the earth with. <laughs> <laughs> That's my plan. It'll work better. Well, COVID's gone, but everyone has leukemia. <laughs> <laughs> from the radiation you guys want to call the show i didn't get to eat before this I'm oh hungry. wow goodness you must be hungry all right uh buy some lock and load coupon code pka gets you some level of discounted everywhere 20 percent uh, express vpn and that's a wrap pka 588 go watch halo